food. You want me to put up uh, this right here? Yeah, we can do that. We can, because what's going to happen, Clay? We're going to pause. We're going to stop and we're going to talk. Joining about us now is a legendary rapper. Uh huh. Okay, we're going to pause every, every so often. Right, right. Okay, just know. just play it straight through or you got time stamps. No, no, you can just play it. We're gonna we cause it's not a long video at all. So we can we can go through this and then I'll let you know when uh I, I want you to stop it and pause it for a second. Beautiful. And then you can pause it whenever you want to say something. Beautiful. All right, got the plan. Strap in. I hope you guys went to the bathroom, got you something to drink, we got your pen and papers ready. Cause we're going in and film producer who is making headlines not only for his music or his involvement with policy and politics please everybody welcome ice cube hello sir hey, hey what's you. up how y'all doing hey you Yo, what's up what's, what's up happened? lisa ray how you doing i'm great okay so straight off the bat right there. we got a whole lot of weed going on here and a lot of weed we don't need in the black community. We have canceled weeds a long time ago, along with marching, along with Netflix, along with McDonald's. We done canceled all types of stuff. You ladies ain't been keeping up with the news. You understand? And, and then uh, the most high canceled 2020 for you to pay attention to us, but you still Taking it upon yourself to, to think for yourself and lean on your own understanding without the most high's guidance. When anyone's doing anything positive for the community, I don't care what, who it is. Anybody doing anything to uplift our community must be honored at all times. Um, great, thank you. Good, good, good. How's everybody doing? Bless. Yes. Good, good. And, and we're also very appreciative of you taking the time to come talk to us here. I know everyone's trying to get a piece of you and talk to you and have you on their platform. So we definitely um, appreciate that. So thank you. I, I want to ask you just out the gate how you're doing. You know, how, how have you been coping with the pandemic, the civil unrest? These are tr I mean, black people have, all, have always been through trying times, but it's yeah. a little extra right now on top of our regular stress. Getting different. We got another layer on top. You know, we got 10 on 20 right now. So how are you doing? I'm doing good. Um, you know, the pandemic, it hit everybody um, and caught everybody off guard. Uh, thank God for D-Nice, who uh, started yeah. spending them records, man, I and know, kept people right? just, you know, kind of, you kept our sanity, you know what I'm saying? And then, and then the thing with uh, George Floyd happened, yes. which shook everybody to our core, you know, when you hear a man, you know, scream for his mama, mm -hmm. I think everybody in the world felt that. So, you know, uh, everything sh switched reels for me. And I, uh, I just been on this quest trying to, trying to get us true equality, you know, not just equality on, you know, social issues, but economic equality, which is, you know, just as important. Well, let's just. Okay, now, that's the foundation now. That's the space that he came from. He stopped. Well, he continued his, his, uh, his, his, I think he got a basketball league. <clears throat> uh, three, three, what, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, brother. Is that right? Basketball league? He got three, uh, the three, what? Three, uh, it's, what, uh, I know it's a three on three. It's a three on three league. That's you know what, what I mean? it is. The three on three basketball league. He he continued that operation, but then uh, uh, directed all of his focus to that. Look, look look at their faces. Now, if I was a psychologist, you're not supposed to do this when you react to what he just said. If I'm not mistaken. Your, your your mouth ain't supposed to be perched like that whenever you hear something so deep as what he just said. That's his foundation. Right, right, right. You you see you see the looks? 
How are you disappointed in, in that? The foundation already. We we not we not gonna base our arguments off of their looks, but it's just it just tells it just tells hey, a, a, a grand story yes, without them awesome. opening their mouth. All of them recognize all, all, all four of those ladies recognize the camera was on. Yeah. So they're trying to look a certain way. At the same time, they don't even understand how they look ridiculous, especially going. the whole right. interview itself. I know y'all only one minute. I know y'all only like two minutes in on the video. Are y'all are y'all playing the video back or are y'all just talking about it all together? We're going to they... break down the whole video and we're going to stop it and we're going to comment and we're going to, you know, we're going to voice our, they... our understanding and opinion. Yeah, from because from the jump, the body language, the body language was trying to adjust into a way, in my opinion, into a way to because telling the audience to disregard his foundation. That's what it, that's what they're yeah, doing. So, so kind of like they, before they went live, they had a back check before they sent him the link. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. they got preconceived they got a preconceived argument already of something he didn't even say. But go, go ahead. Mm -hmm. Jump right in. They're then. making up an argument. Uh, because you see how they, she, she, just, she just swept that to the side, the whole foundation. You're supposed to acknowledge what the man said. They are TV people. They understand TV very well. Right. You understand? So you're supposed to acknowledge that, man. That's a strong foundation. We're proud of you. Keep it, keep it going. Keep it pushing. You, the positive brother. You're strong, those positive are, brother. Those are actually the singers. They not see. They ain't got. They they want to be like Opal. So they want to be like Lisa, uh, uh, Wendy Williams and Oprah Winfrey and, and and people of sort. You know, but those folks are, are, are journalists in their right. Because like you say. You know, when, when your guests say a certain thing, you elaborate on it. You don't just throw it to the side. That, 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 that <laughs> you just go straight into the next thing. <laughs> Can you fix your mic, bro? Because when yeah, there is a, speak, yeah, you got a problem. This high pitch going, and I'm pretty sure the people in the audience are gonna be like, "Damn." Uh huh. What about now? Uh -huh. yeah, it's, still, it's still going, bro. It's like you got a microphone or something close by your uh by your phone or something. Uh, I'm using uh I'm using a system. It sounds like you're next to a vacuum. A vacuum? Oh, I don't know oh, why it sounds like that on this. How about now? Uh -oh. Uh -oh. It's still there. Yeah. Humming. Yeah, it's a humming sound. Like. Yeah, the microphone. Well, yeah, you the sound man, bro. Stop. It. So, what DJ Black was telling y'all is that they actors and actresses, so they depend on other people to to handle the 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 sound and the flow of things. So they're not used to TV discussions or just natural discussions, wherein. You're supposed to acknowledge what the person says before moving on. You don't just sweep it away and then say, well, we're just going to jump right in. Well, you're supposed to say, yeah, the strong black brother, and then throw a couple fists up, you understand, or, or give, you know, virtual hugs and COVID daps and stuff. How, how about now? How about now? Is it better? That's absolutely great, uh, DJ Tron. Absolutely. Fantastic. Fantastic. I'm yeah. glad you uh, acknowledged that. Uh, yes, y'all. Now, what was you saying, Black? I, I was so 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 like I was saying they have a preconceived from the from the top. I, see, this first two minutes let you know that they had a back chat. Uh, they already had a conversation already uh, with with make, making up their mind on what they think Ice Cube said or uh, right. what they wanted Ice Cube to have been have said. Right. You know, and they they, they the, the the interview is kind of, you, you'll see as we go on, you're going to see like sister like Selena Johnson want to come to his defense. You know what I'm saying? But she pretty much outnumbered two. You know what I'm saying? So she got to fall in line with her sisters. But the thing is how I feel about this, you know, and people can say whatever, but I feel like these people are uh, kind of feminists. These ladies are, you know, in a, in a uh, projection. 
Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. You definitely, you definitely have to put that that tag on them because you don't separate yourself from the people. Right. I mean, when you do that, that means that you have a specific agenda, whatever that might be, that's not cohesive with we as a people. You trying to do some 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 slick shit, or you want some shit to go on that's gonna benefit you, not we as a people, we as a whole collective, men and women and babies, right, and elders and orphans, right? Like we 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 go we we trying to bring it. I'm pretty sure that contract is dealing with all of those above, and not leaving out women specifically, just because you didn't see contract for. Black women, right? Right. It's not about black women because black women are a part of black people. It's about the black family. And I don't even like the term black. And, mm-hmm. I, and both of my brothers know I don't even use this term. But right That's now, it's very important that I got to stick to the narrative because you won't understand. You would think that I'm on some bashing stuff, and it's not about that. Because I understand who we are. I just can't stand the title. Mm-hmm. I don't knock who we are. I just hate the titles, right? Mm-hmm. And I mm-hmm. and that's a whole other argument. But right the now, energy, the energy, the energy as well. We're gonna deal with this. Go ahead, I, my bad. The, the, the energy associated with the titles. So now, uh, as we were saying, you, you can't just uh, sweep that under the rug and just keep it moving. So I'm going to acknowledge what both of you said before we move on. So Black said that uh, they have. They, from his watching it, this if you saw this particular video, is that what you said? Oh yeah, yes you did. Of course you did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just that's why I said I was gonna go watch it, uh-huh. then I was gonna join y'all on live, and, and then and, and as I watched it, so you know I was trying to get them the benefit of the doubt, see if they was actually uh, trying to be naive towards politics, like trying to be some ditzy chicks. You know what I'm saying? Like they ain't got much brains at all, or if they, you know what I'm saying, if they knew what they was talking about. Both way, you know what I'm saying, in, in both instances I was wrong because they didn't know what they was talking about. And two, they weren't ditzy at all. You know what I'm saying? They was actually picking the side. You know what I'm saying? Choosing the side. And the side they was choosing, although they weren't trying to uh, say that they were siding with Joe Biden, they damn sure weren't siding with Ice Cube and his meeting with uh, President Trump. Uh-huh. Administration. Let me say this. Let me say this, right? Now, I know it's been years and years of the propaganda and the and the hate push on, on Trump, right? Because of mm-hmm. his support for his people, right? And right. and certain and certain groups that what we consider and what we know from the foundation to be racist, especially towards us, right? Mm-hmm. But this is the kicker though. All those propaganda news clippings. The fact that all of the media, uh, media station news uh, channels uh, teamed up teamed up against uh, President Trump, it, it says it says a few things to me, and that's this: the Democrats had a whole hand in that, a whole two hands in that. I'm gonna just keep it real. You understand what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, they were getting affected and getting hit with the taxes, right? And they didn't like that shit, and they still don't like it. This is why Biden is mad at this man. But how are you mad at this man for the tax breaks that he got? Because he figured out a, 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 the loophole that you came up with, and your silly ass couldn't figure it out for yourself, and you came up with the goddamn plan. I'm saying, well, we, yeah, well, we, we talk mad. about that on the source. We talk about that on the source, where in uh, the, that boy Bezos. I think he paid zero dollars. He didn't even pay one dollar. See on his taxes, and he is a trillionaire. You better stop it. See, all you got to do, like you said, build a few apartment building or, or, or hotels, and boom, there it is. Oh, oh and, and have those charities too. You know, like so. So when, put it like this: when you look at those Anglo-Saxon church, these evangelical churches and stuff like that, it ain't no uh, reason why the, uh, that that those trillionaires. They got seats. They got their seats with their names on it in these Lutheran churches and stuff. You talking about the, the propaganda in the black churches? Oh, these folks really giving money to their church because they know they can write it off. Mm-hmm. 
they can write they can write it off. So you wonder why they churches and they church have more power power than the black church. And 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 why we don't have this same, we don't because we won't even we won't even join in with none of the programs. You know what I'm saying? I and and, and, and to even look at Ice Cube's plan before like like before they even because I I guarantee you we looking at famous people who judge Ice Cube. Just imagine the people that's not famous that agree with these sisters. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah it, 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 it's like, come on, man. You know what you I'm saying? About those fans now, DJ Charm, and, yeah. and that's a, that's that's the problem, right? That's mm -hmm. that's the problem right there. That's just like, you know what I'm saying? When we was coming up, and, and when you was coming up, how just on the strength that uh, our family started to say, you know. Vote Democrat, vote Democrat. Our our parents that was a that was before us was voting Democrat. So what yeah. we do? We follow the same shit because yeah, yeah, we thought that was the way. To, the ones that we listen to. So now we don't have so many of our elders so much being into politics like uh, how we're getting into it now. So now mm -hmm. in our oh, this generation now they have to deal with people like Lisa Ray, uh, entertainers like P Diddy. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. That's trying to push this. So in T.I., people like Killer Mike, all these people that's trying to push choosing a side instead of standing on our own 10 toes. We becoming mm -hmm. a side, right? Our whole nation becoming one side, one side. Because oh. once that take place, now either they listen or we take it. Uh -huh. Because I now we I know together. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> Go ahead, bro. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, I'm, I'm going to go into the next question, and then we're going to pause it after that question and uh, react. I have been, you know, looking at some of the um, bites from your interview. You did an interview with Roland Martin, which mm -hmm. helped me, I want to say, because I will say that when I first heard that you were supporting Trump, I was like, wait a minute, what? Hold on, because you my boy. So I was like, I got a personal I, inside. I'm going to call I, him directly. I didn't say I was supporting Trump. So Allegedly, yeah. right. Yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. that's what I heard. That's what the bite, mm. the sound bite. Yeah. You know, that's now, what pause it right there real quick. I, and I watched that interview. Now, what I want you to do is, I want you to go back a couple of seconds, right? A couple of seconds to right before she said, uh, you support Trump. Watch the faces on these sisters. When he says he don't support Continue to watch the faces on these sisters, and then I want to try. I want to chime in on the fact that they're going off a narrative that's being pushed by a whole nother nation of people. Okay. You've never once said that he was a Trump supporter. Never right. once. And no, and no interview or nothing. If he and if you go back into his music, he got a song. Banging on Trump, yeah. That's why that I, I, I always thought. You know what I always thought? Yeah, that 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 uh that Trump didn't meet him for that particular reason that he you know that he banged on Trump twenty five years ago, thirty years ago, and so uh they, they, that's why Trump didn't meet with him personally. Uh, so that's 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 just always been in the back of my mind because he Trump is willing to meet. Damn near anybody in the black community, you know what I'm saying? He met with all the families of uh, the, the the recent atrocities and the, the recent murders, beyond the Taylor family, uh, and a whole list of all the famous uh, murders that ha happened by the cops. <clears throat> he met with every last one of these families except for George Floyd. They didn't want to meet with him, so uh, and he uh, he made he made uh, a form of amends with them, you understand? So we call that a publicity stunt if you want to. Actions speak louder than words, bro. Let me watch their faces. Everybody in the audience, pay close attention to their faces whenever he says, I don't support, I didn't support Trump. I will say that when I first heard that you were supporting Trump, I was like, wait a minute, what? Hold on, cause you my boy. So I was like, I got a personal I, inside. I'm gonna I, call him directly. Oh, that body language. So, so allegedly, yeah. right? Yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. That's what I heard. That's what the body. Mm. Look, look, look. She's crossing her arms. She, she, she done lean back. Like she, there's no, there's no trust here. You see? 
If I was a psychologist, I would say they don't like, trust. Like Vivica Fox, like this nigga, yeah, right, nigga. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah, right, face. Her lips are still down. <laughs> she mad. Yeah, she can't she wait to get in here. That's that look. She can't. Uh oh, uh oh, vibe is that. Uh huh. And she about to cross her arms. Let me see if that really. Yeah. Oh, you know? she did, but she she leaned back forward. Okay, so she don't want to make it too obvious that she hates. Right. Okay, and she ain't making no reaction at all. She understands psychology very well. She's keeping herself cool, calm, and collected. The three C's. That's it. That's an important part of psychology. You, uh, at all times, you got to be cool, calm, and collected. This is how you uh, control your temperament. Whenever you're in a situation that need where you need to control your temperament. Well, that's why people got to do their research. And I watched that interview. And I heard you break it that down. She got to do her. Why you involved? Why you met? Repeat that. I said she gonna talk about that. Why people got to do their research? She got to do her research. She just accused this man, and then gonna talk about that's why people got to do their research. Why you accuse this man live on, on TV, and then say that why people got to do their research? See, that's the type of stuff right that don't be making nobody sense to me <laughs> when, they, when, they, when they make errors like that. <laughs> That's why people got to do that. Re no Ken Sherlock. Well, you should have did your research. Right, right. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> why, you just, why you slapping like that, man? We're going to keep this as high and as respectful as we possibly can. Don't just go around <laughs> backhanded people like, like uh, Bernie Mac walking through the train station. You feel me? <laughs> Don't do that. She should, well, I mean, but it's obvious <laughs> she should have did her research before she made that statement. And then going to talk about that's why people got to do their research. Cause I, listen Whoa. to the rest of listen to the rest of what she say after that. Right. Okay. Okay. With both sides, and when you got involved, which was not just recently, and so no. when I said, you know, uh, um, what contract was he talking about? This contract of Black America, like, what is that? Where did it come from? I did not know. So when I said, when I think of things that I don't know. I automatically assume that a whole lot of people out there don't know. So I would want you to educate me as well. So what did make you go to the administration and, and speak with them? Well, what happened was, you know, it was a lot of yelling, a lot of people upset, a lot of uh, reforms being put on the table during George Floyd. But I was looking around for a document that really was speaking on what's, what's the needs in the community and what, what do we need across the board, not just from government, but from the private sector too? Because um, there's a lot of companies that are involved in our pain and, and they got to pay up too. You know, it's, they owe us reparations as well in some uh, shape or form. So uh, it was nothing. I was looking around. I'm like, damn, where is the document? Where is the ax? What are we asking for as a people across the board that deals with not only police brutality, but all our needs. Um, so I started working on, on it myself with, you know, some smart people I know. We end up getting, um, you know, economists involved, uh, people like Derek Hamilton. Um, you know, we started to go and just find the smartest minds to help try to put a document together so we can actually have something to say, damn, all this is things we need. This is so anybody pause black it. could pause it right look quick. at our document and say, "All right." So, so you hear what he said right there? For for it was a, on on another channel on SVDL. It was a statement made. We got to do this stuff ourselves. The man said, "But before he went to anybody, he hit up with our experts in our own community to put this stuff together." So this is us doing it other than us going to somebody asking for a handout, you know? And that, I, I, that's why I say it's an art to to listen, you know? Uh -huh. he, he, he already put, he, he got a team. He, now, he ain't even say the door closed on the team either. Now check he this just out. saying he got, he want experts from <laughs> all of them everywhere to, to add on to it. Paperwork, paperwork reads a whole nother, nother message other outside of uh, what they talking about having our hands out or asking for something, right? Right. When you when you present a plan, 
you're demanding change. Right. That's not that's not a ask anything. Even though the 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 phrase was used, understand the tactics and understand the game that's being played. You feel what I'm saying? When you pres- when you come collective, right? Not just your shark, but I come with the whole tank. You know what I'm saying? Backed by a few other brothers that like like what we like what we bring it to the table. So now it's a collective thing. It's not a Yashar plan, right? This is why you, you know what I'm saying like, oh my God, bro, this is crazy how these people are attacking this brother, and he, and it's our sisters. Now just wait. Right. And, he, and, and he wanted, and he made sure that ain't self family, and I apologize, but just just continue to watch if you ain't watched it already. And and he fi- and he fight for them, Yashar. Right. All for those end, sisters, he fight for them to have a position. For them to get a bit, for them to get a fair check in the business and all that, so he already fight for them outside of him, him even doing this part. You know what I'm saying? He give them the roles in his movies and all that shit. Absolutely. He makes sure that they get the roles in his movies. You know, and he, he he fight he fight tooth and nail with with, with with the Hollywood so that these sisters can get a fair shot. Man, look how big Regina King is now from. The time they tried to 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 out her out for uh, uh, even Chris Tucker, you know what I'm saying? A, 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 a nigga that come from nightclubs to to Mike Epps to uh, uh, all a, a whole lot of you know what I'm saying. Rest in peace uh, 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 to to uh, oh, Thelma. I forget her real name. Uh, yeah, uh, even, even even pops. Her. Rest in peace, pops. Yeah, you even know, pops. She gave he gave he gave him new life. He give he he giving the community new life. So I'm pretty sure his plan is, is not to ostracize nobody from old people to little children. All black is for black folk. You know? And then niggas want to talk about him wearing the beard and a head wrap or whatever. It is wartime. How you supposed to be right, right, right. Right. present yeah, yeah, yeah. People don't realize that 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 part. <laughs> now, now listen, we got a a, a, a special guest. Let me let me invite the special guest to the show. Uh, uh, the honorable, noble, uh, orthodox. No, he's in the building. Yeah, so Anton Lee. I, yeah, yeah, I, I forget how you say it. You can, you can interrupt us anytime you like. You understand? Know, to add your eloquence to the to the bill. Man, when I'm agreeing, I can't interrupt. You know what I'm saying? Right. When right. I'm agreeing, they, I can't they, interrupt. They're talking, no, they, are, they already talking just right, man. They yeah, you know. For us to cut in. I, I'm just letting them, letting them wrap it, wrap it out. You feel me? But do. go ahead, go ahead, Yashar. No, I was just saying shalom to Aki Moore. Let's let's get it. Let's finish. Let's let's get it in. Yeah, you can finish. You can finish them on out. But I just wanted to state that point that that uh. That that it, it that it is a us that's doing it, not a uh, not a looking for a handout, waiting for uh, uh, the government to put together a team. You know what I'm saying? We are, that he saying he come with a, not just a, a, a contract, he come with a team. That and, well, and the team this. still can be assembled. Y'all, both of you made great points. A demand is completely different from a big, because a demand comes with. A, a, a backup plan, a plan B, should you not accept plan A? And plan A is diplomatic. And plan B, it ain't, it don't go so well for you. So as uh, far as uh, <clears throat> you talking about, he been fighting for black people his whole life. Oh God, I concur. He was only 17 when he was uh, in the NWA. And the rest of them right. groups that he was in before NWA. A and child. A child. Me? A little, yeah. little uh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Now, before that, what, what was he doing? Protecting the hood. Mm-hmm. This is what we this is what we publicly apologize for as often as we can to the uh, vets of the, Amer- of the American uh, military whenever they wasted their whole life fighting for uh, 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 fighting people that ain't never did nothing to us, never. But you had that whole time y'all was gone overseas, living like rock stars. 
there, there was a whole war going on in, in, in America that you could have been helping us with. And the gangs had to damn become their own security. Mm -hmm. So don't miss me. Vets of the uh, United States military, <clears throat> you don't have to miss me with your, uh, your discontent with, with gangs. You got to. You got no choice. You can't beat us. You should join us. Yeah. Support this. Support, you know, some of the things that we have. Now, I'm not a politician. And I, I shouldn't be the one to have to put this thing together. We've had politicians in place for a long time. And they haven't come up with something like this. So I was surprised. But that didn't stop me. And we put that together July 1st. And we revamped it about, uh, let me get the timeline here. We revamped it July 19th. And from then, people wanted to interview me about it. So I went on just promoting the contract with Black America, you know, hoping to be contacted by any of the politicians saying, Yo, this is a great idea. Everybody that I would show would say, oh, these are great ideas. This is common sense. This is things that should be in place already, but they're not. So I was just kind of saying, OK, starting we're going to go. Yeah, starting the initiative. And I'll make a long story short. I was just going up, basically saying, OK, we're going to go after the private sector. We're going to go after the banks. We're going to go after Hollywood. We're going to go after the people that we know got their hands in the cookie jar. You know what I mean? So then we started to get contacted from, we got contacted from the Democrats on um, September 8th. And then we started talking to them. Mm -hmm. Then we got contacted by the Republicans. So that's when the ball started rolling then. So it's not just like I just jumped into anything. I mean, I just did the contract. And then people started to contact me, not the other way around. I was hoping the Democrats would be all over me. Okay, let me read this carefully because this is a good this is a good idea to put this dis disclaimer <coughs> up for his contract with Black America. This contract with Black America was designed to start the hard conversations. It was made to be perfected and debated. So please add comments and suggestions so we can create a better contract with America that will help create a better and more perfect union. And see, that's all inclusive because uh, whatever benefits black America benefits the whole entire union of the United States of America. <clears throat> so it's uh, not to be mis misconstrued that these ladies critiquing uh, 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 Cube is perfectly fine. We understand that. But when then when you conclude before you even start and figure out you ain't even done your homework, don't even know that he he don't he hasn't publicly endorsed Trump. And then you accuse him of endorsing Trump publicly and then you tell people to do their homework, don't see off what you need to do. Sit back. Sit back down. Read, watch the the videos. I guarantee you, not now one of these ladies read the contract with Black America. Not even the full page version. It's a twenty two page document, but that he got some highlights in four pages. I read the entire thing word for word. That's why I can't say nothing about it at all. And he precedes the Harvest Freedom Act. So how? I would never. Who would do that? He's trying to do something positive. And he's going to be successful. Um, but, you know, that wasn't the case. And, and I understand. It wasn't like I was throwing a fit. I just was like, okay, we're going at the private sector. And then the Republicans contacted me. And to me, if you speak it for black people, you should speak to whoever is in power or about to be in power. And I think you had a statistic. Okay, let's go in on that segment there, because that was that was that's a good idea to think about the private sector because they are the the, the ones who are really perpetrating 
uh, and continuing the affliction against the children of Israel that we know these people by. And none of them know who they are. So uh, that's that That's that part. Now, we could do that, but it, 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 it'll take too long. So America has already uh, assumed the debt by acting like they freed us, then took the took the whole reconstruction era time to reconstruct the laws to 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 make everything black illegal other than stating in the law that if you have black skin you are a criminal. I'm talking about they literally put anything that black people do in their laws and made it illegal. And this is why you see mass incarceration. This is why you see marginalization everywhere with these gatekeepers, white gatekeepers everywhere at the uh at the at the bank blocking you from any form of loan at SBA. SBA lady came out to me at uh the Chinese restaurant down here uh twenty five years ago and said, uh, listen here. Tell me about your plan. Tell you about my plan. Bruh, I said, look at this. <clears throat> and she walked off. You either listen, you gonna are you gonna let me go through the process of getting a loan or not? I'm not gonna tell you my whole plan so that you could uh reach out to your contacts and do what I'm doing. Why? Because at the age of eighteen, I don't know how to protect my plan with copyrights and and do all the the background so that they cannot be stolen. That's why you ain't heard nobody steal my new song because I did all that first up front. Went and did my publishing first. See what I'm saying? Now everybody go in on this this segment before we move to the next one. Play, play, play it back one more time, little, that little piece. Just that tiny part at the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just uh, it's like six minutes. The ball started rolling then. So it's not just like I just jumped into anything. I mean, I just did the contract. And then people started to contact me, not the other way around. I was hoping the Democrats would be all over me. Um, but, you know, that wasn't the case. And and I understand it wasn't like I was throwing a fit. I just was like, OK, we're going at the private sector. And then the Republicans contacted me. And to me, if you speak it for black people, you should speak to whoever is in power or about to be in power. And I think you had a statistic. And you right. All right. So, so, right. So, like, so, the, so the, it, it's like how the Bible say, slave obey the master, right? You got to recognize who the master is. You know what I'm saying? And you got to recognize who that, where that power is other than us just trying to buck and make a false reality. You know what I'm saying? The real reality is, Donald Trump, the president, uh, Joe Biden going to be the president. If neither one of them is going to be another white person, uh, you know, uh, 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 it's just going to be that way, a Republican or a Democrat. That's just how our reality is. So to say that, okay, if these are the people that's in power, when you got locally, you go to the police, you know what I'm saying? Because the police got more power over the crook. You know what I'm saying? And then you will go to the mayor because the mayor got more power over the police. Then uh -huh. you will go to the governor because the governor got more power over the mayor. And then Basic you will go to the command. president because, yeah, and, yeah, all the chain of command. So you got to re just recognize, you can't, just can't push up on nobody block and set up shop. You know what I'm saying? You have to go make sure that you can go set up shop. You think, uh -huh. folks folk think we can just, pull a rabbit out the hat because we got a bunch of millionaires and billionaires in the black community to say that 
we could just open up shop anywhere. We could open up a school anywhere. We could open up grocery stores anywhere. And that's just not reality. We got to go through all kind of red tape with, with uh, FDA and all kind of other kind of uh, stuff dealing with uh, agriculture, economics, education, and all that old stuff. We can't just, so you got to deal with whatever soil we on, we got to see what the government got to say about it. See oh. if we ain't doing something that's going to, that, that's going to plummet the government and part of the plan. But the thing is, you know, you have to talk to the person in power because nine times out of 10, if you trying to set up shop and you ain't holler at the nigga who run the block, he finna shut, he, he, you know what I'm saying? They're they going to send all kind of police, uh -huh. uh, all kind of uh, firepower down on you, shut your shit down. So why make a, a, a careless mistake on just trying to start some stuff and then we always talk about uh, uh, white people taking our ideas and making it their own, you know. Well, that's cause you you ain't did you ain't did, you ain't deal with it properly, like you say, claim when you did your, when you started it, to understand how to do a song, you started dealing with it properly. So that way, you know, when you deal with the the, the people that's in power, that's responsible for paying folk, are uh, responsible for uh, history saying that. You own this stuff throughout history for the next hundred years or whatever. You know, you have to deal with those folks. You just can't say, "Well, I own this for the next hundred years," but you ain't dealt with these folks. And then somebody come along within that hundred years and copyright your stuff. The homeless. We got a homeless problem in America. America's solution right. <laughs> for the homeless is to take them to. FEMA camps and kill all the homeless people. And there's been a few homeless people who have escaped and reported on that. I don't see those videos up nowhere. I saw them firsthand where they were crying and said, people in there are getting killed. So I just sit outside and get back in the street and just live on the street in the rain. You know a lot of those that? folks don't have folk to care for them. That, that's why. That's why. I mean, that's how they can just make decisions like that. Because a lot of those people don't have people to care for them. You know. And mm -hmm. and that's what, why. So what I'm saying is that the uh, they that's their solution is just kill everybody that that can't that can't take care of themselves. But a black person solution or a empathetic person solution. Well, in any race, will say, well, there's uh, millions. That okay, let's say in one community, there's probably fifty, sixty thousand abandoned properties that nobody pays taxes for. They have abandoned. They they don't care for the property. They don't keep it up, and that particular house in in every neighborhood turns into the smoke house for the little kids in the neighborhood. And they, they just have willy nilly sex in that in that house, and have parties and stuff. <clears throat> so, or or a drug addict vagrant will move into the house and make it their own house, uh, and just sneak around and, and just never get caught in the house. Now, instead of allowing that to happen, all people need to do is them uh, uh, claim the abandoned property, just like you could claim an abandoned vehicle just like mines can be abandoned and people can come around and say well uh, who mine is this nobody answers and then you say well this is my mine now and then you put the, the proper paperwork in and, and then you make it your, your own but people don't understand that the solution for America's solution is uh, barbaric and old timey you see what I'm saying? They rounded up all the homeless people, put them in a FEMA camp, and started bodying them. So we're saying that because when a, a black man comes along and makes a plan for black America, and the Democrats being America, it, it brush them off. Like, that's, like it's meaningless. Well, that that uh, incites you—you you literally inciting a riot—is what you're doing. 
You see what I'm saying? The Democrats are inciting a riot. So he had to go to uh, the Trump administration because they reached out to him and they took his plan seriously. They haven't changed it, their plan, the platinum plan, but still, it's possible. Now, I'm Johnny Cumberley, Harvest Freedom Act, and uh, the black folk plan has been in play for a long time. So I'm I'm under the umbrella of the black folk plan. You see? So now the blackfolkplan.org will tell you exactly what to do and when to do it. And they move strictly by executive order, meaning the Trump, uh, the, the president, whoever the president is at the time, can sign off to, uh, a piece of paper proving that the pen is mightier than the sword. And then that is put into action. And then our, that's when our infrastructure kicks in with our 600 plus organizations and we mobilize the, the reparations plan. See what I'm saying? So I've been trying to link up with Q for since, since the plan with Black America came out. So he didn't want to respond. So I damn uh, started the Harvest Freedom Act. And published it on blackredeem.me or blackredeem.com. Now, I am perfectly aware of my nationality, but I need sleep black people to get involved, especially the youth, because the youth control the parents and the parents control the politicians and the politicians control the police. So everybody's doing it backwards, trying to go to the police and say, hey, stop shooting us in the face. Okay, boom. That's one less voice telling us to stop shooting us in the face. That's how they do all these uh, new age rappers that come out uh, uh, complaining about the police. They end up, they wake up dead. Anybody else want to go on in that little segment right there? Uh, you could keep going. said something about there has been 7,000 black people elected and you felt like in, in offices for us and you felt like they made a change they have we've not come far at all with 7,000 of us in there what are we going to do who is going to take this and say okay I'll be in the front line of this and then get in the front line and have everybody on come on board with you because let's be honest, you are IQ and you do have a, a huge platform. So I, I, I would say that um, for me to know that you've been using your platform to be able to have an initiative like that, I think it's worth you doing the interviews that you're doing and letting everybody know and hear your voice. On I just want to jump in and say, I just don't think it's that fair to, to the 7,000 of black elected officials that have been in office. Right. Not, you well, say that they've done nothing. Right? Yeah, because I, I, I think that is, I, I, I think that's a slippery slope to Oh, the energy, the energy what, done changed. What, what have they done? What policies have passed to put us in a different bracket? None. What policies, right? Besides, you know, oh, okay, you know, you have uh, certain certain states that's that's ran by black politicians, and they get a little piece of the pie, but everybody else, everywhere else, don't get shit. You, you understand what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah, I, let's, and let's keep I'm, it a buck too. You know what I'm saying? Not to cut you, but let, let's keep it a buck. You feel me? Like these, pro like the 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 people who are the head of like the Congressional Black Caucus, right? Like like the anti maxine zone down, right? They co-signed and endorsed the '94 crime bill. They had like a full-on press conference saying how bad we needed this in our neighborhoods and whatnot. You know what I'm saying? Whatnot. Like they asked, they literally asked for the '94 crime bill. You feel what I'm saying? The like, Democrats did she, that. And she, and she haven't been in our community for a very long time, bro. She haven't lived in our community for a very, very long time. But right. she know we but she know what we need in our community. Because because she is Maxine Waters, as they call her auntie. Like yeah. that's the that's the that's the wickedness and the twisted foolishness, man, that got us where we are right now. 
mm-hmm. in this political fight because we don't understand and we don't see it because of the propaganda that's being pushed. Like before, you know, we really start looking into things as a whole, like like people like you and me that don't really have a voice like that, but because we have YouTube now, because, you know, we have certain platforms now, certain people actually can hear us. Like this thing, oh, I'm sorry, my background. Go ahead, Art. But now, nah, like, like, so here's like, why are they offended that somebody is unhappy with the the substandard job that that that, that Congress people and, and and the legislative people have been doing in our so called name and whatnot, right? And and it's trying to do something to rectify the situation. Well, the answer to your question is that they are convinced by the uh, media army, the uh, the Jewisher media army that uh the the german man uh trump uh is a racist and uh, a modern day hitler and uh the democrats uh which uh uh young pharaoh properly teaches the etymology of that that demo means demon and crack means and proceed means governing so it's literally demonic governing. So they're convinced that demonic governing is the proper way to progression, which stems that which is which is a branch of eugenics. They're convinced of that by way of the media army that's propagated by the Jewishers. Who wish that they were Jews? And See, they, hold on, real quick. They are the media army that's propagated by the Jewishes, though. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Got to be, got to be. Now, I mean, with with this type of display of of disdain for uh, support, Lisa Ray just attempted to support, bro, and she instantly got banged on. Seven thousand black politicians ain't done a lick of nothing. You think we don't feel that in the poor community, you rich lady? <laughs> and, and 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 you and you know what claim is saying is is a fact because she's going to confirm that she's a person that's not in our community as well. I'm talking about Claudia Jordan, who just made that statement. You gonna hear it come out of her own mouth who she worked with, and then. And then while she's while she's attacking Oc, watch what she say. The shit is like it's like it's like hypocritical. But then she gonna have the audacity to damn near close her show as if he ain't looking out for our own people. Whoa. At the end, I'm wow. gonna let you go ahead. Uh, go ahead, do your uh, thing. Uh, real, real quick, real quick, like so. And Ice Cube, he ain't just he ain't just nobody, right? Like so particularly on the West Coast, like my man been seeing a level of police brutality, right, for a long time, right? You know what I'm saying? Like his music that he made back when he was younger is just as relevant today as it was when it came out when it it first came out, you feel me? And ain't none of the politicians changed none of that. You feel what I'm saying? So so he has every right to to be like, okay, let me go do something right quick. Let me go link it with my people and go do something right quick. And let's just let's just be real. Let's 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 keep it all the way funky because we gotta make the pitch. We gotta you have to see the big picture, right? So this is where this secret meeting came in, where they talk to these uh these these producers. This is why you see conscious rap disappear instantly. Because now they have an agenda to fill up these private these private jails. And if they don't fill them up, then the states or the cities or both got to pay these private owners that's not filling up their jails because this is in their contract. Now, mind you, how are they going to be able to do this? Through the music, right? Uh So when you hear these Democrats, Democrats, right? When you hear these individuals trying to destroy people like Tupac, 
Now, remember, he had a political individual that was fighting against him, and it was a Democratic woman. And he, what, what, was she a woman of so-called color? Uh -huh. Yes, she was. Yes, she was. Right? But in the same breath, it's why do why would why would why was she trying to attack him? Because at that time, it wasn't about gangster rap. It wasn't about you know what I'm saying uh, live and die in California. It wasn't about that. It was about Brenda got a baby. Wonder why we call you bitch. You see what I'm saying? And, uh -huh. and these women are showing a perfect example of why we disrespect our sisters because they go against the righteous brothers that's trying to make change for us as an entire people. But then, oh, well, why are you disrespecting the sisters? It's not that we disrespecting the sisters. We calling them for what it is. Why are they disrespecting our brothers? That's That should be the question. Uh -huh. You should be uh -huh. questioning them, asking them, why are they fighting against our brother when he's fighting for us? Why are they doing the white man's job? Well, that's that's heavy. That's 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 that's, that's heavy. Going back to uh, Moore's point about them clearly displaying the media army's tactics. Uh, this is obvious to to intelligent people. <laughs> and so uh, I, I had the same feeling. And when I have feelings, I'm talking about evidence. Conclusion, conclusion that caused an emotional reaction, an adverse emotional reaction of righteous indignation. I had that same righteous indignation against Ebro. Ebro banged on uh, to the whole 40 minutes that he was on the show. And then Rosenberg backed up Ebro. Now, but who was backing up who? I couldn't tell. They white. Was Ebro backing up Rosenberg? Or was Rosenberg backing up Ebro? I couldn't tell. I said, man, does Rosenberg family own Hot 97? And he just wanted a little gig at the at the at the radio station. And to monitor the uh initiatives that are launched from that station. I couldn't figure it out. That's why I ain't did a show on it yet. And I ain't got time to look it up, neither, nigga. Because I got my bros looking it up for me. So this landed on his desk, the Commander General Yashar, and he came and said, hey, listen, we need to go live right now. I said, well, it, it's the International Day of Rest, bro. I'm asleep. I went directly to sleep. But as soon as, because I'm already woke. So as soon as I woke back up, we went live. Anybody else? In this segment. Keep it moving. To, to yeah, walk down moving. because as we saw with Barack, a lot of progress has been made. It's not as simple as you get elected and bam, you can make all these changes one man. Right. One I, I never said that 7,000 people, black people have never did anything. I said that since the 60s, there's been over 7,000 black people uh, politicians elected in prominent positions and our situation, you know, as far as the wealth gap hasn't changed. We flatlined from the 60s to now, we've had, we have not gained or closed the wealth gap. So that's the major problem. I understand we got a lot of people, you know, working hard for progress that the, just the facts are, it hasn't happened in the traditional way. So that's why I want to break the mold. So, for I Okay, see, Ice Cube is a spy. He is undercover as a broke man and speaking for broke people. He perfectly understands that the wealth gap must be closed. And since the 60s, 
it ain't budged. As a matter of fact, it has gotten worse. He realizes that and feels empathy towards broke people. This man is uber rich. He don't even uh, release a how much money he make. I ain't, uh, he probably do, but they can estimate it on Google. They can estimate how much he's worth, his net, his net worth. Now, somebody that rich don't got no business speaking for broke people. But he took it upon himself to have to, why should he have to go to war with our own princesses in our own community, with our own skin complexion, with our own similar experiences as youths? I understand they ain't never been had no dealings with the police that 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 caused Ice Cube to uh, have permanent righteous indignation towards the police. I understand that, but you rich ladies need to understand that. That's what I don't get. That's what's mind boggling about all this. Exactly what Gishar said. Who's saying something? Hey, Clay, real quick. So uh, Ice Cube net worth is 160 million, right? And in contrast, Vivica Fox is only worth four million. She mad. <laughs> That's why she mad, bro. <laughs> so check this out. He got more money than all them broads put together, right? Uh-huh. Multiple times over. Right. And they're trying to talk down on it. Like, nah, that's when you listen. Like when when the big homie come through with the wad, like you're like, how'd you get that wad? I Man, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm talking about you supposed to be like, we got your back, bro. You know what I'm saying? Particularly when the big homie's like, Yeah, I got a plan to get everybody paid. Like, right, what's good? What's yeah. Going there? Now we're talking about the money, the bag. Oh, now you don't want... Okay, T.I. said this yesterday at his listening party, or whenever it came out with his new album. He said, nah, man, this is just that the rap game feels like anybody can come to the arena and play against Jordan, and anybody from the audience can, can buy a ticket into the, into the arena, watch the game, then after the game... Anybody out the audience can come down and play against Jordan and win some money if they beat Jordan. No, man. It's not like that at all. The playing field is just different now. You got to get with the times. That's why he's uh, successful with that new that new album is Fire. So same here with this particular situation. They are insensitive to brokenness. They feel like they are did what they did to get to that level. And, you, and the Israelite community got a particular understanding of what you had to do to get to that level. So you feel some type of way because you did what you did with Rosenberg. And then now you rich because of that. And we got to go, broke people got to go through that same shit. To get to your level. Come on, man. Who are you talking to? Not me. Couldn't be me. No, not me. Anybody else? I, I just want to say, um, first of all, you know, there's this whole cancel, cancel, um, <coughs> culture that we have. First of all, ain't nobody canceling no damn ice cube. Let me just say that first time to get uh, this is NWA. Thank you. He was the first to say, fuck the police. So go sit down. Nobody's. Oh, hold on. She told them to sat down. <laughs> hold on, hold on. He just sat up. He just sat up. Now, if I was a psychologist, <laughs> it was like, oh, I got another one that got my back. Lisa Ray and this lovely lady. Uh, what's her name? Cena, Cena Johnson. Got his back. You understand? Selena. So yeah, Selena Johnson. Okay. And so what we done, what we know is that he done been fighting for the community forever. From the up to about from the beginning of his life, he probably was born right. and said right. and, 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 and instead of crying, he said, You stupid ass nurse, 
Get your hands off of me. You see what I'm saying? So how in the world can you fix your face in a derogatory manner? See, see, she mad at black men in, in, in general because 50 cents. I went there. Uh, Vivica Fox? 50 cents. <laughs> mm -hmm. 50 cents ruined her. And she now she hates fit. all black men. All of them fit, dog, some kind of. All of them fit because they, cause, cause they, 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 uh, they, they went towards uh they all married somebody for the for for the wrong reason, uh -huh. and they all got dumped. They all got dumped. All uh -huh. for them. you know, all all for them when you look at their history. So they all of them got you know what I'm saying. Not only that, Hollywood really ain't trying to deal with them as far as putting them in no movies and you know what I'm saying, get them no record deals and stuff like that. So. This, this, this kind of, like when when you see them people doing this stuff like this, this to be this be the last result kind of shit. And other than them fucking with Ice Cube on see Selena Johnson, she being politically correct because she know she can get some work fucking I, I Cube. I didn't dish. Yeah, now uh, Bill right. Fox and Lisa Ray and Claudia. No, y'all done. Y'all did. Uh, -uh y'all you know, and, and they can act like they don't need you no know, Ice Cube, but yes, you do. Cause Tyler Perry ain't Tyler Perry don't want you kind. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Straight up, Tyler Perry don't. Yeah, want and you it's kind. a damn shame that we only have one humongous. Uh, he's the new Hollywood. Tyler Perry's the new Hollywood. So it's a damn shame that we just only got one uh person in the community that got that type of power to we get. Had, we, it, well, we had a we million had a, dollar roles. We we had a few. You got you got Tyler Perry, Ice Cube, John Singleton, rest in peace. You know what I'm saying? And Spike Lee. You know we had a few. And before that, you know we had uh, Marvin Van Peoples and and uh, and Melvin. Well, Melvin Van Peoples. You know who actually got his start from? Guess who? Bill Cosby. Uh -huh. Yeah. Right, so, but those are individuals. That's not an industry. You know what I'm saying? Like from time that's to time. A, that, that's exactly right, right, right. Yeah. Going with next, well, 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 you know well Tyler Perry still ain't studio. got his own industry. He still ain't got his own. See that, and that's what Ice Cube was talking about. You know, like we got right. to go through. We got to go through Hollywood to release our film. We got to go through Hollywood to open up movie theaters. That's and not they right. Hand that's in not the cookie right. jar. Yep. Yeah. And that's what Cube was talking about. Cube was talking about the mechanisms in which this whole wealth gap is maintained. He's like, look, man. Since the '60s, our folks who have been in, who've been in politi uh, political power, they haven't closed the wealth gap. The wealth gap. So we got to change how we're traditionally attacking this thing. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, how, how yeah. long do you got to see this in action before you yeah. recognize, okay, it ain't working? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So they're taking it upon themselves to be individual, <laughs> individuals. You understand? But 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 what what what? I mean, like, listen. Before you can speak on. Uh, community activism and thinking in a communal way in order to uplift the community, you're going to have to show that in your background. You understand? So I don't, I, I, in my mind, I don't see that. But I, I once again, I got to do my homework. I'm not going to because I got stuff to do. But it, in my mind, I, I, I mean, I, I monitor all these rich people, the, the, what they doing. I ain't seen no, no community activism going on with these ladies, except for uh, Lisa Ray. You see what I'm saying? Because she, she did what she did. She became the queen and, and, and got dumped, like you said. Yeah. But I think she got over it because she got Ice Cube back. So she don't hate all black men. Like, Vivica, how you gonna hate Ice Cube? You ain't got no dealings with him at all. What dealings do they got? The only dealings they got is an agreement with Fox Soul, which is not a, <laughs> a, 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 a prominent platform for them. That's the only deal, and, 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 and they should be trying. They should be trying to, to meet them halfway. But as the interview go on. You know, you'll see 
how the, the audience going to be able to view how Selena Johnson and Lisa Ray had pretty much took their tail. Yeah. 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 We understand that, ladies. We, you know, we're not mad at you for for coding up with your sisters. We understand that, but the the problem is that you got to you got to code up with your brothers too. Anybody doing anything positive, right? Code up automatically. I don't give a damn what type of disagreements y'all have in private. Yo, say that one brothers. more time, real slow for the ones. Uh, listen you know very saying? carefully, ladies. Uh, possible queens of the future that are only princesses at the moment because a queen is married to a king. You, what you must do whenever you hear anything that you dislike about anybody black, you got to Im immediately and instantly code up. You supposed to get on code with supporting Anybody black doing something positive for the community? I don't care if he was 11 years old. When, hey, when did you speak out against Tamir Rice, little girls? I mean, you know, excuse me. Let, me. let me keep it respectful. When did you speak out about Tamir Rice? 12 years old. He looked like the Incredible Hulk to two white dummies that was exonerated and said they ain't have they, they didn't have no they had every right to shoot the young man. I didn't hear you say nothing. So so let me get this right. Fox soul was supposed to be Fox the people at Fox and the soul was supposed to be for black people. So this is Fox Soul. Find out who owned Black Soul uh more. Who who, who owned Fox Soul? And the top producers, if you could, because he said that they are acting as Jewisher agents, those who wish that they were Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. They can keep their they fan base sleep, but our uh, nationality is known worldwide already. So it's best for you to. Uh, Rupert Murdoch. Okay. Let's see who Rupert Murdoch is. So the executive producer is a dude named James Lamont DuBois. Or DuBose or DuBois. Uh-huh. He's a oh, that particular show? Yeah. I'm trying to see what he's oh, okay. affiliated with. Hold on right quick. Yeah, so I'm looking up. I see uh, where it says uh, uh, the television, the television station division of the Rupert Murdoch family control media company is launching a free over the chop channel on Monday that offers our offers four hours of live daily original program aimed at African American audiences. Mm -hmm. Oxo. Yeah, Rupert Murdoch. Aimed, it's aimed at you. You in the crosshairs. And they also so got a, be, my fault. Certain. They also got a Fox Noir. <laughs> Fox Black. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so they already got an agenda already. Uh, you know what I'm saying? To 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 be on, uh, have a certain, to paint a certain type of picture. It's like, okay, so if you coming at it. Like Nick Cannon, then they're gonna be at your neck. If you come in there like Ice Cube, they're gonna be at your neck. You know what I'm saying? It's pretty much, you know, uh, find a nigga that's gonna buy down, or if, you, if they don't, you know what I'm saying? Go with them. So, this is this is the pressure that's on these ladies, they have to pick a side and pick the side of the oppressor in order to keep their job. But come on, man. Fuck your job. For real. And I mean that in all sincerity. If you're going to... That's why they should have been linking up with Ice Cube, because they can at least still be working. You know what I'm saying? 
Shit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I mean, it, it is what it is. It's like when 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 when, when Monique fell out with Lee Daniels and Tyler Perry. It's other people you could link up with and still make it happen. Yeah, rest in hell, Lee Daniels. And who else? Tyler Perry. <laughs> yeah, Lee Daniels died. Did he? I don't I know why did. you say rest in. You say uh, maybe, rest maybe, in maybe, hell. maybe maybe I wanted him to die or something because how oh. he did Dame Dash or something. I don't know. I mean, he did them. He did. He did. Uh, them all, he did them all crazy, making his way to the top. Yeah, check game. So that the executive mm-hmm. producer of that show, James Dubois, before he started his entertainment company <laughs> in 2006, he was the president of Sean P. Diddy Combs Bad Boy Television under the Bad Boy World Entertainment. Who? Dubois. Uh, the yeah, bad the, boy the guy, the, so, so the guy who so was, he was trained was, by P. Diddy. Basically, yeah, he was the pre, the president of Sean uh, P. Diddy Combs Bad Boy uh, TV. Now, the cold, the cold part is he was a football player before that. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So he went from playing football to straight into the entertainment and whatnot at a, at a high level. So, like, the, mm, I'm just saying, like, some just seem kind of eerie about that. He's black and white. He's he he's uh yeah, brother, he's 50, 50 years old. Uh-huh. He's black. Mm-hmm. Right. So let's uh, see. So, he now, so, so what we talking about is Rupert Rupert Murdoch. Murdoch. Yeah, he owned the show. R- Rupert Murdoch owned the owned the I own it. And so yeah. that's the narrative that they must take all mm-hmm. the way down the line. Yeah. Yeah. Anybody that's gonna produce anything on that channel. Better not don't don't play with it. Don't play with. But see, I thought that Fox was against Trump and CNN. Let's say Fox was with Trump and CNN was against Trump. Unless unless I got that mistaken. Well, oh, this is hold on. This Fox is like like Fox Thirteen Fox. This isn't like a, a. This is like the Fox you can see football games on or whatnot. This isn't like the Fox News Fox. I know, I know, I know, I know that I'm saying. So it's a. This is a. a Bullshit sub company of Fox. Uh huh. Something that they can just sell, they can just throw to the side. Right. Fox. So. Yeah. Yeah. Just throw. Yeah. Just throw. Just throw it to the side. Okay. They're all yeah. Exactly. Wow. Yeah, that's pretty. That's pretty sad. But I mean, uh, anything black people touch turns into greatness. The Los Angeles Times got an article that says uh, Murdoch Company launches Fox so a streaming service for black audience. Will it work? So they are already, and this was January uh, 2020. You know what I'm saying? So, so you would assume that they would have a conservative bent to it then. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's interesting. Will it work? Yeah. Oh, come on. Yeah, let's, let's just play for a second. I'm intrigued now. That's a yes or no. Will it work? <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So they take it having people thinking, oh, no, that won't work. Mm-hmm. You're, supposed to, you're supposed to start out. Man, come on. The title's supposed to be encouraging. Will it work? All right. I'm going in. Canceling Ice Cube. And if you are canceling, that's fucking stupid. Second of all, I do think that it is very good that you are taking an initiative to, um, and, and I like how you say bipartisan, because that means both parties. This is for both parties. We want both parties to jump onto this. This is not just, oh, this person, that person. We want everybody to grab a hold on to what African-American people for me singularly. And I remember we talked about this on cocktails. Remember, Lisa Ray, when you, you asked the question before, you were like, well, who's going to do something? Who's going to lead singularly for African-Americans? Now, I do know that there have been tons of initiatives. CDC CBC has initiatives all the time, Congressional Black Caucus, uh, the Nation of Islam, hey, I, right here, National Agenda. They've had um, an entire agenda that ha- happened right after the Million Man March. It was presented to, um, uh, what's the name, the, the president that was in, what's the name, Clinton. It was, it was presented to the-, the, the The president name don't matter. It's the president. So that's what people do. <laughs> People in the black community that give a damn about the black community go to the top diggity dog. That's what Martin Luther King did. Lyndon B. Johnson is a starch racist. Everybody knows that. 
except for some of these ladies on this panel here. Super racist. That's when everybody became Democratic. Democrats. Martin Luther King was a Republican. Everybody knows that in the intelligent community. Everybody in the, uh, the, the, the movement with MLK was Republicans. Everybody knows that in the intelligent community. So when he negotiated a deal with Lyndon B. Johnson and got a pacifier as a policy, which was a Civil Rights Act that was already written in 1866 and then repeated in 1969, then it, now you deserve our vote. That's when everybody became Democrats. All black people became Democrats. Oh, but my mama ain't never fooled. She's 70 years old. She was born in 1950. She was 18 or 19 when uh, MLK got shot in the throat. So she ain't never voted straight ticket. She ain't never became no Democrat. She's an independent. She ain't never became no Republican. Now the independent party has been hijacked by a bunch of racist white people. <laughs> That's why that man, P. Diddy, started the Black Party. So that we can get our minds together in one collective and determine how to self-determine. Anybody else? Clinton administration. So we have tried. There has been trying going on. But one thing I do like about your initiative is that it is singular to black people. That gap, that wealth gap is a fool and it does need to be fixed immediately. But here's my question. I watched you on the Black Report the other day on Friday and they asked you, hey Q, what do you think about, you know, when you see the black man march and how does that make you feel? And you said something that was really profound and stood out to me. You said, you know what, I wish that black people and black men could watch this over again and get back to this because you said even myself, we haven't, we need to get back to this type of unity, this type of connecting. And so my thing is, let's say whoever get in office, it ain't gonna matter. The, the initiative is set and then it's like nothing's happening or what, or something is happening or whatever, you know, it's there. Now, well, let's say they give us all the $500 billion that we asked for. Do you honestly think, and I'm not even trying to be, um, I'm not even trying to be funny or trying to catch nobody up or not. I'm just asking like a real question. With the state of how our community is already broken, how we already have PTSD, how we already are not connecting already interculturally, the infrastructure of African Americans in general is just jammed up with or without money. Do you think, and what could be the process of once we get this money of implementing it properly into our communities and really being able to allocate it where it makes sense and matters and what's going to be necessary for that to happen. First of all, before he responds, Ice Cube, excuse me, Ice Cube, sorry for interrupting. But uh, listen very carefully. <coughs> uh, <laughs> smart people don't use the word PTSD anymore. We use joy the gr the gr the gr uh, term, post traumatic slave syndrome, which you're clearly under. Uh, you understand? Which we uh, I understand you uh, initially uh, got ice cubes back. That's great. You and Lisa Bray. Oh, but I, I just heard from my great elder that uh, you. <laughs> forsook that support of Ice Cube and defaulted to supporting your sleep sisters and you went fast asleep by the end of this conversation. So what you need to do is catch a hot dog. Go ahead, Ice Cube. 
Well, you know, what I said on the show about the Million Man March was the fact that it was the Million Man March, but it was a day of atonement. It was a day where we were going to bury the hatchet with each other. It was the day when we were supposed to go back to our neighborhood kind of as new people and try to, you know, make things better. Um, right. And, you know, it just didn't happen the way you know, we all envisioned it, uh, but that don't mean we, we can't start. You know, we do need uh, financial help in our communities, but we also gotta, we gotta make a commitment to ourselves to clean up ourselves. You know, it do start with the person in the mirror. Uh, you know, you can't deal with the white man out here until you deal with the white man in there. You see right. what I mean? So right. you, you have to clean up. We have to clean up ourselves. We've been poisoned by this society. We've been poisoned by trying to live like the people who've had us oppressed and, and what they are attracted to, we're attracted to. We got to come out of that. We got to be our own people with our own flavor, our own style, our own morals. And we got to flip it. You know, I'm I'm not... Mr. Holy, I'm guilty of it too. So it's something we all have to start doing uh, to clean ourselves up. But I think the key is is to uh, try to get the money in the in the hands of people who are doing things, who are trying to be on the right side, the progressive people, the people who are uh, you know business owners, people who want to own homes, you know, people who want to beautify their homes so it, it isn't you know, just gentrify, you know? So it's things where we can get money into responsible people's hands and hopefully they'll hire the community to teach the community. They'll uh, use the community to to hopefully clean clean the community up, you know? I also think the government has a job too. You know, why you use the armies just to come in and, and put guns on us and make sure we're not protesting? Why you don't use the armies to come fix fences and roofs and, and and paint walls and do things to beautify the neighborhood. You know, it's like they got to rethink how government works for the people. And they're not going to do it using the same old ways. You're going to have to push them. You're going to have to find pressure points. And you're going to have to use leverage uh, when it's time. You know, everybody make a quick statement, though, Q. Go ahead. If the so now, excuse me, uh, Princess uh, Fox. Uh, let's just uh, use the round number of one million people at the Million Man March. Uh, there had to be over 650,000 women there. So now, I guarantee y'all ain't going to speak on the Million Man March at all. Y'all not going to do that. You know why I know you're not going to do that? Because you don't know nothing about what you're talking about. You're highly eloquent ladies with no information in your brains. The only information that you possess in your brains is how to navigate highly weird. You know how to get involved in those parties. You see? You know, the, the politics with the, the people with the money that's controlling the levers don't pay any attention to that man behind the curtain ignore the man behind the curtain that's what you want us to do but uh, <laughs> you know smart people got this so i mean it's nothing you can do you can keep your fan base sound asleep all you want uh this week is a emerging development that I am the leader of reparations for North Carolina. I can choose any state that I choose that I want. I really thinking about uh dishing out reparations for Florida just because I'm just uh, attracted to Afro Latinas and they down ask, there in Florida. Let me ask you a question, Clay. Now, just 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 observing what's on the screen, right? Is this 
a sister talking to a brother or is this a mother talking to her son? Where that she got her hands, where she talking Body with language. Her Body language. She talking right. to her with her hands. She got a hand on the hip uh, in order to uh, uh, show this type of power. And she is definitely in mother persona. And, and did she not cut the brother off in mid swing? Oh yeah. Oh okay. yeah. <clears throat> and and he uh lovingly gave her the mic because he said, I understand, you know, I'm on your show. And if you wanna be rude and interrupt, go right ahead. Right. But what he's doing is showing the smart community and the righteous community and the empathetic community that he right all the way in every shape, form, on every level. That's all he doing. So he just upstaged you right there by allowing you to cut him up. You don't understand that, do you, mother? Princess Fox, listen. Uh, Selena just told you to sat down, but you don't seem to get it. We're just going to allow Cube to uh, school you a little bit. And then the more you get schooled, the more you're going to get mad and you're going to cut the show off. It's only 30 minutes. I'm looking at the time right now. I see it. <laughs> I know he couldn't get rattled and didn't get mad the whole time. I know that. I ain't even seen this video. The administration that is in there right now hasn't done it for the past three and a half years. What do you think is going to make them start in the next four years that they are given more and given more during the pandemic? Think about Press let, me, let me handle that for you, Q. Let me handle that for you, Q. Trump said, I've done more in 47 months for the black community than the Democrats have than Joe Biden has done in 47 years. I said, what did you just say? 47 months, 47 years. Is that true? That's my first question. That don't make nobody sense as black, as the Georgians say. You understand? So I looked it up and noticed the crime bill and the, and, and, and the creepy Joe uh, technique where he is uh, sniffing a young lady's hair and the uh, accusations of him sticking his fingers all up and through women's vaginas. And then they being reassigned because they didn't appreciate that. So them two is enough for me to say... Yeah. Let me ask you a question. All right. So she asked, a, I guess you can say it's a logical question. What have they done in the last three and a half years for black people? All right. Um, I can ask the same question about these so-called black politicians that uh, you trying to take up for. You and this chick, uh, Claudia Jordan. All right. I can ask that same question. What, what the hell have they done for our black community since they've been in their so-called seat? Mm -hmm. and, and, and we got we got the receipts on Trump. <laughs> we got these, the receipts on Trump. That, why do you think so many <laughs> black people done came out and, talk, and speaking about Trump? And, and one so, more thing, right? Say about Trump. Go ahead. And, and, and when have somebody ever came to the forefront like this right now with a plan strictly for us? Cause see, Camilla Harris, she told you out her goddamn mouth. Oh, a plan strictly for black people? Oh no, no, I'm not. I'm not endorsing that. I'm not. I'm not supporting that. Right. But that's your that because that's what, who y'all call. That's y'all sister, a cousin. Y'all need to vote for her, right? The fuck out of here. It's not my sister. When she say that she oh. can't do shit for us, she's not my sister. And then when I find out that her family is those who actually enslaved us in our migration in the Congo, 
man, stop it. Y'all got me twisted. So we're going to just keep it all the way funky, yo. That's not our sister. She's not related to us in no way, fashion, or form. Camilla Harris, I'm talking about, right? And approve what I'm saying. Look who she's married to. I yield the mic. <laughs> Anybody else? <laughs> I know you got to take a break. Hold that thought. But yeah. I just got to ask that and, and make that statement. Because but, mm-hmm. you can't make them, show them all of that, and they've been there for three and a half years. So very, Yeah, very, I, I, very, ain't, I ain't trying very, to make them do nothing. So we, we gotta, need them to do something if we we're going to trust them to do it. Hold on, guys. We got to take a quick break. Okay. I definitely want to talk about that. I definitely want to talk about, Keith, you hit on some very, very good points about the military. But this current administration is using the military to enforce their own agenda. And we want to talk about that. So let's take a quick break. A lot of gems are being dropped here. We'll be back with more cocktails with the Queens when we return after this break. Yeah, you don't have to uh, change that. Uh, you can talk about cocktails with the Queens. You clearly got that title from uh, Nepal Shada, the uh, sister sit down. You see? But she's smart enough to call herself a sister instead of calling herself a queen because she's not married to a king. Queens are only married to kings. So you need to change your title now. Welcome back to Cocktails with the Queens. We have Ice Cube here and we are talking about his contract with Black America and and some very legit questions here. Vivica, before we went to break, you asked about if the current administration has not done it in three and a half years, why now is this this massive push with two weeks before the election? I understand Ice Cube, you've been working with this since June, July, but we're hearing about it now. So it looks really, I I think a lot of black folks, it looks very, yeah, like I feel like I don't, and I know this isn't your intention, but I feel like, you know how they use us all the damn time. You well, know what I, mean? I mean, both sides use celebrities, but check this out. The thing is this, I'm not here saying he gonna do anything, but he didn't make a promise to me. He made a campaign promise to the world. So he's on record for that. Now, we wanted Joe Biden on record. He has a plan, but I don't know if his plan really pinpoints black people. So. We yeah. want a plan that pinpoints black people. We don't know if any of them are going to do it. But when you have a person on record as a campaign promise, you have more to go at him with because mm-hmm. he's told the world this is what he's going to do. And if he doesn't deliver, he looks bad to everybody. Now, why hasn't dude done it in three years? I don't know. Nobody's been pressing him. Everybody's been like, he's the boogeyman run. And nobody's been pressing them on behalf of black people because we've been just waiting for Democrats to get back in. You know, I do not and, agree with and, you on that statement. There has been a well, lot. Well. <laughs> <laughs> this is a lot of hard mess is going on around here. Now, now, if he would have had the receipts, I think he would have calmed them. He would have just upstaged them instantly. You see what I'm saying? So. You know, uh, that's why we need Joshu to bring me in the receipts because, uh, you know, I did my homework on it. And if you want to speak specifically about Trump the whole time, then you got to have the receipts ready. You know, they're going to do that to you, Q. You see what I'm saying? You know, they're going to do that to you. So you got to you got to get your receipts together and uh, present them whenever somebody say, well, what about what? What have they done in three and a half years, man? So many things. He brought it out in the debate that he the Molly uh Biden on last night. He brought it out in the debate. So the, you can start there. There's only three or four things that he said there. You see? Go ahead. A lot of people that have asked Wait. him, what about the wall? What about the kids? What, what, what? I mean, there's a lot of things. Pause under- right there, bro. Pause right there. Hold <laughs> <laughs> on. Oh, oh, let, me, let me act like a prophet right now. You going to mention the kids in cages? Man, listen. This woman just said, what about 
the wall. What the hell? What what do the wall got to do with us as a people? Uh, the only thing the wall does is prevent uh, illegal immigrants from taking black people jobs. That's the only thing. That's the only relevance the wall has. And the cages were built by Obama. Where they put the little kids in cages and ripped the ripped the families apart, and they can't find the parents. Go go back real quick, bro, and listen to what she had to say. Just just a couple of seconds, not much. That's cool. Go at him with, because he's told the world this is what he's gonna do, and if he doesn't deliver, he looks bad to everybody. Now, why hasn't dude done it in three years? I don't know. Nobody's been pressing him. Everybody's been like, he's the boogeyman. Run. And nobody's been pressing them on behalf of black people because we've been just waiting for Democrats to get back in. Now he's saying no, pressing them on behalf of black people. Now listen to what she said. People that have asked what, him, what about the wall? What about the kids? What, 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 I mean, there's a lot of things. I, that I, I understand now. I'm, Stop. <laughs> Everything that she just, he said, pressing them about things strictly for us as a people. Uh -huh. What the hell do kids in cages have to do with us, what the hell do a goddamn wall have to do with us? Because that's what, if you're talking about them pressing Trump, that's what they pressing him for. Mm -hmm. Q was very clear in what the fuck he just said. Excuse my French. But he was very clear. And you see this bra right here, Jordan? She's mm -hmm. sipping on her little drink instead of correcting this bra. Wow. You see what I'm saying? Like, yeah, giddy. Like, nah, this is that wicked shit that I'm talking about that our sisters need to stop taking part in. You understand what I'm saying? There's no way that she needs to address our brother about some shit that ain't got nothing to do with us when this whole show is about us. Again, the world don't have shit to do with us and they babies don't have nothing to do with us. Mm. Okay, now uh, let me be clear. I'm holding the same cup in my hand as Claudia Jordan. I am single, and you you unmarried. Uh, in our community, you're not worth marrying, and so I do uh, disregard you as a potential candidate. Uh, but looking kind of cute with that the same cup. That I'm holding in my hand, in your hand, and you sipping on that straw, kind of cute. Understand? So I am single. I'm not gonna I, give him no plus sign. I understand that, ever. but check, but check this out. I'm what? talking about pressing him to give things to black people. These are country issues. I'm talking about black people pressing him to give things to black people. Everybody treated him like the boogeyman. Nobody would go and press him to give things to black people. The stuff that he's doing to the rest of the country, I understand that, but we raggedy. We got to get our, we have to, we have to, we have to, we have to, we have to press any president that, that ends up winning. We have to press. Or it's not going to work. We can't just press one side. He says or, when or we ask do press them that the other people are fine people. I mean, is that that's a, th th that's right? A, that, I mean, I'm, and look, he wants I'm not to announce, here, I'm not, I'm not here to take up for nobody that hurt us and suppress not, us, and that, a, that a, and then the policeman had his neck to fight. Like neck. Let's uh, let's let's get into some more imagery here. She's the brick wall. Is that not what? Am I reading the imagery improperly? Right, right. So ain't she get ain't, ain't she getting through that that thick ass skull of hers? Does she have a black doll behind her, a black female doll behind her, and some flowers to give to her brother, and the, and the wine, and the, that makes merry, and money answers all things. Am I reading the imagery correctly? What's what's this behind her? It's like some studio stuff, or this a uh, outside? It's a this a Scott? This a uh, this a view? Yeah, it looks like a view. Okay, okay. And then you got champion 
champion stuff on right here. So how are you going to defeat a champion? And what's this about? What's this imagery about? I don't see nothing there. So she's a blank sheet of paper? Confused. But why? Yeah, but she, 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 she de defaulting she, to her mother. Brought, what have she brought to the table? <laughs> what has she brought to the table? Confusion. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So I don't understand why she's so focused on being a brick wall. You need to take that backdrop off of there. No, that's perfect. That's perfect. <laughs> I mean, you you showing you revealing yourself without even knowing that you're revealing yourself. Both both of them are. You got confusion and 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 and. And rock this, right this imagery is confusion. I don't see nothing there. I'm confused. Let her tell it. That's art. It can't be interpreted. So you know, art, art, art can be art can be interpreted. You know what I'm saying? It's a, it's a, it's a beautiful thing to see. You know what I'm saying? It's a beautiful thing to hear. It's a beautiful thing to witness being done. You know, in live action, right in your face, right? Uh huh. But that right there. <laughs> That's what I was going to ask you. What's yeah. the interpretation of this art? Confusion. Confusion. <laughs> what you got? That hammer for? Well, that hammer is good, boy. I swear, your sword is a hammer, too. But so, so what you call them? 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 Hammer weapons. Uh, you say what, what you what you call them hammer weapons? Yeah. What a battle ram? Oh, uh, is that what it's called? No, not not a battle ram that that knocked down the doors. Uh, you got a one of them. You got one of the big hammer weapons. I don't even know what they call. A, uh, sl a sludge hammer or something? No, that's that's you know that's what what we do. But I'm talking about uh. Uh, the the weapon when you at in war. Oh shit! I would call it an axe hammer. I guess so. Uh, or, I or, guess so. or a battle I hammer. Know. Shit, I don't uh, know. Yeah, it's probably a battle hammer. So I don't know the technical name for it. I want to call it a mace, but I know a mace is a bat. <laughs> yeah, bust you to the white. Well, I mean, for nine minutes, he never Vivica. support them. Did I Vivica. mean? I'm not here to fight about what he did, what he didn't do. Is he a good white man? Is he a bad white man? To me, they pretty much all the same. So I now, I don't agree with that. With that said, I, yeah. well, you, you see the shit? Like now, now, hold on, pause that, pause that. <laughs> now she just showed her true goddamn colors. And look at the goddamn look on her silly ass face. This motherfucker said, Q said, well, shit, sis. Like I ain't, I ain't choosing no sides. All the motherfuckers is the same. They, they all snakes. Oh well, well, I just, I'm gonna have to disagree. I'm gonna have to disagree with that. I'm agree. They're not all snakes. So, so what you're doing is you, you, you pushing the Biden uh, narrative. Uh, hold it up for a few minutes while I take a bath. Look, look at, look at the confused look on, on Lisa Ray face. Like, what the fuck is she just say? And then look at Jordan. <laughs> and then look at Jordan, silly ass. About to just go right behind her, like, okay, well, let's 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 correct that here and silly bro. Let me, let me go read some talking points right quick. Let me get my reading glasses on right quick. You know what I'm saying? Man, this shit is wild, bro. <laughs> like, yo, this is crazy, pal. She straight stopped the whole like no wait, wait. I'm gonna have to wait. I'm gonna have to agree. I'm gonna have to disagree that all white men is the same. Fuck out of here. Hey, more power to you, baby. Yeah, she's mad at that 160 versus the four, bro. That's what that is. <laughs> That's what she's disagreeing with. I'm mad at you because your money way longer than mine. Oh, my goodness, man. This is ridiculous. Bro. I'm mad at you because you didn't hit me up for that last, you know what I'm saying, installment of that Friday, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Hey, hey, I'm mad at my you know I while I was on that bathroom. I used to have a crush on Vivica Fox, bro. I'm mad at yeah, myself for that, yeah, bro. Same here, yeah, same here, man. Uh, so, uh, so, 
so what I so what I'm saying is this right here. He said specifically the Democrats and Republicans are pretty much all the same. Right. Why did he say that? Because their policies prove it. Right. So he ain't talking about all them, uh, uh, your boss. He's not talking about your boss, Rupert Murdoch. So it ain't no use of defending him specifically. You see? So she finished, she got her glasses tilted just right to read this talking point. You got your fingers together like you finna say something smart. Just because you speaking the uh, English eloquently don't mean you saying something smart. This is what I was told to say, so it must be right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I didn't even think of that part. Now, I'm telling you, in order to be smart, you got to have a lot of background information. But that's that we call in the smart community context. So you guys are going on a rampage this campaign against a brother. I'm going to keep reminding you that this man is attempting to perform uh, a positive, uplifting act and, and apply it to society and policy in order to correct historical ills in our community that must be addressed. You ain't uh, 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 spoke on that yet. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. We ain't even agreed with that point yet. Do we? Is we fucked up or what? No, no. She just want to argue. And Cube said, "I ain't here to argue with you, sis. You, you arguing about some shit? I ain't trying to argue with. I ain't. I ain't chose no goddamn side. You chose a side. Because oh, 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 you can't agree that they, right. they ain't the same. Remember that. So you chose a side. When he said they're the same." He talking about them two motherfuckers. Right. She's just stuck. So she got to she got to figure out who who do, who do I side with? Am I supposed to continue to support Cube that's actually doing the yeah. right thing? Support or, you. Now it looked like the demon done came in and she said, "Damn, I gotta defend my sister because mm -hmm. eyeballs look like they changed oh, oh. right there." One eye <laughs> yeah, but the spirit told her to shut up too. One eye slant. The, the spirit told her to sit back in that chair and shut up too. You feel me? <laughs> Am I wrong? I'm telling you, that's what it is. Hey, I'm just looking, I, you know, because every single movement is is important. Every single movement of the head, the the, the eye. <laughs> she trying to be calm, but her head them tilted a little bit. Damn, I got to side with my sisters. They 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 still going strong. And I, I, you know, if I want this job, what am I going to do in the future? This is silence, a bird in the hand is better than two in the bush. Silence is key. Silence is key. Because cause, cause at this point, you don't know really what's going on in their brain until they speak. So, so you know, if motherfuckers ain't, you know, good facial readers, then they ain't going to know what the fuck they're thinking about. But but Lisa Ray, she like, man, what the fuck did this bro just say? <laughs> like, she can't hide her facial expression. It's a wrap. <laughs> Uh, yeah, once again, Lisa Ray, I am single, so I I'm a real king, and uh, so I can restore you to your actual queen uh, moniker that you received with your with your failed marriage. Okay, I'm shooting my shot at everybody. All right, I'm on the edge of my seat waiting for this uh, this uh, talking point she got because it's it gotta be gold the way she holds it. Gotta be, yeah. It gotta yeah. be gold. All right. <laughs> You got her fingers like this, like if you like, I'm right because I'm holding my fingers this way. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Get it? He can't get around this one. <laughs> <laughs> Let's this is the head shot. Yeah, this is the head shot. <laughs> Let's hey, see hey, if you got hey, it. Hey, hey, take it back just a little bit so we can see the whole little uh, wind up to it. Okay, just a little bit. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Oh, that's when they look normal. Okay, I think we got it. Yeah. We got it, huh? yeah, boy, that's it. She, yeah, yeah, she yeah. still sad. She sad. She sad still. Okay, she, she laughing like, no, no. no I can't believe like, this. 
She looked like I her stomach felt like down the toilet. Lisa, Lisa Ray looked like, what the hell? <laughs> She's she's uh, sympathetic. She's like, oh man. She nah. She mad at us. She because somebody in the head right now. Yeah, she's like right oh, now. She's, she's, she's in this bitch right here. Why, why are they doing this? This bitch them? right here. Please don't do this to them. To 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 Q. Please don't don't make me choose a side. Let's just side with Q. Let's. You see, that's what I'm looking at. You see, she's so like, that we can so because like this is this going this gonna look bad. I don't care what looks bad. I'm fine. I've been fine my whole life. Who cares what looks bad? I'm independent. I'm, I'm rich. Who cares what broke people think? How dare you speak for broke people? Now, let's see how they facial expressions change in a few seconds here. Somebody's next, but for, for nine minutes. He never Vivica. support them. Did, I Vivica, mean, I'm not here to fight about what he did, what he didn't do. Is he a good white man? Is he a bad white man? To me, they pretty much all the same. So I, now, I don't agree with that. With that said, I, yeah. well, I don't well, agree I, with that. I don't agree with the. Can I? I well, well, I don't. They go the fingers. They go the fingers. Uh, according to my notes, according to my notes, she I got this to say. She about to school us about these white men. On how they not the same. That's Let's figure this out. Let's see what she got to say. She mad because he just talked about her daddy. That's what that was. Say what? She mad because he just talked about her daddy. That's what that was. <laughs> that's a fact. Yeah, that's a fact. That's a fact. Is her father white? I don't know, but I'm about to investigate. What's her oh, full okay. name? Her name is oh. Claudia Jordan. Claudia Jordan. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna present that right after she dropped this. Atomic bomb that she's been waiting on. Right, right. I know we've, we've had all kind of president and our situation hasn't changed. So that's why I said they're pretty much all the same when it comes to a president and dealing with uh, our situation. Um, also, though, let me, I gotta ask, I gotta ask this question. I gotta ask this question. If you're on this show with, with the cocktails with the queen. And there's a reason for that. It wasn't to have you defend or not defend Donald Trump. It was about, I care about what's in this contract with Black America for women. And, and it's not, we're not mentioned at all in the contract with Black America. And I, you are mentioned. I mean, when you, when you mention Black people, you mention in Black women. So oh, don't count yourself no, out. Yes, that's you not true. What? You see, you see, the, you see that wicked ass look she got on her fucking face? Wow. That threw me for a loop. Oh, that's uh, not you. Cool. I mean, you you warned me that that's what this was about, that they're excluding, and you prefaced this whole conversation about that when we started the show, that they're excluding the, themselves from the contract with Black America. He's like, what? <laughs> look, at look. look at this look, bro. Like, <laughs> that, look at this look. Like, it's like, oh, this is beyond, this above my pay grade. This, this, these people, they was waiting on that, and they're gonna go deny that they're not black people. Hey, more, that they're hey, not included hey, with the contract hey, with black America. Hey, more, I apologize that you know she let you down. You know what I'm saying? She didn't really have <laughs> nothing to give you. You know what I'm Man. saying? With that, that bill. <laughs> How you call that? What you call that? Like that was like what? What you call that when the, when the, when the anticipation so high that don't deliver? What you call that? <laughs> so I was wrong too. Like Hugh wasn't talking about her pop. He was talking about her mom. He was talking about her mom. So her mom's from Italy. You know what I'm saying? And she and she don't look. She's not like one that like the Sicilian looking cats either. She's a. <laughs> you know what I'm she's. She looks uh -huh. generic. You feel me? So. Yeah. Look. Look at that hair, bro. Yeah, you, you 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 can see the salt on her face when he said like they all the same. She was like, no, nah, no. Nah. Was that was that weave or something, or was that a real hair? No, that's a, that's hers, bro. That's what I thought. Yeah, so she's the only one semi authentic when it comes to appreciating your hair on the whole panel. I mean, on, I was man. That, that, that's your crown you. right there. <laughs> that's that's your covering. That's the, that's your beauty that attracts everything. So you guys have been. Doggone disrespecting your whole lives because you don't keep it, keep up with your hair. You, you gotta depend on wigs. Why? Why are you depending on wigs? Now I understand you just as exceptional. 
So therefore, you could be perfectly bald headed. You know what I'm saying? Got a you could you could rock a bald head and still and still be appreciated. But come on, man. What's 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 up with this? Yeah, this is this is where this is where it get real sickening. Oh no, here we go. See, okay, let me brace myself. You you under delivered on your on your golden your golden opportunity to, to to drop this atomic bomb, and you asked him about where are the women in the contract with Black America. Mm-hmm. So now we got to <laughs> hypnotize ourselves to believe that you're not part of Black America when you're all clearly Black people. Right. You, ever, you ever play spades or somebody threw it in a club when they thought it was a spade? And argue you down. That is just- <laughs> <laughs> like they like, just knew it was a spade the whole time they had it in their hand. Man, I would have turned the table over and said, man, I'm going home. <laughs> Brother, you think that's a spade? Hey, yeah, it's a spade, bro. Look at it. Right. Mad, crying. Upset. This a giant have, is a dose of, is a dose of spade, dude. That's the biggest. About to have Look a man, Joker, Joker, deuce, deuce. <laughs> she was crazy, man. It's <laughs> right in the bottom, like, nah, man, that's not a spade. That's a club. That's not a spade, <laughs> that's not a spade baby. She got that one. That's not a spade, baby. Don't you know that's a spade. Maybe like, spade, that's spade, spade, like, that's spade right there. The, the, the deuce of club is higher than the three of spades. How you going to take my book? Give me my book, man. Cube <laughs> expression right here, bro. That's our book. That's our book. I don't give a damn. How big right? the table was, this whole <laughs> table would have been upside down. It, that, that facial expression is like he was about to say something. He just like got stuck. Right? <laughs> yeah, he was like, like, <laughs> I, was like I can't believe that. that, that <laughs> he's saying, he's saying this is he, That's the same look he had in Friday when he was listening to the Scarpy the first time he spoke yeah. weed. Oh, no. <laughs> I know he said. I know he said. Did, did she just say what the fuck? I think she just said. Man, did she he uh, yeah. What he say? What he say? What he got high? Is that my heartbeat? You know what I'm saying? My heartbeat just fast. Can you hear my heartbeat? Can you hear <laughs> Then he ran inside because he thought the phone rang. <laughs> oh, That's the look. More <laughs> user genius. I underestimated you, brother. Hold on. This the dichotomy is. between looks between Lisa Ray and Vivica is hilarious, bro. Man. Silly. It's on the total opposite ends of the spectrum. That is really silly. And she's like, well, I just decided. Not less than 40 seconds ago, I better side with my girls. Better side with my girls. She decided that because I saw the demon get, go into her eyes. I saw that. I saw it. And you said this is where it starts getting ratchet from here, downhill from here. Watch. Okay. This black administration said that when they black make people black, are not black women, black, black women are not included in black people. No, 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 no. <laughs> now, now, now they confused. Now they, now, now they against each other. You got Lisa Ray saying yes. You got old girl saying a little bit of yes and no to the right. Uh, what's her name? Selena Johnson. Then you, you got these two up here, just, just, just completely, just, just airheads, straight up. Oh. And right now, oh. Vivica's trying to smile and blend into the background. <laughs> Look at her stupid ass. <laughs> That's the brick wall. She can't be broken. She can't, you know what I'm saying? You gonna hit that, you gonna you gonna cause a lot of property damage to your vehicle. You understand? Then you're gonna have to go back to the shop. You're gonna have to probably buy a new engine and all that. Once I seen that brick wall, I would have said, hey, you gotta take that uh you gotta take that down and put another uh backdrop up there. And, and, right and, now. And, and, and then and then peep game. Just because he said just that. Now all hell done broke loose between them. <laughs> press play. Claudia, press play, play. Hold on real quick. Claudia Jordan, she looked my like, bad, she, like damn, that's the stupidest thing I've ever said in my life. Like she could tell, like, damn. 
that's that's I'm wearing all kind of egg on my face right now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, she's, yeah, like, she's, she's like, she's like, like she's like, damn, like, I said that. Oh, I can't oh, even oh. take that back. <laughs> she's like, oh, 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 uh, that was that was supposed to end you right there. <laughs> exactly. Did you see it. my fingers? <laughs> <laughs> she's panicking right now. She's like, don't don't know. I, I got. I'm gonna have to sense you sooner or later. She's getting. She you sees are the deflation right. Absolutely right. right. But my boss said to right. spend this the way it's supposed to be spent and to diminish your efforts. But you ain't doing nothing. But planes don't fly without fuel. You can put all, all the uh, fuel you want in there. It's uh, it gets burnt off. That's what fuel is for. Right. Said, it, it, don't you know when I'm on my fingers like that, you're not supposed to respond? That's right. <laughs> now she got her fingers wide open. like Wide open. See, Hold on. I'm wait, gonna, wait, wait. Stop. Wait, wait. I'm going ha- to have to shut you up in just a few seconds here because you is absolutely right that black women is included in black people. So now I look terrible. And you can tell Lisa Ray see the train wreck happening. She's like, oh, this is bad. Oh, this is ugly. Yeah. Yeah. Now, what was she saying? <laughs> oh, he played. They couldn't control themselves after that one. Everybody <laughs> had to say something. <laughs> <laughs> Let it run, bro. Let it run. Uh, uh, uh. That's like when the president says minorities, then he's including black people. But we all know that that's not the case. Black women have specific needs that are not also being met. And we also feel that there should be some things that are specific to us in our plight as well. And I, I understand I that. Like, I feel like as and a I, man, you can leave. No, I feel like well, you I just can offer, I just offered offer y'all to write a section up for it. I just said I, I don't mind if you guys help us. Oh, if you okay. guys help us write a section. No, I've been open to all kind of experts in putting this together. It wasn't just me. We we dealt with experts in all fields of this contract with Black America. So we're willing to deal with experts in the section when it comes to women. So that's no problem. Okay, I, I, and I'll help you write it. No, no. This is a uh, 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 this is not only a solution, but this is a perfect time to plug Harvest Freedom Act because the only people who have signed my petition, the only black people who have signed my petition, and the only people who are black, the only people who have signed my petition are black and women. And women. So that propelled me to become the chairman for North Carolina for reparations for North Carolina. So that's that, that's who I am right now. I'm talking about real life. Real life. That's why I told Chris Harris, the cry baby, <clears throat> that I'm winning. Winning what? I'm the triple champion. You're gonna find out, brother. So like I just announced, I'm the chairman for reparations for North Carolina under the black plan. So now he just said the solution is that all you got to do is link up with him and tell him the specific needs of black women that may have been uh, uh, somewhat disregarded in the uh, contract with black America for whatever reason in their brain. To like which, what, they, to which they have not brought up a specific issue as of yet as to what need hasn't been met in, in the country. Oh, you know what it is? You know what it is? No, sir. Because they're not going to tell you. I'm going to tell you. I just got they want Go They want abortion to be free. That's a, yeah. That's a, anyway. That's the underlying Democrat line that Ados Tone Talks deals with. I'm finna bang on him next. Okay, I don't got t- tired up. I don't got fed up to here. I'm tired. 
of this man talking when I birthed Ados, first of all. First and foremost, I birthed Second of all, I appreciate you bringing the reparations discussion into an elevated uh, 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 platform. I appreciate that. But you're trying to disregard your father. That's a problem for me. And you said that the Democrats must stay in power. Do you realize what that sounds like? How does that even make sense? Like, okay. So if 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 you're somebody from our descent, right? Like anybody being in power who's not, you don't make sense, right? That's a fact. We're not allowed to allow other nations to rule over us. Yeah, right. So saying someone else besides it's like they got to be in power, like yeah, right off the top, I'm, I'm looking at you all kind of crazy while I'm taking all kind of steps back. You feel me? Mm -hmm. And then when you think of the underlying understanding of the whole democratic everything, it's completely counter uh, productive to the black community. Everybody smart knows this, but you you loud mouth, you big mouth people keep towing that line. But that's why that's why uh, uh, the support for Trump amongst black people is going up. Like it's been going up. Like, so I've been, okay. So again, I said this to Domo uh, in this video, like a while ago, I said, check this out. I said, watch it. I was like, watch, I said, watch uh, Trump get anywhere from 12 to 17% of the black vote. So watch. Of the, of, the, of the male of the black male vote. I think I said the full black vote, right? I was like, yeah, watch. He's he's gonna go up. He's like just like Bush did. Bush got he like he got like twelve percent the first time and like fifteen the second time, or like nine the first time and twelve the second, whatever he went up. I was like, it's gonna happen again. I was like, watch. Yeah, yep. watch. Yep, and it went up, it went up uh uh who who was talking about that? Somebody was talking about that recently, how his support went up in the black community. Yeah. Even though, even though we in the smart community, because he was putting hands on Biden effort. about the '94 mm -hmm. crime bill, he was like, "What's up right. with you, dude? That's mm -hmm. your bill." You see, he called it the Biden bill, slapping right. him up. He put hands on, kicked Question. him in the balls and all. Question: In in the past, Republican outside of Trump, the past Republicans that uh, was that made office, mm -hmm. how many wars did we uh, go through? Do they do they each have a war? Um so I From know Bush okay, Senior every Republican had a war. Bush Bush Senior had a That's war. That's why we were surprised yeah, when, uh, senior, junior, when when Obama had a war because Reagan had Democrats some real don't go to war. Stuff, but nothing huge, you feel me? Yeah, yeah Reagan, Reagan had, had to put out Reagan, a lot of some stuff. Iran Contra. But but his oh. his war his war yeah, was, was mainly no war. his like, his okay. war his war was mainly here inland. Yeah, facts. You feel me? So yeah, no, war no, on no. drugs. <laughs> exactly. No, no, it, it wasn't a war on drugs, bro. It was a war on the black community. Yes, yeah, so that, that's, that's what we know. know. That's what so, the smart people know. So, okay, so you got him. Then you had uh, you had Clinton for a little break. Then we had uh, no, but Clinton was doing no. Clinton was in Kosovo and all kind of stuff. Right, right. He he did he 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 was he was like the peace man though. He he didn't. That's what he they try to say about 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 Obama when where he got a, he got a. Uh, but no, nah, that motherfucker was kill, he he killed he got he got head he got he got bodies, bro. I'm with it, but he got a peace prize. No, he, 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 got, he got he got bodies. He got, but, he, got, he, got more body, he got more bodies than Clinton got, bro. No, everybody tried to blame. He got more bodies. Than, to, he got more bodies than Bush did. Everybody tried to blame Obama for Gaddafi, but he didn't kill Gaddafi. Uh, France killed Gaddafi. So don't put that particular body on him. He got domestic bodies, all his past you, lovers, you can male, male lovers. You can definitely put a couple of Clinton's fingerprints on that. And, and that girl, that comedian lady, that old comedian lady that, that called his his husband a, a, a transsexual. Yeah, great. Uh, uh, yeah, I know you're talking about. But yeah, though, like, just, just, just paying attention, man. Uh, he do a war. So he can't he can't go he can't go through office without going through war. Right. 
So we know so, who's gonna win. So so he already, exactly. He caught, but he caught bodies. He caught bodies at the beginning of his last of his, of his first time. He dropped. Remember when, when he dropped that that bomb in uh, in Syria, whatever it was. He dropped the Moab. You know, the mother of all bombs. In Syria, who did that? Yeah. Uh, Trump. Not to wow. mention. Not to mention, yo, he gave he gave the Saudis like a hundred, like what was it, like a hundred million or a few hundred million in weapons. Uh-huh. Like he he armed him enough to start a whole other war. You know what I'm saying? A whole other world war. Oh yeah, uh, I'll pray to the Most High. We can't wait. We want the the, the third world war to happen. Not today. So you can get through your thick, rich skulls that uh. You wrote. I want, I want the third world peace to happen. You feel me? Yeah, that's 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 up to us to to act like how we supposed to act and create our own space and rule ourselves. I agree. Through the increase of that government, there's no end. All right, man. Let this thing run. I gotta hear what's going on because it's about to be crazy. Oh, <laughs> uh, they. <laughs> She's panicking. She panicking. Listen. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Let's figure this out. I'll help you write it. If, if, say you if, do get the money. How soon yeah. do you think your plan is going to go into effect? Oh, now nah, you want to you want to take it semi seriously? Okay. You 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 got sympathetic all of a sudden. He said. If I was a psychologist, I would think. But she got to sound smart now because old girl said some stupid is earlier, yeah, like right before. You, you know just, what I'm saying? So you got to switch it up now. Listen, you just put your whole foot in your mouth without hot sauce. What it tastes like. <laughs> so I'm trying to understand. He just clearly said y'all are included and then offered you uh, to help him include what he's missing from the black woman community. How is that? What is missing? You ain't gonna say it, but I just told you what's missing. Free abortion. That's the only thing they could ever speak about. Ain't no way in the world, because there's already measures in place for uh, black women empowerment in the, in the policy already. You see what I'm saying? But the, like I said, the gatekeepers are always in the way. It ain't when will we start seeing I'm the benefits? Getting, I, I'm not getting one quarter. Okay, but, this is no, something no, no, he's no, promising. No, no. I said this is something when, he's promising to the country, and he's gonna have to implement it in a way he feel that can fit. Okay, just but like can Joe I just Biden ask plan. though? Uh, Claudia Jordan just got defeated. She dropped her head in utter defeat. You see, he tactical with it. Look, look at his, look at his race went to the side. Like, <laughs> let me get my, let me get my, uh, let me get my verbal jujitsu done properly because now the brick wall is trying to go, trying to trying to focus in on me. <laughs> let me let me get my stance right. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> <laughs> and she finna go in and lie some more. But she did ask a valid question, how long it's going to take for you to get the money? Okay. Now, he said it's not his money. And I, he don't know. And he's not a prophet. He's not psychic. How are you supposed to know, know how long it's going to take? You see what I'm saying? When I went COVID, it took a whole two weeks to drop nine trillion so now why we can't make that happen for us that we just we done been postponed for a whole year the black community been canceled for a whole year and continued to be abused for a whole year now you see somebody standing up and you got the nerve to try to uh grab his ball well that's against the law according to Israelites what what would you see this uh, plan doing for the first year for no. us if he's reelected? I'm not part of the administration. Well, I'm not I, here. For, I'm here for black people. I'm here to talk to both administrations about 
the contract with Black America. The platinum plan is not mine. Didn't name it. Didn't put it together. All I did was meet about the contract with Black America. They added some things, and I'm willing to meet with both sides. They can add some things or not. It's fine. I mean, you know, they ran off immediately and did statements that you're basically a Republican now. We're going to so need a team of our people. That's on them. That ain't on me. Okay. So we're that's need on them. That's not on me. I just want to make sure. We can't talk at the same time. We cannot talk Ladies, ladies, ladies. I can't hear anything y'all saying. I got to look around at all four pictures. You see what I'm saying? Mute your mic, yo. Mute your mic. I still still responding to Vivica, y'all talking. Now, I understand you want to get some order. That's great. But they clearly disrespect, she's clearly disrespecting you because she's the host on the uh, show. You understand? She's the, she's the female domo or the actual domo, maybe. Because <laughs> domo's also a female. So how, hold on, how does this work here? What I'm saying is, mute your mic, yo. At the same time, I got to ask a question, y'all. With over 20,000 lies told to the American people by this president, I'm a former friend of Donald Trump. I work with them. I made money with him. Personally, it would have served me better to still stay on his side. Why would you believe oh. after he gets... <laughs> Can you hear me? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hold on one second, because it seemed like my mic then went down. No, it did. No, we hear you just fine. We hear you just fine. <laughs> she said it would have served me better to stay on Trump's side because I have made money with Trump. She got money with the yeah. Oh, okay. got money with Trump. How Can you hear me now? I ain't oh, never, yeah. Yeah. So so this woman just was making this big old issue, like if if he would have said that he was actually supporting Trump, she would have had this whole argument lined up to just go in on him about Trump, right? You seen it coming. So when he said that he not dealing with both of them, they had to switch their whole argument up, right? The whole thing up, yeah. So now, all of a sudden, you hear this woman saying she should have stayed in business and should have stayed on his side. Did y'all just hear what, what? I heard? Yeah. But no, what? Yeah, she, what? She's seen it would have it benefited her more financially to stay on his side. Right. So so but that just let you know that just lets you know she was she was with him. As no, no, that's what she said. She got money with him. Yeah, exactly. Right, right. So now all of a sudden, why is she against him? She ain't getting money no more? What? Is, is, uh, is I, I just keep defaulting to uh, Rupert Murdoch. That's all I'm defaulting to. You, you, I can't. That, that's the only. That's the only thing I can see is, is you got the, the man behind the uh, curtain that you're not supposed to pay attention to. That is uh, pulling the levers of the, the the green devil on the screen, and everybody knows that green in the comic book world and the fake world and the fantasy world and, and movies and and. and and all that green is denoting blackness. So that was a black devil on the screen. So you want us to ignore the man behind the curtain who's 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 pulling your levers and moving your mouth and speaking through a microphone. And we, we, you think we don't recognize his voice and his actions? Toto recognized his voice and his actions. Toto pulled the screen back. The one that's supposed to be done. Toto ain't supposed to know that information. Toto exposed the man behind the curtain. Black vote. His whole goal from three years ago was to siphon 20% of black male votes to cross over to vote to support him. Why would we believe that he has, once he gets reelected, he will follow through with any of these plans, as opposed to Joe Biden and Kamala, who would be in their first term and be more indebted 
to do the right thing to get reelected for a second term. Right. Why should we believe? Why should we believe that Donald Trump would actually follow through? Is what that's a legit question that I have. He ain't follow through. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't know. You're gonna have to uh, figure that out because I, I'm I'm not sure if he's gonna do it or not. I'm not sure what any of these guys are gonna do. All I know is we gotta push our agenda, no matter who's in there. And I would I you know in a perfect world. You know, the, the Biden campaign would have brought me in and we would have really talked about the plan and they would have did, you know, great things to their plans to uh, specifically target black people. But they chose not to. And and that's fine. You know, they, that's because, as you can see, <laughs> their mouths are covered. They're not allowed to speak to you. They got they got to social distance themselves from you. You understand? You 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 a plague on society. You a nigga with an attitude. See, you you just a comedian. You just a rapper. You not supposed to be dibbling and dabbling in political affairs that improve the black community. You see? Anybody else? No, you're on point. You know, great things to their plans to uh, specifically target black people, but they chose not to, and and that's fine. But the thing is, I'm not a supporter you. of neither one of them. So that's that's what's ready. the problem. I'm if an independent wait, wait, person. If you still have a conversation with the administration if, Don, if, if Biden wins and Kamala wins. It's not too late. So I don't think it's fair yeah. to dismiss what they exactly. are. But they're not in power yet. So they really anybody. can't say. They're, they're not in power yet. She got that begging hand. If I was a psychologist, I would say that these are the begging hands. But that's what he was saying, though, right? Like, they're like, it's not too late. What's, what, he's like, well, they didn't come. He's like, look, he's like, I let them know what's up with this plan, right? And he's like, they, if they was real about it, they would have brought me in on, on a real for a real conversation to really work this thing out. And he's like, well, they didn't do that. And he's like, all right, so cool. He's like, so I know what that is. But but, but see, was... where, she, where she fell off acting like she understands and she know is one is in power already. One can make some power moves right now, even during election time. Until he's about an office or voted out, he still can make his moves. So yeah, power, so no, so no, that's no. why Q said, you know what I'm saying, I'm gonna deal with the one that's in power or the one that's coming into power. Right. So either one is gonna be the power. Right. You feel me? Whether right. we vote or not, it's just that simple. You know what yeah, I'm saying? But, right. But go ahead. What's cold is like one girl just cut the other one right quick. Like so, so one girl just said like, yeah, like shouldn't we work with somebody who who's who's not gonna be reelected because like it's more more likely that uh, someone coming in the first time will work would work with us because they need us the first time. <laughs> and then old girl was like, yeah, we like you know what I'm saying it's not too late because they're not in power yet. You know what I'm saying like like so once they're empowered, like they wouldn't need to talk to you after that. You know what I'm saying? So like she said like yeah, it's not too late. You know you can still talk to them after they get in power. Like well if they've already gotten empowered. You know what I'm saying. And they got in power without talking to me, you know what I'm saying? And they were they rejected our conversation the first time. It's like why why would they have that? Why would we talk after they got in power? Because if they, if they didn't need me to get to the first time, why would they need me now? Like the, brother, what they just said just completely went against themselves in like less than 20 seconds. Brother, these four ladies perfectly understand preparation. That's why they're successful. So you have to prepare now. Everything is now, nigga. You don't wait till motherfuckers get in power to, to prepare now. You do what you're supposed to do right now. And then everything falls in line. What the fuck? Stop begging. So, demand, right? So it steps to it's, it's it's levels to this demand thing, right? And this is what Cube is trying to show us, right? So what's the first step? The first step is establishing the plan. 
Second mm-hmm. step. After you get that, after you, after you establish, no, for, no. First step is establishing your team to create this plan, mm-hmm. right? Because you Second can't do this shit by yourself. You gotta identify, identify the solutions, right? Uh, and that is, the, and then no, no, identify, identify the issues. issues. So we got, we got to hit all those, uh, all those, uh, 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 situations like, uh, for instance, like he said, economics. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, family structure. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, ownership, uh, land ownership, things like that, right? So we touch on, we, we we get we get these people in line that understand these things, right? We we create the plan, right? We make sure everybody's involved. We make sure everybody that 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 care and that that have a say so is involved in the thought process in the plan. Boom. Once we get that going, we put it in paper, right? We put it on in black and white. Boom. After we do that, then we make a power move. Uh-huh. You feel what I'm saying? Uh-huh. We start we start presenting our demand, right? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And so the thing that I like what Cube is saying, what nobody, none of the politicians that has ever said, has ever come to our communities and say, look, this is what we got to do to make this thing work for us in our it and in, in, through the politics. We gotta push, we gotta push, we gotta push. They never come to us and, and create this 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 wave where they have a support of us in our community understanding what we pushing for and boom, we pushing, we pushing. So now we got an understanding that Q got a contract. This contract is supposed to be for our people. If you read and, and everybody should be reading if you haven't read it already, right? It should, it, right. It, and as a matter of fact, it's, it, we should read that thing a few times. So if the conversation come up, cause it will come up, do you even know about the contract? What's in it? Boom! You can just bust it out. Mm-hmm. I mean, not saying that this is what you have to do, but just to make sure that people understand that you up on what's going on, mm-hmm. right? So now, bam! You understand what's going, what, what's in, what plans are actually in, in, involved in in the situation, in the thing, right? Mm-hmm. And so now, all of a sudden, we making moves, we pushing, just like he said, we pushing, we pushing. We in their heads. We knocking at their doors. We at their offices. You understand what I'm saying? And it's not mm-hmm. a protest. Nah. We there for a reason. We there to understand. You know what we here for. And, and we always going, man, listen, man. It's there for us to make it happen. You know what I'm saying? And without choosing a party. You understand? Without choosing to be a demon, a democrat. Mm-hmm. A democrat is what I call it, right? Mm-hmm. A, a rat Republican. You feel what I'm saying? Like you don't need you don't need to be a part of none of these parties. Right. Like you said, independent, standing on our own ten. Mm-hmm. Standing with each other, together. Are you? That's right. That's right. And so, what what what? Uh, rich people don't understand, right? Because they mind their business, their own personal business, in order to cause their own personal life to be, to thrive, you see, and become extremely wealthy so that they can live out all of their wildest debaucheries. So this seems prophetic to me because it's along the lines of the behind the scenes war that uh, is never going to be talked about in this interview that Trump has waged against the deep state the deep state is the queen of england and a whole bunch of other people and bankers and so forth down the line you know what i'm saying in order to get them out of power <clears throat> so the bible calls this a great shaking in heaven you see it don't cause a shaking in heaven understand so these people don't understand these things they think the bible is is felonious and useless information this is what makes them protect their job instead of protecting the black man and the black woman you see so stop begging and get back to talking 
we can't say and promise things because they're not yet empowered. We're not even empowered in Congress. You so, can't you can't make campaign promises. But why and they do, have? Why, that's why what that, that's I don't what want the plan make the promise well, when they're in what office. It, well, they put out, they put out, they put out, they put out the uh, lift every voice can sing plan. That is their promise to America and to the world. That is their promise. So the thing is, you can always promise the people who put you in power something more than what you just came up with. You got to, especially when you know there's so much more that needs to be done. And he knows that it's so much that falls short in that plan when it comes to actually helping black people. Minority, people of color, uh, diversity, all those are trick words and, and black people don't necessarily get uh, a tenth of that. So we yeah. have to really be smart and really make sure that that money is touching the hands of the people who have really struggled in this country for hundreds of years. I have a question, I, I, you said- Can't think about that segment. Everybody good. That, was, that was well said, man. You know, just about to hear these these women just ramble and ramble. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I can I and she she realized she can't be beat. I mean, she 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 done got beat. Now she threw her head down and like, damn, I lost uh, earlier. You understand? I I wish I could find it real fast, but uh, here you go. There she right there. <laughs> oh, she dropped the head down. Okay, but, this is no, something no, 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 no. I said this is something when... he's promising to the country. <laughs> <laughs> she realized it's over. For I failed on on my on my hey, 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 hey. <laughs> claim, claim. My bad, what? brother. Now that she got her head bent down, down like that, yeah, she got a weave too, brother. Yeah. Oh, that's what oh man, that's weave. Oh, yeah, that's, that's sad. Weed. That is so sad. My, my wife do hair, so I, I know what the shit looks like. Okay. Oh, man. I, I had hope for her. I had hope for her. Okay, what was we at on here? Uh, anybody remember the exact number? Yeah, about right there. Okay. Oh, we're in party right now. I want to ask you this if this is true, because I had heard that's from fair. one of my sources that... You said that's it? I think so. Okay. You were contacted for the Zoom call with Kamala Harris, with and D.L. Hughley, Snoop Dogg, you, Killer Mike. They were all on the call, and you were not on the call. And that was okay. week, that was in September. And was what? Why? So no, you no, said they back, back, to the Democrat. Okay, right there. In that plan, when it comes to actually helping Black people, minority people of color, uh, diversity, all those are trick words and, and black people don't necessarily get uh, a tenth of that. So we yeah. have to really be smart and really make sure that that money is touching the hands of the people who have really struggled in this country for hundreds of years. I have a question. I, I said that. She's gonna slump back in the chair. She, she knows she's lost. When you hear the word diversity, how is, how is it used in our community? Midgets, humpbacks, uh, uh, Asians, uh, Hispanics, um, uh, handicapped, er everybody, including black people. You know, so that's everybody. That's like 70% of the American population is minorities. No, no, not minority, brother. Diversity. Oh, diversity. Diversity. Well, that would be similar. How 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 is it used in our community? The diversity word. How is it used? Uh, that that includes white women. That's diversity. Uh, uh and, and and every race. That's diversity. To be sure yeah. that every race is included. Now, the way that they use it in this political realm, it means change. Mm. It means change in a community or change in anything like diversity. Like, say, for instance, if I use diversity in community, right? If I use that in that same phrase or sentence, right? I'm just basically saying change in the community. What am I changing it to? 
It has to be an ideology. It has to be a thought process in order for something to make change, right? From from what it already is. And if and if you have this thought process of diversity within a community, and and I hear it from Caucasians, especially in the political realm, when they talk about diversity in certain communities, and we don't understand what it means. We think it's we think it's I don't know what we think to be honest. To be to, to perfectly be honest, but this is where we talk about the the regentrification, right? That's just a that's just a uh, a twenty first century word, you know. When it come down to it, bro, mm-hmm. you know, for the for the for the word change, because mm-hmm. now when you look at it, that's all it is. It's, it's changing. The demographs of our community to something else. Facts. And and replacing us in a whole different location. Starbucks in the hood. Starbucks in the hood. That's diversity. Mm Mhm. And bring and bringing a debauchery with it. With it. Okay. So in in my uh, city. They put a luxury uh, apartments on on like downtown downtown the main street like the the the, the most famous central street of downtown. It's called Hay Street. <laughs> so they put luxury apartments over there. <laughs> okay, so who who? Who who deals with luxury apartments? Who does that? I don't never see no black people coming outside the job. All I see is white people coming outside the job. And they put a white uh, restaurant, bar, and club directly across the street from the luxury apartments. That's gentrification. They put a bunch of... uh, businesses down there, you know, because I understand, you know, you guys, you guys make money. That's great. You you got every right to put businesses wherever you want to put them. That's good. But the problem is that you burn down Hay Street before you put stuff down there. Burned it down, lowered the property value all on Hay Street, you think I didn't see that happen? Oh, I wonder why all these uh, fires are happening on Hay Street. I'm confused. Then you had the nerve to blame it on the homeless community. Why the hell would they burn down their abandoned building that they live in? You won't fool me. I know my history. That the Biden campaign didn't reach out to you, and well, you said first you said the, the they, they did were, reach out, but first, they didn't want to. They 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 said hook up, we'll hook up after after the election. And to be fair, they want they're not the power in party right now. I want to ask you this if this is true because I had heard That's from fair. one of my sources that you were contacted for the Zoom call with Kamala Harris with and Dale Hughley, Snoop Dogg, you. I don't know. I, I don't know about that statement. I don't know. Because you, 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 you're not acting. You're not on code. You're not on code at all. So what is that lesson coming out so we can get these people on code, Commander General? What was that? <clears throat> Hey bro, I'm still I'm I'm gonna get the book tomorrow, bro. I'm gonna get the I'm gonna get. Oh yeah, book. it's coming in the mail. Okay, gotcha. Snail I gotta, mail. I gotta get the, I gotta get that book uh, because at the end of the day, I can't. I I've been living the code in 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 different sections of my life, different pockets, right, different times, but I never knew that certain things that I you know what I'm saying that I I you know I move like that already. 
But at the same time, now I'll be able to have something like that I can read coming from one of our elders. So this is going to be great for me. So when, once I get it, then we can break it down. But if you got it, I don't mind listening in and, you know what I'm saying, chiming in when, you know, the most I give me some wisdom to chime in. No, nah, I don't have no clue about the Black Code uh, that was uh, produced by uh, Nilly Fuller Jr. And what's that lady name, uh, Moore, that helped him write it? What book? What are you talking about? I had to walk away for a quick second. The Black Code, developed by Nilly Fuller, Fuller Jr. and and one of our queens. What's her name? I don't look the right there. <clears throat> What's the name of the book, for sure? Uh, let me get. Let me. Let me tell you right now. Give me seven seconds, and I'll tell you. So now the Bible automatically puts us on code once you accept it as reality. <laughs> and a lot of people don't. So uh, we don't have no issue. <laughs> okay. So the name of the book is called, it's called The United Independent. Comp compensatory code system concept a compensatory counter racist code so it's by nelly fuller jr let me see a textbook workbook for thought speech and or action for victims of racism white supremacy oh, okay so it don't it don't give you the queen name who helped no no okay all right but uh, yeah, you're off code, ma'am. So I, you know, I, we love Claudia Jordan. Who, who? your fan? I don't know who you are. I never. Said, what movie she been in? What, what? Who is this lady? Anybody know? More. Who is that? More. Oh. I, I, I never Claudia seen Claudia Jordan. Bro, I couldn't tell you. <laughs> I had to look her up today, bro. I didn't. I didn't know her from nobody on the street, bro. Right. Right. I don't even okay. know. Well, it. look that up, and we'll talk about that after she get on some more. And yeah. he like, look, he looking. This looks like, yeah, I, got, I, 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 I did that just right. I, I combated that. I combated that just right. They think they good. <laughs> and this the last. This got to be the last question because he done beat him, beat him up. It's just a debate instead of a support conversation. They should have came in and said, you know what? You got our support from the first sentence. So now let's talk about it, cause you mm -hmm. we 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 think you we think you uh uh take took women out of the plan. So here's some things. Here's twenty points that we need in your plan right now. That's how you come up. That's how you build. But your technique, you attempted to shoot him up. You attempted a drive-by. Didn't realize that his house was made of bricks. Yeah, so old girl's a beauty queen coming up from as a teenager or whatnot, right? Then she ended up being a game show model on The Price is Right and Deal and No Deal, right? And then she's, uh, you know what I'm saying? She did she did a reality TV. Boy, girl, girl. You need to do what your homegirl Selena told you to do and sat down. You took upon yourself to spend your whole life making yourself rich. You see? Instead of dealing with the ills in our community like this man has done his entire life. Sat down. I'm not going to warn you again. Killer Mike, they were all on the call and you were not on the call. And that was okay. that was in September. And was, what, why? So you said they didn't reach out. You said the Democrats reached reach out, but Kamala Harris's folks reached out to you and wanted you to be on the Zoom call because they thought your voice was important. Why did you not mm -hmm. participate, choose to not participate in that? 
Well, you know, we had spent, um, you know, a lot of people time putting a contract with Black America together. And, you know, I, I just thought that getting on a Zoom call with 12 other entertainers uh, all shooting what they uh, believe needs to be done to me wasn't going to be productive. And I was also, because my uh, lawyer, Matt Johnson, has a connection with Kamala Harris, and I was promised a call that I never received. So, you know, that's why I didn't uh, feel like I wanted to be on that Zoom call. Um, so I felt like our plan is so broad that you can't talk about it with 12 other people who had nothing to do with it. Um, and these are a lot of things that really need to get done. So I wanted to have a serious conversation and not just a, you know, a rally cry kind of conversation. But, you, but, you but these are also people that you Any information about that? <laughs> I mean, he be answering so perfect, there really ain't nothing we can really expound on. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. You know, and to be really clear, he, he, said, he said that Kamala already stood him up. Uh -huh. So, so left him hanging. So, so what he's trying to do is make power moves, right? Not play checkers, fam. Uh -huh. He's not trying to play checkers, bro. He 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 on a chessboard. He trying to make sure. He trying to make. Matter of fact, this is what Cube is trying to do. He trying to take us off the fucking chessboard so that we actually moving them the pieces. This is what he's trying to do. You know what I'm saying? Slowly but surely, but you can't, if you can't see the big picture, then you're going to be stuck playing checkers, man. Body you language. Know what I'm like, it's yeah. just crazy, bro. Like, how do you not see what the fuck he talking about? Look, I don't want to sit amongst us and talk the same bullshit that we talk all the fucking time and ain't never one of us doing a goddamn thing. Nah, I want to talk to this motherfucker who's actually running for vice president. I got a connection to that through my fucking lawyer. Mm -hmm. Oh, she's supposed to be giving me a call. I haven't received that call. So I don't see it beneficial for me to jump on a call and tell you motherfuckers, oh, yeah, I shot the number out there, but she ain't gave me a call. And let, let all those entertainers pick his plan apart that, that, that didn't have no, no say-so in developing it. Why don't you link up with them beforehand and, and help develop it? If, if something's wrong, if something's missing, fill in the piece. Get with them. You got beat again, and you look like you got beat. You still mad. Why? He answered perfectly on every question. This is a debate. This is ambush journalism. An impromptu debate. You said you called him and told him you wanted to discuss the plan, but you're trying to undermine his efforts. That's your whole goal in life, to undermine the black community, which women are included in. Then you had the nerve to say that women are not included in the black community. You need to stop begging. Got the begging hands. To anyone that was willing to help. You said you were. I am. I am. But I, 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 just, said, I just said. I just said. That, I just said that they said they were going to call me direct and I never got that call. So when you hear that, you're waiting for that call. It never so, came. So, so no kind of way don't work if it's not the way that you started you want it. Got it. Well, I want to get things done. I don't want to just spin my wheels, talk to people who can't really make it happen. So oh, I, I didn't want to just, I didn't want to just, She's well, the vice president of when, 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 when I had, a, listen, listen, because I had the conversation. When I had the Zoom call with the Democratic, the DNC, the Democratic Party, we was on the call for, uh, uh, probably over 45 minutes, and we never even got to the contract with Black America. We never went through any other points that right. need to be dealt with. Now, now, after Cube said that, I had a 45-minute conversation. Mind you, these motherfuckers reached out to Cube about his plan first, supposedly. Right. That's what he thought. That's what the conversation was supposed to be about when they reached out to him. 
because they had no other reason to reach out to him. When the conversation took place for 45 fucking minutes, he just told us out his own mouth that they never mentioned the plan. And on top of that, Camille Harris, whatever her name is, was nowhere to be found on the conversation. He never mentioned her either in the conversation. Wow. So you want this brother to do what? You want him to do what? Because again, when you give and you have something constructed, not just by yourself, but by a collective of people, intelligent individuals that's touching all areas, it's 22 pages. So don't get it twisted. It's touching more than just economics, money. All right. So if, if we have a demand such as that, being presented and it's not even mentioned, they playing games. Ain't no need to even have any other conversation or even try and indulge in anybody that's even pushing towards that side. Because for well, one, you're not going to listen to anything that the brother has to say. You're going to be drowning him out, talking over him. Because I guarantee you, if it was more women on this panel and it wasn't constructed on Fox, it'll be a different situation. <laughs> you took the words right out of my mouth. <laughs> my question to you is, when did these four ladies mention any point in his plan? I'm still waiting, bro. They haven't mentioned not one point in this plan, nor have they even brought up a, uh, excuse my language, a solution for whatever it is that they're thinking about for the women. The only thing that they, they have solved is saying that we want the yeah. Democrats in office and then you, you go work with the Democrats. And then there's nothing in the in the in the contract that says women strictly. Like the word woman is not in the contract. Right. So 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 let's just be absolutely clear again, because I said this earlier in the show, right? If we focus on gender, then we have to focus on our babies. Then we have to focus on the adolescents. Then we have to focus on the, the teenagers. Then we have to focus on the young adults. Mind you, females, males. So everything got to be separate. So we're talking about maybe about 6,000, 7,000 page. Who about to read that? On top of that. Who about to read that? These Are you, people. You got to see, see these sisters. Don't understand. Understand. Have, you know what I'm saying? have separated themselves, like you said, from the black community. They have separated themselves. All of a sudden, we're supposed to hypnotize ourselves to believe that black women are not black America. That's what we got to right. rationalize in our brain. Okay, and then the uh, 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 the solution to that problem that we know that black women are a part of black America and they're mad that the word woman is not in the plan. The problem, the solution to that would be to put the word woman in the plan and that should solve it because all you have to do now is say contract with black men, man, woman, and child of America. That's all you got to do. Yeah, because the specific, yeah, because the specifics of the CWBA that these clowns uh, place as CBWA is not contract black with America. It's contract with black America. CWBA, this will tell you that they stupid already and dyslexic as fuck. So <laughs> what you need to do is place, uh, here you go, Q, solve, problem solved. Place black woman, man, and put woman first. Be sure you put that first. No, he did it right, bro. He, <laughs> let me, he, said, he said, no, he said, no, black people, fam. That's, 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 that's everybody. Everybody can see that. 
Bro, my what 24 these ladies? Like I told you, bro, my 24 year old, like I explained to you very clearly on two different levels, and I broke it down to her just like that. She was like, oh, yeah. If you say the house of Yashar, you talking about all of us, dad. I said, right on. I said, so if I say black people, am I excluding women? She said, come on, dad. No. Nah. I said, thank you. Come on. That's, now, that's a 24-year-old. Now, how old is these women? Exactly. Yeah, right. right. Here's the cold part, though, right? It's like, so, like, these are the same women who would push Kamala Harris off on us, Kamala Harris off on us as, as if she's a black woman, right? You know what I'm saying? And he's sitting there telling me, like, look, man, she just stood me up on the phone call. She didn't want to talk. Like, I was trying to build with the so-called black woman you would have me work with on this joint. And she wasn't trying to have no parts of it, right? Now I'm also coming to y'all talking about, like, you trying to work with me? And y'all wouldn't even have that conversation, you know? You know what I'm saying? Like, so, 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 <laughs> he can't win for wow. losing on this Ask one. You know him one question. Ask him one question about the offer to work with him. Right. He said, how long is it going to take to get the money? Yeah, like he like yo, like so, so I don't know. Just we gotta prepare. Hence he was saying, like, I'm not I wasn't trying to have a convers a Zoom call with a whole bunch of celebrities just talking about exactly nothing. to have the same problem that I'm having right now. <laughs> right now. <laughs> right and I think now. I think that's what hit him and made it made him turn the show off because right. we were talking for forty five minutes and they never got to one point in the plan. Right now. Just like y'all ain't and got they, the one point they, in the plan. They bring, they, they, they're reviewing all their talking points, and the only thing they've been saying is well, the word woman is not in the plan, and you're a Trump supporter. Right. Double down. Down. All, the, the, all, the, all the, the talking points from like the 60s and whatnot, where they, where they try to divide the black woman away from the black, just the, like, the black community and whatnot. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like they sip it on the same, like they sip it on the same cooler. He said, like, ain't been working since the 60s. Like, it's like, come on. You know what I would have respected from uh, either one of these sisters? What's that? If they would have simply just asked this brother, hey, you know what, Q? I apologize for coming off a little, 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 little twisted, you know. But uh, can you can you just touch on, according to your understanding, the most important aspect of the contract for us as a people? Boom! Drop the mic. I respect. I re, I would have respected these sisters, but they couldn't even have the decency to respect the brother to allow him to even get off into the plan. Yeah, at least one which, one which aspect whole, of the which plan. Which is what this whole interview, which is what this mm -hmm. whole interview was supposed to be based on. But you see, like I said, because of the way that he addressed him initially from the gate, they whole. Situation is messed up. So now look at what else. look 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 at the confusion that's there. Yep, yep. It's led by confusion, as you so uh, poignantly discovered, based on the imagery. And so they they followed suit with all every bit of their imagery. Followed suit, <clears throat> tripled down, quadrupled down. The whole time, every question built the wrong way. Instead of building on building, they was building on destroying, trying their best to destroy information. But I told Q, and I'm going to remind them now, planes don't fly without fuel. Fuel is to be burned. So we see that he's still going to be going elevating into the plan that he has laid out. And it's going gonna, it's gonna to be successful because they ain't do nothing but fill his tank up with gas. Yeah, because, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm on board. You know what I'm saying? I'm on board. And when I come, when I come, I don't come empty-handed. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Right. You know what I'm saying? I got, I got, I got something on the gas. What? I got something on the food? Uh -huh. What? I got the forks. Well, well, I do. Uh, shit. I drive, I drive for, what, eight hours? Mm-hmm. Then pass the, uh -huh. the wheel. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Yeah. Just saying. What y'all got on it? Well, well, what y'all got on it? Right. I'm talking well, to y'all. We, we, we not. Y'all, family. Oh, I'm oh, talking, oh, oh. I'm talking to y'all out there, family. What y'all got on it? Right. 
Cause see, I know my brothers is gonna rock. You know what I'm saying? They got they they got they they got they part. All in. You see what I'm Ready saying? Ready to go. Blackredeem.me. Look it up. My brother Moore, don't get it twisted. Silent assassin. He he he'll kill you with a smile. And then and then and then and then you know what? Try and revive you. You know what I'm saying? Ho ho hopefully, you know what I'm saying, you still got some life left in. in Cause a lot of times, you know what I'm saying, brothers get lost and, and they don't return. Mm. Getting back into the video, let's figure this out. When it comes to the situation in this country, no one else has a plan that deals with uh, as many issues that this administration or any administration could fix if they had the political will and you have to give them the political will and that's what's being done. Uh, so um, I, 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 I y'all good on that political will talk. <clears throat> so he de de developed his plan specifically to uh, the Congress having the power, not only the power to change and improve the black community, but he designed it based on uh, the political will that can be garnered by his competitive plan. Now, because they came up with their own plan, so he got a competing plan that that will uh, 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 give the political will to the people to pressure the politicians to use parts of his plan to improve the black community. Go ahead. Now. I'm gonna simplify for y'all, right? Not saying that y'all dumb, not saying that y'all don't understand what my brother just said, nor that y'all don't understand what Cuba just said, but I'm gonna simplify it. It's what we call a demand. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's simple. It's what we doing. We demand it. You, you see what I'm saying? And that's what's important for everybody to understand. It's not about asking. We're not asking anything. We're coming with a plan, we're coming with, with, with a set uh, understanding of how we want this thing to run and how we want it to work and what we want it to look like. So it's up to us to understand what the foundation of this contract is. And if you got a little situation where you see something that can be adjusted, you need to come together with you and your folks wherever you at and make your voices be heard. If I got a situation that I don't, that I want to add to the contract, I'm in California. Shit, I need to link up with my bros that's out here, that our voices be heard. So now, once you start hearing pockets of us speaking out, not just one time, not just a couple of times, but enough. To where he ain't got no choice but to respond. He ain't got no choice but to reach out. I hear you, bro. Let's 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 do it. Let's see how we can make this work. Or look, we actually got it already implemented. You, I don't know if you miss it or not, but it's right here. You just got to understand the word. See what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's 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 there for us to build on it. It's a foundation set for us to build on. It's not a whole structure, family, so don't get it twisted, all right? He's just one brother, and they just a group that needs a nation to support, right? So just understand what we're talking about. Go ahead, Doc. You got it. The four years that I've been linked up with the Friends of the African Union and the multiple uh, uh, discussions, that we've had. Uh, I think in the beginning we met, I think we met once a week, if I'm not mistaken. And in the past two years, we meet every day at eight o'clock. Friends of the African Union. <laughs> Go to the website, get involved. The whole four years, uh, uh, we learned a lot, right? Uh, but I never, ever, ever had 
that elder, the chairman of the Friends of the African Union, on my show. Also, I was honored to have him on my show the other day. He announced that they're about to support me to be the North Carolina chairman for reparations. I could pick any state that I choose in the union. I'm thinking about Hawaii. Earlier, I was thinking about Florida. I'm thinking about Texas because of what Grandmaster Jay said. We'll take Texas. I got my pick of the litter. So the reason I'm talking about that is because he got solutions. We got solutions. We're ready to link up with anybody. But when you come around like a brick wall, we the juggernaut. Brick walls are like paper to us. As a matter of fact, that's paper. See? We're running straight through that brick wall. So you need to stop it. You need to support your brother. He's ready to go. Where you guys at? Huh? Huh, ladies? I didn't want to put anybody on blast for that, but since they said I didn't jump on the call, it's because I was promised a call where we can actually deal with this in um, a serious manner. And it wasn't just what I considered a rally call. But I feel like that actually could have been wait, wait. too. Okay. Because right. um, you could have led the call and had supporters on listening to what it was that you're trying to get them to be able to help rally with the initiative I, for that. I had, I had been doing press about the contract of Black America outside of that. So I was using my press um, to promote the contract, not just to them dudes no, on the call, call right? but to the all. So now, let's just be all the way funky. We're talking about entertainers. All of them motherfuckers follow each other. All of the entertainers follow each other. Right? So when Q put out these advertisements, because I've seen a few, I know they seen them all. Why they didn't reach out to Q and link up with him? Why he had to link out, link up with them and talk to them? They could have personally reached out to them. They could have had their agents link up with his agent, link them up, so damn boom. Hey, Q, man, hey, I like that shit, bro. Hey, let's let's link up for real, for real, and let's see what we can do. Put our minds together. Then I got some, I got some, some, some intelligent cats on my side too. Boom then they can link up with your intelligent cast and then we can all shoot. <laughs> what? But that wasn't a thought process. I bet they were sitting back, look at this nigga cute. This nigga, all right, so now this nigga in the politics now. After his nigga fucked the police though, all right? I bet they was mocking him, bro. But now yeah, all of a sudden, had to be. see that had he's to making be. moves and that motherfuckers is listening and motherfuckers want to hear what he got to say. Oh, well, let's, 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 let's invite him to a Zoom call. So we can share our thoughts. Nigga, fuck y'all. Fuck y'all and y'all thoughts. Nigga, y'all have y'all Zoom call. Y'all have y'all little bullshit rally shit. And let's see how far y'all get. Because I'm already fucking moving. And y'all y'all seem not to want to support the movement already. So fuck y'all conversation. And he knew that that was going to happen on, on the call with the 12 other entertainers. Now, how? why would he do that? Why, why would he need 12 entertainers to back to, to, you know what I'm saying? Why would he need to convince them that this is a good thing to do something positive for the community. Why you need to convince somebody to do it? You, you win it or you ain't. The motherfuckers who we trying to convince, you feel what I'm saying? They, they ain't called him yet. The motherfuckers that's important where shit can happen, shit can move. They just sitting there looking at his number like, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's what they doing. Mm-hmm. They could have been picked. She could have been picked up that phone, hit him up, seen what was really what, going on. I'm gonna tell you what they monitoring, because they know every last one of these five 
and all 12 of the people that he, they wanted him to speak to and all the uh, people staring at his number, they, they waiting for the fall. They waiting for the Jewishers to attack him and ruin his finances and smear his image. And so that's what they're waiting for to see if he can survive this <clears throat> without a scratch, then I'll get involved. Bruh. That's a legitimate concern. I, I, I can't front. That's a legitimate concern. You scared of, you know, that your finances is going to be ruined and all that stuff. And if I was rich, I'd be, I'd be afraid to. But then at the same time, that's when you fill your brain with right knowledge. And you know how to move, you know how to speak publicly without offending people who's going to ruin your finances. They don't care that we are looking out for each other. They don't, that don't bother them. What bothers them is when you go at them. You know what I'm saying? They're not going to ruin you financially when you do that. Of course, they're going to give you incentives to stay destructive to the community. But doing something positive is not a problem for them at all. They just realize you, you're going to fail and they want the money to come in. <laughs> because anytime you try to do anything positive, all the, all the, all the coons come out. You got staunch, uh, 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 out of the closet, overt coons, and then you got motherfuckers who side with coons because they scared to dis disrespect the overt blatant coons. Stop it! This is just a slap on the wrist. This is just loving correction. You got to stop that, man. You trying to paint this man as a coon because he spoke to the, the top dog administration. The ones that's actually in power. See, that's why you need to read the Bible. Because we understand that our heroes spoke directly to the top dog anytime they saw some type of problem. And they got it corrected every time. See, the thing is, those that's in, in politics, they so caught up and, and so in love with the crumbs that they get. They not about to say nothing. But it's, you know, it, it, it's the ones that don't give a damn about the crumbs no more. You understand? I don't mind eating a slop with the with the family. You feel me? Yeah, it's them that's willing to step up and speak out. You know, and that's what's up. We need we've been needed. We've been needing that. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, we had those that was in position to do so, and they chose not to because they again they want the crumbs. So they're like, no, 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 grandson, no, 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 son. Don't say that. You see the position we in? Mm -hmm. You talk like that, you won't be in this position. So keep your mouth shut. So what they do, they listen to their elders. Because they love their elders so much instead of loving their people more. Mm -hmm. But you, you, you well, as, okay. as, as you, as you wake up, family, as you start to really open your eyes, because I know you feel like you, 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 your eyes is open. But a lot, a lot of us is sleeping, is sleepwalking, their eyes wide open. You see what I'm saying? And that's really, really going on. Don't understand a lick of what's going on, but they feel like they got it. They, they know. They see. You know, and that's including my family, like my blood family that I love dearly. Lost. Only thing I can do is still love them. That's all. Right. 
Right. You don't, you don't, you not, man, come on, man. You just said it right there. You said exactly what they're doing. You got your blood family who don't understand certain things and they consider you to be the problem because you understand certain things. And then what the mature, intelligent person must do and we're, we're compelled to do because we've realized that you just, you don't get it. You haven't filled your mind up with the history and don't, even if you did, you wouldn't understand it because you can't see the big picture. You, you looking too close to the, you got your face up on the picture and you looking at that one part and you're like, damn, I don't understand this picture. See what I'm saying? So you focused in on him speaking to the, the top dog administration that you don't, you can't understand for the life of you why he did that. Instead of talking to him about the plan and the problem that you got with, with the plan, talking about there ain't no women in the plan. How? You won't hypnotize me to think that black America ain't including black children and black women. And black men, who am I supposed to be? I already know why you got a problem with it. I just said it. It's abortion. Not only is it abortion, but it's supposed to be specifically for transgender and, and, and LGBTQ and IA. It's got to be specifically said in the plan that you're talking about them. You better stop it. I don't know who paid you to go down this 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 road, but that road is a perfect dead end. It's a cliff. You're gonna drive off the cliff like Thelma and Louise. That's what y'all are, Thelma and Louise. Cheering, falling out in a whole car off a 50 foot cliff cheering as if you did something amazing. It's mind boggling. All of America to all of black America. That's we, we, where my, my thing is. So I wasn't on the call, but that don't mean we couldn't have a call. Um, so yeah. That's that. That's what happened. Um, and we, I don't we, feel we, like I. I don't feel like I made a mistake for not being on the call. I will tell you, we have to wrap the show. We're way over, but I just want to say, Cube, I I hear what you're saying, but can I? Can somebody tell me how thirty minutes is way over the time? That means they had a fifteen minute block or a twenty minute block. Like so, for like a regular half hour TV show, you get you get twenty two minutes of airtime. Mm -hmm. Got it. Commercials and whatnot. Got it. Okay. So they just they just ate up all the commercials. So so so, <laughs> she, so, she, so, so basically, she was not lying when she said no. that. No. Uh, yeah, and for an hour, you get forty four minutes. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Okay. Yeah, she, now. Only, she, she only paid. She only she only gave her a little uh, shout out to herself one time. <laughs> <laughs> But at the, end of the day, at the end of the day, I mean, the content of, of and, and the views, you know what I'm saying, and what we're doing is way more than the damn, you know, commercials that she could ever, you know what I'm saying, put on her little show. So I promise you, you know, this is the future. Reparations is the future. Get with it. Or get rolled over by these tanks. You need to uh, present advanced honor and intelligence, ladies. You guys, this is highly disappointing. This is my first time seeing this video, and it was brought to my attention by my commander, general. And this is this is a travesty. This is very sad. 
it's depressing to see people without knowledge banging on a positive action attempted to be mobilized. And the only way to uh, mobilize th these actions and make it policy is with the support of your fans. Your fans control your parents. Their, I mean, control their parents. And their parents control the politicians. The politicians control the police. So you undermined all that for what? I haven't heard one solution. I haven't heard one legitimate uh, problem. With all we, all we heard was that, complaints about what's what's not, who who's not being mentioned. That's all we heard is complaints. That's it. Y'all got to do better than that, sisters. That have a voice, that have followers, and majority of y'all followers are women like y'all, y'all have to do way better than that. Mm, mm, mm. That's, I mean, this is really sad, man. This is really sad. I just want you to know as black women, how we would feel with, there's no mention specifically of black women in the contract of black America. They do have to stand on top of that. I just act, told you, you can write that up. If you well, we, it's not our, we, we're not out here jumping on calls. We all, in the, we all black, so we all oh, we're not together. We're not meeting up with Jared Kushner and Donald Trump about this. You are. So we, you can't say, well, if you don't okay. like it, add to it. You're out here. You took that job. You took that position. I, I, I'll, write so, so like, I'll, I'll write it up. So like, don't say you I'll write something. up the black woman's part of the contract for you. How many words do y'all want it to be? The thing is, you guys are the experts, but here we go again. You just want to talk. Nobody want to help me. Just want to talk. But y'all the experts on black women, so why won't y'all help me? See, that's the problem. That's I, I, I I can tell you why. Why. <laughs> that's the problem. <laughs> that's <laughs> what I Say it again, <laughs> bro. They go haywire. Once again, they lose all stuff. <laughs> that's the problem. Hey, let, hey, let it run out. Let it run out. I don't want to see this. Wait, okay, hold on. I got to see that reaction one more <laughs> time. <laughs> we got to understand them right there. So how many words do you want it to be? Yeah, right there. Hold on. This is... I'll, I'll write it up. I'll, 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 okay, I'll write it up for you. Watch the look on her face. Watch the look on her face. He knows he, he All knows right, he, just for you. And she know she gonna know he being sarcastic and she ain't gonna be able to say a goddamn thing. Watch. I'll write okay. up the black woman's part of the contract for you. Yeah, and, we and, 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 <laughs> hey, uh, hold on, hold on. Let, 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 let me let me point out something about the theme, right? Let me point out something about the theme, because every time she say something, every time confusion speaks, they go haywire and start speaking all at the same time. Every time the brick walls speak, they don't do that. You understand? Because what she say go. And Lisa Ray been making this thing face the whole show, bro. <laughs> the whole show, bro. Because that's the view. That's the view. That's the, that's, that's the eye candy. That's what we're supposed to be looking at, see? The view outside and the view inside right there. You see? You understand? So, hold on. Let's get the reaction. He, oh, man, he slaughtered him. I want it to be. The thing is, you guys are the experts... <laughs> But here we go again. You just want to talk. Nobody want to help me. Just want to talk. But y'all the experts on black women, so why won't y'all help me? See, that's the problem. I, 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 I had that feeling again. That's just funny. Hey, there go mama again. There go mama again. There go mama again. That was she put her hands. I just wanted to put, mama. put your hands down, goddamn. How many times? You can't laugh at something but so many times. You feel me? That's saying that was just punchline. That's the same joke. He just said the same joke the same way, and it gave me the same feeling. 
Y'all is the experts on the women, the of black women. I'm telling you to help me. You refuse to help. You just want to talk. And you want me to do it for you. That's the problem. You, oh, you don't get that? No, I'm going to go crazy. And that's why you didn't get on that, that, that Zoom call. Exactly. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, you just let me know. Party, so. anyway, about... <laughs> <laughs> you just hear what Vivica just said. You just let me know. Motherfucker, ain't that what he just did? He just did. He literally yeah. just did. Silly ass. <laughs> you need to have that look on your face, silly ass. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on a second. <laughs> That's just too fucking funny. Listen, bro. Uh, just let you know what, man. What did he just let you know? To, uh, that you need to help him since y'all the experts on black women and he's not a woman, never been a woman his whole life? Man, they got me feeling like I need a new course Slim 1000. Right. I'm going to light one right now. Man. Give me a light one for you. Gee, man, for real, bro, I might need you to. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo. <laughs> hey, you see, you see what you see what Q about to look. You see, it's it's, it's coming up. He about, he got to take a sip off of this shit because <laughs> <laughs> you got the Don Mecca look right now. It's the Don Mecca. Like, you know, got got this good you know, grab this cup, this glass. I'm live on I'm live on on the panel, and I got to take a sip. Goddamn these motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> it's unbelievable how they reacted to that invitation. The second time he invited them <laughs> to help him with the woman part of the plan that they feel like they have been excluded from the plan, write it up. He said, I will take the responsibility to do it. How many words do you want it to be? No, 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 no. Big mouth, right? Big mouth. She want to tell him, no. Nah. I ain't helping shit. I just want you to do it yourself. Like, do what? what? You complaining? What is, what is missing? You you complaining a whole lot, but you ain't got no fucking solutions. Man, you better go. You better. What what he say? You better take your ass to the store with that. That's what he told. Hey, ain't that what he told old girl on on uh? Oh. On, on <laughs> you take your ass to the store with that. You know shit. what he should have said. He should have. He should have said. I got these amount of women working on the been working on the plan from the beginning. Where was y'all at? Hold on. Man, he went. Let me straight. rewind this. Let me rewind he this about bye for me, on all of them. You feel me? Let me rewind this conversation about three hours. I told that girl three and a half hours ago, four hours ago. This girl right here said. I never heard of the contract with Black America. Never heard of it. Soon as you heard about him speaking to the Trump administration, you picked up your phone and called him. I don't understand that whole process. You never heard of it. Instead of reading it, You called him and said, we got to have a conversation. You undermining the Democratic Party from getting into power. And then tell the people they need to do their research. Ain't that a bitch? All right. But pay attention, family, because Cubes, he's he's drawing a very clear line for everyone to see, right? He's putting them in a very uh, interesting chess game, letting, letting the viewers understand, like, who's allowed to work with them and who's not allowed to work with them. Right. Because you notice how they all had the same reaction at the same time. Yep. They all went haywire. Same reaction at the same time. Because they're not allowed to say certain things. Because, see, now it's on them. Now, since y'all trying to put everything on, on Q, like, it's his fault that, you know what I'm saying, that y'all don't see women in black people, which is some idiotic shit. So now he said, oh, okay, well, since y'all want to be like that, well, shit, why don't y'all help me? Oh, 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 no, I ain't, oh, 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 oh,
We came on here to destroy you. Right. Someone being worth $4 million, I understand what that means. That means that they're in debt to a couple, for, for a couple of houses, you know what I'm saying? Like a couple million dollar houses and whatnot. You know what I'm saying? Like they're they're not they're not rich. You know what I'm saying? Cube is the only one in the conversation with his own money, which is why he's having the the, the power move conversation. The rest of them, you know what I'm saying? They're they're, they're 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 in very fancy forms of debt. You know what I'm saying? They're not rich Shalom, either. Marky. Shalom, fam. Shalom. Oh, we gotta take a break. Commercial oh, you gotta break. finish that out, bro. We gotta take a commercial break to introduce. Oh, my fault. The illustrious elder. The organizer that put together the tights is all the y'all on the panel. So the y'all right, go ahead, brother. Go ahead. What you need to say about this? <laughs> so long, Marky. I just want to say, man, I, I've been listening to your show, man. Not the entire show, but most of the show, most of the majority of the show, man. And I just want to say shout out to you, brothers, for giving a clear and unbiased um uh, critique of the video without any use of the B word. Or you know, I was just about to go there. I said, I said, you saw had to, he had to drop it in, in that one time, but he didn't call, he didn't call them bitches, but he said, ain't that about a bitch? I said, oh man, he had to say that word one time. <laughs> Very clean and, 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 res and respectful, but it's an honest critique. And, um, I mean, like, I, I just want to say this because I don't want to cut more with Bill. I, I, I just want to say this, like, this is this is indicative of one of the problems that we have in our community right now. Right. Is that the first problem is when you have people that stand up who, who, who are not afraid, even if they don't have all the answers, Q clearly says this over and over again. He doesn't have all the answers. But he's looking for answers. He's done his video several times saying, look, I'm not a politician, but I'm trying to learn and understand how this system works. And so instead of him going to what most people do, right, hearsay, rumors here, rumors there, he went straight to the top. Let me talk to Donald Trump. Let me talk to Joe Biden's camp. Let's see what they have to say about what I feel. He clearly said when he put this thing together, and this is why I really don't understand the sister's critique, to be honest with you, and, and, and if they're being sincere. He's clearly said when he put when he had this thing drafted, this contract, this this, this contract for Black America, uh, uh, when he had this thing put together to present to both parties or just present to the to, to, to the community, to the nation. He didn't just come up with this on his own. He went to men and women, did the research. He went to men and women who were uh, uh, PhD scholars, who were uh, 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 um, activists, who understood the issues. Um, he even had some politicians help him write this up. So this is not something he just woke up one morning and decided to write down on a piece of paper as if he's writing a rap song. And he wanted to submit this to, you know, to the heads of state. He said, I simply want answers because what we have been doing and how we've been doing it has not been working. And so he's been clear about this up front. So I don't understand his criticism other than the fact that it's coming from a place of ignorance. Right? Right that our people don't really understand about politics and how it works. And he's asking the right questions. But for brothers that have been brothers that are criticizing him, but for the sisters to bring him on the panel and not have the ability to say, Brother Cube, how can we assist you, brother? Facts on how we can make this thing work. And in the process, can we lend some suggestions on some of the issues and the plight that women go through? And sim simply, it, it's just as simple as that. And without them doing and, and instead of them doing that, just in that direct manner, they chose to attack him. 
And they're killed. simply attacking him because he's a black man. And that's all, uh, and, and there's nothing else to it because neither one of those sisters on this panel have been involved in politics and have been, have, have been, has much more, has been much more of a political lightning rod drawing attention to social ills in the conscious community with Ice Cube going all the way back to his NWA days. To say that he, to say that he hasn't had an effect on on policy and politics in our community that have been positive. Whether people want to believe it or not, the NWA had a positive impact in our social community. Why? Because they brought the conversation to the forefront of police brutality when it wasn't talked about in that manner and how it was viewed from in, in, in the everyday hood and the plight that black men and women went through. So instead of them giving, and instead of them giving him his props for being that forerunner for that have, bringing this conversation to the forefront, and and understanding that he's been involved in politics much longer than we have, I've seen many interviews where uh, Cube has shut down interviewers who want to try to talk disparagingly about the plight of the black community. When none of these people were around, they were still building their singing careers and still building their Hollywood careers or whatever careers, uh, beatless careers they they've only been able to achieve. This is the problem with this mindset of about how not all our sisters do this, but there are there's a majority of women out here in certain sectors. Not all. I'm not saying the majority of women out there, but there are a majority of women in certain sectors that carry this narrative that a black man can't lead them to do shit. And you know what's you know what's crazy about that? What the truth that you just spoke, Elder, is that if these women, well, all four of these women, <clears throat> mind you, they got over a hundred thousand followers apiece, right? They got followers. If they just say what you just said, just come at the brother, even if they didn't understand clearly, but came with just, you know what? I'm willing to support you until I understand, you know, whatever it is to make me not want to support you. But if everything is good, then I'm going to continue to support. Do you know how many followers we already got lined up? So now... What, what, what just happened is you got a lot that's going to be confused, that's going to be on the borderline, instead of everybody just on board. All because I don't get it. Yeah, it, I, I just don't it, get it. Look, look, it's, it's supposed to be sisters. No, and, and, watch, and watch watch what he say, you know what I'm saying, that's going to just shut down this whole, I mean, just, just kill a whole energy. Mm-hmm. Watch how he in their show, yeah. But I want y'all to pay. I want you to pay. So, uh, if y'all haven't spoken this already, because like I said, I didn't catch the very beginning of the show, claim. But I do want to say this: look at what if y'all haven't paid attention to. If you haven't noticed, look at the bottom right hand corner or the bottom left hand corner. Oh yeah, this video, right opposite to where it says "Cocktails with Queen." The opposite, mm-hmm. opposite. Fox Soul. The soul of this is Fox News. So Mm. they've already sold out to the narrative that Q Ice Cube has already leaned and respond forward to the Trump campaign. Right? And they're running with this narrative that he's supporting Donald Trump. Therefore, right, this is an issue in the black community. Now, look at the, look, if you understand why some people say, well, isn't Fox a more conservative when they want him to lean towards Trump? Look at what's going on in the news, right? Look at what's going on in the news. Fox News is on a decline. Their viewership is failing, right? 
So here what they try, here's what they want to do, right? So they create this show, Fox Soul, right? In other words, Fox News for black folks, right? And so what they do is they flip the script. Let's get us some folks together and then let's bash and let's bash this black man or let's bash uh, uh, his political views so that we can up our viewership. Now we all know the name of the game, but you got to look how they try to play us. Simply look how they try to play us. The reason why this goes over so well because they're trying to make this a sexist issue with them. Okay, let me let me ask you this. Anybody can answer. Do you think them coming at him peacefully would have caused crazy views? Uh, it, I think it went. It would have. It wouldn't have got. They wouldn't have gotten the views that the networks wanted them to have. Don't ever think that these networks and people on these shows, whether it's Cocktails with Queens or The View or or uh, uh, what's the other one, The Real, don't think that these people, that the, that the producers of these shows, where these networks sit on, that these, these shows that, these, that sit on these networks and the people that control it don't control the narrative. For every show. Every show. Very few newscasters, news, bar, uh, 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 news personalities control the narrative of their show. Very few of them. Very few of them. Right? And so, and, and, when, they get, and when they get to the point where they actually decide, you see, they usually, they usually retire and they go on 60 minutes and then they can do the little skirmish pieces that they want to do. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? And, and, and so and people are, people are, people you, they have to understand like the the the, the ones there's a saying I believe his name I believe his name is I, I don't want to quote him I know it's Albert something I want to say again Pike yeah but it, what he said no not Pike but he 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 made this guy makes a quote and the quote is whoever whomever controls the news controls the history. Right? Mm -hmm. Whoever controls the news or controls so the, the, the the smart community knows that the CIA uh has their hand in all media mm -hmm. <laughs> which is a Catholic uh organization. It's like the Catholic uh uh what do you call that? Fed. It's like the Catholic uh what's the name of the the federal uh joint FBI. It's like the Catholic SV FBI. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. Like a lot of these guys, and, and when you look and see, it's like you, you and when you and when you look at the panel, you understand what I'm saying? It, it, it's it, this is not this is the this is the segment. This is the age range. These these forties these forties and up because some of them are cracking fifty. Because I know I've known some of them personally. At least yeah. two on the panel, right? I, they're 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 at fifty. I know they're at fifty, right, and mm -hmm. above because they're older than I am. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I, I know for a fact that 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 age group is the most fickle group in, in our community when it comes to politics, when it comes to. Uh, family and relationships when it comes to identifying who they are in this society. It's a fickle group for men as well, right? Some of them have been scorned by men, right? And, and the fact that you have such a large, you, you have such a large chasm of, 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 of women who have been done wrong by men. And we got to understand that part too. A lot of their concerns and a lot of their gripes is the fact that at this age group, black women feel like they, they, they tend to start to lose themselves and their voice. Right. Mm -hmm. so they're afraid. They're afraid of being left out 
and left behind, right? And so they 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 have this sort of this 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 push, and it's not even real feminism, man. It's like this fake. <laughs> it's like this fake uh, 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 feminism of them trying to uh-huh. trying to uh, you know latch on to the history of the glorious items and the different things of that nature, uh-huh. right? It's real frivolous and superficial. It's, it's no exactly. depth to it. It, it, it. Exactly, and they've been left with this sort of like this fringe feminism, this pseudo feminism, right? Where where they they where they they want to. Uh, uh, claim that they want to be in control of their own destiny, right? But yet, they all their criticism is always our men need to lead. If our men were better leaders, you see what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's like so, the- right? And so he they they denied his invitation twice to help him and defaulted to his leadership. And so he needs to lead, but yeah. lead on what, 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 what needs to be in the plan? What are you saying? You haven't said a thing yet. Right. And the only reason Q was able to get this far with what he's doing is because no one else was doing it. Mm-hmm. At least on his scale, no one else was doing it. Right. Right. Like we've got, and, and like, like, like Diddy. Sean Combs, he's he's advocating to create his own uh, a, a, a black uh, political party. Mm-hmm. That's one of the most difficult tasks in the universe mm-hmm. is to establish a real political party, right? That's right. But I haven't seen anybody ask this man for an interview about this political party. He's trying to establish not one white person or black person. Not one person. That's the whole thing is to block our competitive edge because we're so effective in all things. They realize that that party would be dominant. Yeah. Yeah. And so, you know, I just like, you know, and like I said, there's always two sides to a story. And so, you know, I do appreciate, you know, you guys, you know, Attempting as best you can is just being men and the women on the panel with you to have a a balanced dialogue about it. Oh well, no, the women would have. You know what I'm saying? They would have. They would have been banging a little too hard, I think. <laughs> you know, but it, <laughs> but to have a balanced conversation from you know just from men's perspective, it's okay that we have our own perspective on these issues. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Everything we say and do can't be. You know, we can't bow down all you bashing women. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But I'll say this, the way Q handled this situation is a page we all need to take. Mm-hmm. Stay cool, calm, and collected. Hey, hey, hey. And with, and with that, play play the rest of this video so we can really hear how Q handled them and finished okay. it off. Now, <laughs> I'm I wish you got we, we have way, way over. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. <laughs> he took a good sip. He took a good sip. <laughs> he said, uh, this debate is easy. I, I understand y'all ambush me, but I love all of you, even though you don't love yourself. So let me take a swig to my victory. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> he already. He beat him so badly in this debate, I promise you. We're way over. I wish we would have you for more time because I feel like you have a lot to say, Ice Cube, and you're very influential, and we appreciate this, and I hope we can have or we can respectfully debate and no feelings hurt. I don't think you are the type that would get hurt. I appreciate y'all. I wish yeah. we could have you back to have more of this conversation. Would you, would you be open to come back here? Of course. We family, and can't nobody hurt my My family can't hurt my family. Well, we're gonna have to, we're gonna, That's it. Because we're running out of time, because we're running out of time, I, keep, I would like to say right now, we, to be fair to you, and to, we really wanted to dig deep, deep about the black woman part. I think that's very important. And the lift every voice part versus the contract with black America. I feel like there's more on the table, and I don't want to 
be disrespectful to your perspective and to the perspective of black women. I would exactly. love to invite you back before the election. If you have time, I would love to do that for part two with Ice Cube. We got we to gotta break now. We no problem. Brother, I, I know your intent is good. We just don't like who you rocking with, but we know you're in I ain't rocking with nobody. Yeah, ain't rocking with them. We don't see y'all. We don't see. Man, you got one more time to try to <laughs> paint that man nobody as rocking with somebody. What <laughs> the world? Right, nobody's listening to the man. It's just like, it's ridiculous. How many times does he have to say it? He said, I shot my plan out to both Biden and Trump. Trump told him, let's come talk about it now. Biden told him we'll talk about it after the election. What's that? So, so what are you supposed to do? All, the, all he did was sabotage uh, uh, Cube's fans from voting for him. That's what he did. I mean, that's what, what he's been doing uh, since his campaign. And he barely campaigns already, as it is. You understand? Mm-hmm. So he... Uh, uh, all black people unanimously said Kamala Harris is not black. Please don't utilize her as your running mate. But say, I but suppose since she was the darkest lady running for vice president, I mean running for president, that he had to utilize her because it did cause a, a great confusion because a lot of black people are saying she's black. So they're happy with her skin complexion instead of wondering. Nah, I, you know what? They didn't, take, they didn't take it way back, bro. They don't even say she's black. They say she a woman of color. How about that? A they color? took it back. Yeah. She's a colored? She a woman of color. And it's coming from our own people. Yeah, I mean, after they did the research, they found out she basically she's the product of a of a of a of a, of a black father, but he's a, what we would call mulatto or mixed, and her mother uh, is in, is is uh, uh, India, Indian. All right. right now, we got to take a break. We got to we got the six figure nigga. We got the six figure nigga. He got a name or anonymous. <laughs> he now goes by a unity because he wants to unify the black race under six figures. Everybody, six figures for everybody. <laughs> Yo, peace, family, peace. Y'all give me one second. I'm fighting with some coyotes, man. Hold on. I'm here. <laughs> Shut home, man. <laughs> Still dealing with them coyotes, bro. God damn. <laughs> Holy shit, Okay, he got to deal with the coyotes. All right. So back to back to what you were saying, y'all. No, but I'm just saying, like, you know, it's um, you know, I think that I think that we we have to we have to be we have to get better educated, man, about these issues, and then see where they fall in line with the scriptures, right? If, if, if you know, if, if speaking from, you know, speaking from a position of faith, speaking from a position of, you know, being just an Israelite, like where do, where do we fall in the lines of, and even how we view and deal with politics. Um, you know, cause we've been dealing with, uh, recently just dealing with some of the, um, some of these uh, 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 Calvinists, um, white evangelicals, you know, who, who are espousing that, you know, that uh, social justice is not even biblical, you know, to 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 is that it's not even biblical to to protest or to march, um, you know, or to uh, you know, shout out your government, and especially coming <clears throat> to this. Coming up into this election, you know, we've been seeing a ramping up. You know, I've noticed, and, right. and I know others have as well. They've been ramping up. You know, their whole issue on just attacking the social, what they call it, the social justice movement. Just attacking social justice and saying, well, if you want to argue about social justice, if you want to, 
you know, argue about Black Lives Matter. Now, I don't necessarily, I don't agree uh, with the manifesto of the Black Lives Matter organization, um, but the thought in it of itself, you know, just the, the words, Black Lives Matter, I wholly agree with. But they're on the attacking on the citizens, and their question, they're basically saying, well, if Black Lives Matter, then why are we leading in abortion? Why the abortion rate among black? They're literally teaching and preaching this in their evangelical churches right now. You know, and so I think that these little petty squabbles like we just seen, you know, coming from this panel, you know, just jumping at the brother, you know, when he said, let's lift every voice and sing. So now you're not included in every voice now. You know, so it's, it's, you know, I think we have to be more educated, man. We have to be, you know, it's time for us, you know, not just elevating our conversation, but we have to elevate how we move and what we do in this country right. as, as a people. Right, I agree. Um, first off, peace to the panel. Peace to the brothers. Thanks for having me on. Uh, Shalom. <laughs> Shalom. It is uh it is wild out here in Georgia. Uh, Shalom. I, I agree with you, Elder. Um I want to make sure I word this right. So if you have been watching, and me and Elder had a lot of conversations about this. Um the major issue that we have is us not really understanding what is best for us as a people. Right, so when you look at like the platinum plan or the lift every voice plan, if you notice, I think it was Elder that just said, um, he reached out to both of them, right? He, he he's trying to he's he's trying to figure out how to be of service, basically. Um, we I was listening to the brother Dr. Claude Anderson on uh, on a Breakfast Club the other day, like a week ago, and he was saying the only person that reached out to him basically was Jared Kushner. Right. So and that's somebody from Trump camp. And if you if you know anything about Anderson, I mean, he has an amazing plan, at least economically, that will help our people. So we clearly see something going on with with both political parties. And so I, th I think it's. I think it's counterproductive to start attacking these uh, these people who are in our communities who are wealthy and have positions of influence when we don't understand the actual maneuvering that has to go on for the future, right? Um, we've said over and over, like each time we vote, this is critical, this is critical or whatever, but I'm not saying, what, I don't care whether you vote or not, honestly. Um, I, especially for the president, I, I think you should be more involved with your local politics. But when it pertains to somebody like Ice Cube, these people who make in 500,000 plus, you know, a million dollars a year plus, these type of people, um, they have to operate in the marinas in order for them to, to, to get us some form of influence in these governments, right? Especially if we are people of faith, you've never had a, a, an exodus situation without having somebody in that position to lobby or jockey for you to get the resources you need to get out of bondage, but also to give you the resources you needed to get into a safe space. And that's what we're talking about now moving forward. Like even claim though, like, yeah, it would be amazing to see our people be able to get comfortable with making six figures, um, to know what to do with that, to know what that means uh, and how to utilize that in the community. Uh, and, uh, you know, I don't want to talk about the sisters. I don't like how they did it, but like I heard y'all saying, he handled it like a, like a true, like a true king. Right. So, uh, this concept of, of what are we going to do economically is something that we got to take serious. I know everybody think the world going to keep coming to an end. I keep saying this. But what happened when it don't? What happened when the sun keep rising and we still finding ourselves here and find out that there's some practical stuff that we got to do? Right. So moving forward, we got to make sure that we, we know what to do economically because the Bible tells us that we got there's some things that we do. There's some principles that we got to take care of economically and uh, I actually applaud the brother for 
for at least trying to trying to have conversations with both parties to figure out where he can be most useful, where where his plans and and his influence could be the most use. Um, if I'm being honest, I would love to see us have some type of independent party, but that's you know that's something that comes later, I guess. And, you know, I'll fall back right for right now and then chime in as we move forward. Well, there's two concepts for an uh, independent party. There's the black party and then there's the white party that's uh, filled with black people. And so, uh, you know, we got that in play uh, as far as uh, the rest of what you said can't be expounded on because it's perfect. Okay. Well, that uh, we lost you. You cannot, you sure? No, can you hear me now? There you go. Yeah, yeah. What I was saying was, uh, when it come down to that black political party, it's only gonna go so far because it's it's. It's not something that's recognized. It's not a title that's recognized by uh, the United, the UN, the United Nations. All right, it is no, it's no, it's no way, fashion, or form that we can go to the United Nations talking about we the Black Nation. I mean, like where at? Where y'all come from? You know what I'm saying? What's y'all? Where? Where's y'all land at? Where? You know, what type of political this? What type of political that? What is, it, what is it, y'all foundation of y'all laws structure, right? We don't have none of that. So how, how here, when that title itself is not even recognized by these individuals in the law, how is that shit gonna affect them <laughs> in some type of contract or plan when it comes down to us? Like it's something for them to entertain something for them uh, to bang on. That's all they do is, is they listen to us speak and then they, they develop strategies to stop it. You know, so I'm, I'm just, you know, like I'm all for it. I'm not, I'm not never going to step against it. And, you know what I'm saying? Fight against it because I believe, you know, like y'all say, we need to be in the fight and it's only certain individuals that can fight that fight. And like I said earlier, we had we been had political people, and like Cube even said in in the semi debate, you know, over seven hundred years or seven hundred politicians that's been in the political fight, and not one of them motherfuckers have come with a plan like he have developed, right. and then say, you know, we're gonna keep our foot on the gas pedal, you know what I'm saying? Period, point blank, we're gonna push it, we're gonna push it, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna push that line, and that's not something that no politician that call himself representing us in our community has ever even presented to us. When I think back, you know what I'm saying? Like the person who pushed certain shit, you know what I'm saying? Was Martin Luther King. Now that was a pusher, you know what I'm saying? Of, of, of certain things, demanding certain things, going through sacrificing, you know? So if he willing to sacrifice, I'm willing to sacrifice with him. But at the same time, bro, we got to understand that, what he's doing right now is not a it's not a hand up. It's a demand. And if we don't get behind him on that demand, we just want to we want to get treated however we want to get treated. Man, that's an excellent point. That is an excellent point. Yeah, yeah that's why I said, man, this is depressing to have to explain these things to these people. <laughs> Why in the world would you take the time out to say nothing? <laughs> <laughs> you didn't say yeah. a thing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, claim, I put an article in the back chat. I, w- I wanted to bring something out in regards to uh, to Ice Cube's his contract. With, with Why are you Black- bringing up the article? Can I say something real quick, though? Why y'all bringing it yeah, up? Absolutely, absolutely. Um, I I find myself having that same question about why do I, why do we gotta have this conversation? And it takes brothers like Elder, um, 
and a couple other brothers to sit down and tell me like, we have to do this because we got to get our people educated. Like at this point in time, is it, the only thing that we can do, those of us that are in the know now, is to educate our people. And we got to do it at such a, at, at a pace that they're they comfortable are. with. Right, at a and pace that they're comfortable with. Did you post it in there? <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't see it neither. It's in the chat. Look in the in the Zoom chat. It's in the Zoom chat. Got it. Got it. Okay. Um, so we gotta do this at a at a pace where our people are comfortable. But then while they're getting comfortable, we have to work now. Those of us that are able to and that can get it, it's time for us to work. Mm -hmm. Um speaking to what Yashar was talking about about a political party or anything like that. The only way that I see anything like that being effective is if we first set the economic base, right? We have to first create a solid foundation of wealth. And those of us that understand where we're supposed to go with this, we understand who that wealth needs to be in the hands of. We have to set a solid economic base that then we can use to push forward like a tier program, right? First you use the economics, then you move politically, then you move uh, socially, basically. And, and, and if we don't do that, we'll keep going in the circle. You know, the thing that the Martins and the Malcolms, the Medgars, all of them were fighting for, believe it or not, was for us to be in the position that we're in now. And I know it doesn't seem like, oh, we still got the same amount of wealth and the same amount of the wealth gap is the same, but we've never been in a position where we have this ability to unify and push forward in a way that can be um, life-changing, not only for us, but for, for our children and our children's children that come after us. So this is this fight now is, is, and I know we've been fighting for so long, but this is the beginning of the new part of the fight, if that makes sense. Yeah, because you know, people are becoming that, aware of, of right, and, and right could possibly potentially be help, helpful. Right. Yep. All right, let's get to this article. What you got, Yara? Ice Cube reveals his contract with Black America to continue his fight against systemic racism. And this is the league that I was trying to re remember earlier, the G3 three-on-three -three basketball league that he started. It's the Legendary. big three. Big three. Oh, big three. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, now, I want you to, you know, like, let's look at the date of, of this article, right? That Black Enterprise published this, right? Mm -hmm. This is in July of this year, right? The end of July, August. So, this isn't just this isn't new news like up to date like in the past week or so we've been hearing about this thing it wasn't until um donald trump responded and he asked to actually speak to leaders see before then before then we see here in this article but he was still going around Doing personal interviews, talking on his on, on, on his on his blog or his platform, whatever it was, because I watched a couple of them. Still asking the question. I want to know what this is. I, I want to understand this political system, because here we go going into another uh, uh, political era, and we still see the same issues. We still see the same problems, right? Systematic racism is still alive. We have eight years. We had eight years of Barack Obama. Now we're going through Trump, four years, possibly facing another four years of Donald Trump or whoever comes into the office. But no one's addressing the fight against systematic racism that keeps black people subjugated to a a a a. Uh, uh, a specific a specific class in this country it keeps us second uh, second class citizens and in almost third class citizens and so 
no one thought that this topic that he was bringing out and his reason for this contract that he had created by scholars, he didn't get about, like I said before, he didn't get about the bed and decide to write something off the top of his head. Right? Well, he, has, he, had, he, had, he had academic scholars, economists, and, 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 and PhD uh, 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 doctors look at this actual contract and help him actually create it and put it together. And actually, I want I want us to Google that to see who because I, I did read an article before that talks about the people that helped him put it together. Have y'all actually looked at the actual project? The actual that's project? what I want to look at. Just Thank type you. just type it up. Just type in yeah. just type in a contract with Black America. Right. Type in Ice Cube's contract with Black America. Right, and then when you and because right when to the read it, yeah, exactly. Because when you read it, then it makes this 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 interview we just watched even more nonsensical. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. it, it's just, it's, it's, it's like, what is this about? Now, there it is right there. You know? And I think a lot of people are having a conversation. They're taking the sound bites, just like you just heard this young lady say, you know, before she ended the show. You know, well, we don't like your man Trump. He like, what are you talking about, my man Trump? I, I, I went to I went to both both parties, mm -hmm. both candidates. That tells me she didn't do her homework for the interview. That tells me she only listened to the talking points, which she been hearing the news, the sound bites, social media, mm -hmm. before she even started this interview. Now, I'm not as, as as if they're going to tell her the truth. You, see, you have exactly. to look at the raw data. Exactly. So here are the people involved, just to let you know that I see right now, you see this in the preface or the preface. Derek Hamilton, professor and executive director, mm -hmm. um, Kerwin Institute at The Ohio State University and incoming uh, and Henry Cohen, professor of economics and urban, and urban policy and university professor at the New School. Um, these are the people. So Derek Hamilton, it looks like, and Henry Cohen seem to be two of the main people involved. I'm sure there's several other people. Those are only two mm -hmm. um, names of notoriety that I see right now uh, as I'm skimming. But uh, like you said, it, it's clear that this has been very well thought out, very well put together. And now that I'm looking at this and really looking at how this works, I can tell y'all that these are the only types of situations and solutions that we have. Because if you look at either one of these plans, I don't know if y'all have looked at the Lift, Lift Every Voice plan or even if you look at the Platinum plan. Mm -hmm. um, but the only thing that it is, is just reframing of the same BS. And I, you know, I want to watch how I talk, but the same nonsensical solutions that they've given us before. Mm -hmm. None of these things have any weird, real reform. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, I was talking to Elder about this earlier. You know, my concern is, do we do we really ever enter into the situation where they rewrite the Constitution? Because there's a lot of economists that feel the only way that black people in this country will ever uh, have a chance is for them to kind of revamp everything in order to help us get some form of real major paradigm economic shift. And if you read this, this is what he's proposing. This is what's proposed in this plan is, is a true shift in the Federal Reserve and how things are being appropriated and, and the different avenues that need to be explored and the different things that must be put into place. Like you were saying, now we're making demands of what you must do to reform what you have done to an entire race of people. And I don't know if people understand that, even especially, let's get back to this evangelical concept as well. Mm -hmm. when, you have a, when you have a whole section of religion saying basically, oh, just get over it, as if, and we just deal with the modern 400 years of oppression, right? And it's been more than that, but we just deal, we just, we just keep it light right now and still, still deal with 400 years of oppression just on the shores of this country. Um, to act as though, oh, well, you know, slavery ended a long time ago. No, it didn't. You just revamped it. You reshaped how it looked. Mm 
Girl. Even if we even if we move in, in, into the latest form of national corporation, they ex, yeah, and they expanded the uh, plantation to the entire country. Right, <laughs> right. Because when you understand how mass incarceration works, this is why you. What's the sister name that wrote the book, The New Jim Crow? Uh, um, Michelle. Um, yeah. Michelle, is it Milken or something like that? I mean, please forgive me. Please forgive me for not having that sister name at the tip of my tongue. But that is a that is an amazing book. Yeah. Because you know, when you understand how, it. yeah, when you understand how this whole situation works. Yeah, um, Michelle Alexander. That's there it. you go. Mm -hmm. The concept, the concept of of what this is proposed in this contract with Black America, and and what you know, I don't want to keep bringing up the name, but, but Dr. Claude Anderson. Because um, I, I love his plan, especially if you take it and and mix it and and why well, since I mix it, layer it with the Bible, right? Obviously, for us, all these principles have to go with what we know to be our constitution. Mm -hmm. But when you look at what his preference is and what his proposal is, and you look at something like what Cube is presenting, and when you understand the only way for us to get right and get out of this. Um, I don't even know why you would even part your mouth to say anything bad to the brother. And so this is my last final point, and then I'm going to shut up because I'll get real wordy on this. Elder just said this best. How can you talk about this when you haven't taken the time to look at this plan? Mm -hmm. And I know they have. I know they have at least not to comb through it and understand what was happening. Like, for instance, he got a section entitled Monuments and Institutions. We talk about eliminate all Confederate statues rather than destroy them. They are, watch this. And I was just telling Elder this. Don't get rid of them. Put them in some form of a museum or something because we don't ever want to get to the point where we forget what happened and where you can deny what happened. Uh. They said, rather than destroy them, they are to be kept by the National Archives, Smithsonian Institute, and or, and uh, uh, I always mess this word up, Anagalus um, State Facility. Uh -huh. They are to be used only in displays and exhibits designed to investigate our racist past. This is not sanitizing our past as history exists in books and online. There is no need to display monuments of these types, just as we allow the Saddam Hussein statue to be removed, as well as the Berlin Wall, um, where doors easily could have been inserted. Right. And then I like this last where we says rename all streets, schools, public structures, towns, scholarships, etc named after Confederate soldiers or leaders, renamed with names of black heroes with white abolitionists. Why do things like this become important? Because one of the major things that are plaguing us is this mental mm -hmm. hurdle that we have to get over. Mm -hmm. Imagine going to Cornwall Jackson High School, whatever, whatever high school you go into that's named after one of these Confederate generals. And maybe you don't even know your whole life, right? But then when you get older, you find out, hold on, I went to that school and that's what that was about. And that's what yeah. You see what I'm saying? Like this this entire country has been set up, especially when you get deeper and deeper in the South, has been set up as a as a reminder that you are a permanent underclass. Huh. To act. To act as though that mentally doesn't destroy an entire race of people and then pretend as though that's not your job as the church to say things like social justice is not in the scriptures. This is what these people are teaching. God. There's something wrong with that. And there's a fight that we have to face and meet it head on. And I love what the brother's doing. So, all right, I'm set up. I talk too much. Yeah. If anybody else wants to jump in. Before before I say something, um, um, just we look we're looking right there. I think right now what we're on right now is, is just the introduction, and it's important to read that. But just go down the line that one. I think it's like what is that one through twelve? Mm -hmm. just, it is a representation, lending right. reform, yeah. federal mm -hmm. funding, mm -hmm. Federal Reserve finance oversight. Data and credit, mm -hmm. prison reform, judicial reform, police reform act, FCC licensing, Confederate institutions, mm -hmm. AJP program, Black mm -hmm. responsibility. Right now, tell me what 
and just in that that list of 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 of, of points that is excluding women it is excluding women <laughs> we've been trying to figure that out all night brother i mean it it, it was it was it, it's, it's, <laughs> This is how me and Moore determined that they just they they just uh 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 puppets on a string. Absolutely, 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 and and and, and it's this fringe pseudo feminism, right? That they try to impose on all women in the black community to simply to get them to attack the leadership coming from. The black men in our community. That's it. He, it. All this is is he has the audacity to take a leadership role, not 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 a black man, not a black man. You see what I'm saying? Uh-huh. And so they 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 don't understand it, and and, and without. <laughs> And without getting, well, I, I'll leave that alone. But, <laughs> well, I'm going to say it. When they all sitting on the panel, you see what I'm saying? Face lifts, eyes slanted, face Man. pulled back to snatch, trying to look like white women. I ain't seen one on the panel with, with a natural hairstyle, unless I was looking at the wrong something. And I said it all, all politically. Or or, or 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 women that 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 uh, are 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 woke or or are in tune with 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 their you know with the black community race has to have a natural hairstyle. I'm not saying that, but what I'm saying is, is I that, am unapologetically. Yeah, but I'm but, but I'm not saying that. But what I'm saying <laughs> is, is that in this day and time, in this day and time, and where we are as a as as a, as a nation as a people, that's the best that they could do with that conversation. And I'm not talking about their intelligence. I'm talking about their understanding of where we really are. It's clear. It's clear. They hadn't read this, 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 this contract. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. So let's just real quick, you know, let, go back to the contract for me. Who, who, who got the control of the hand? I got you. Hold up. Hold up. Because I want to say, Green in media is talking about blackness. So this green witch, with the all black, is representing a black woman. You know what I'm saying? So they were told to go out and, and wreak havoc. And they just say, okay, let me start flying around and do what I need to do in the airwaves. And I want y'all to know this brother did our job for us, y'all. Yeah, he did. Bring bring this up, bro. Bring I'm done. I'm like, okay, go look at that white box. Click the white box over there, Clay. Now click full contract for me, please. Now I advise all y'all, if you see this, or if you tell somebody to do this, do this. Now just start scrolling through, Clay. Just scroll through all these 22 pages since our people don't like to read. And just start taking a look at all the, the major head, the major subcategories, right? Mm-hmm. Just just start scrolling down. You ain't got to read them all, but just start scrolling down. Number one, you're not going to see anything gender specific towards men or women. You're going to see helping the black race. Right. Everything that this brother is presenting is helping our race. Once you, I mean, even when you get down to the to the bottom, like, Institute Spurs, like Institute of Black History 365 curriculum, education metrics. I mean, he's this whole, it's if you understand this, the entire plan is laid out for you. Right? Look at that. Hold on, about, hold on, hold on. Inter, I'm sorry. Entertainment industry reform right, and reparations. Right. right. That's not going to help black that, women? That's, that, yep, yeah, speaks directly to them. But they they don't know anything about the plan, so they were told to fly <laughs> through the airwaves, <laughs> and that's what they did. 
Yeah, go ahead. I'm sorry, now, but I just want to. Nah, nah, yeah, like you, you, you're doing exactly mandatory what I want to do. funding of black studios, bro. Like y'all addressing this. This is what I want you to just bring it up and just start to scroll through. Now, now look who has to fund them: the Hollywood studios, the largest Hollywood yeah. studios. Because a lot of them made money off the slaves of blacks. They know this too of black slave labor and cheap labor. They know this. Record companies and television studios and networks to compensate for years of lack of support, stereotyping yeah. and damage to black culture. Stop That's it, right. man. Now, instead of, and instead of instead of them understanding how hard it's gonna be for this brother, because now it's gonna be difficult for this brother. Yeah. We lost you understand that. He's already Yeah, my yeah friend, absolutely. He's already pissing yeah. them off with the big three. He's no, already made them mad exact, with the big three. They knew exactly how hard they it was. did it on purpose. Yep. You know what yeah. I'm and so, right, right. So instead of so instead of jumping in and saying, "Nah, we finna, we we're just going on YouTube or we'll go on Zoom, we'll do whatever," especially during COVID, to make sure we got our brothers back. No, this turns into. Yeah. This wasn't a behind the scenes conversation. Like if I'm, I'm, I'm gonna pull up my brother, whatever. No, no, they did this on Fox, bro. You feel yeah, me? They, it's like, they did this on national TV. You feel me? Like, yeah. this is the epitome of like all skin folk and kin folk. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like it's crazy, bro. That's what I said. Like I, because I, I brief when he, when it first came out, I went through and I said, oh, this is pretty good, right? I didn't read this part extensively what we're looking at here, but I read the overall uh, the, the abstract. I said, okay, that's pretty good, you know, what he has going on here. Mm-hmm. So I know there's no way they could have honestly approached this the way that they did. If they this did. Is, this is what they did. This is what they did right here. Synopsis. He's not kneeling down to kiss his shoe. He's getting kicked in the mouth. <laughs> right. This is what they did. Why? Yeah. Are you beating us down, ladies? You know, and 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 and, and the thing of it is, is that is that a lot of times, and I'm starting to even to move away from this understanding where people don't really realize when they're being controlled or manipulated. They know. People know. You know enough. <laughs> You know, yeah, you because know. they brought it up in in, in the beginning. They said, yeah. you know, politicians can use you. You do know that, don't you? Uh, keep... <laughs> they said what? <laughs> Sorry, there's nothing to read. 160 million. Don't forget. Now that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, like so. You you don't have like 160 million in that in that worth and whatnot, right? And not know how to come up with the proper plan. That's why he was like, look, man, I wasn't trying to have no. No rally call now since I was actually trying to make moves. He's like, so when I first came up with this joint, I had a homie of mine that was cool with Kamala Harris. He reached out to Kamala Harris, and she was she was supposed to give me the phone call. She said she would give me the phone call. I never got the mm-hmm. phone call. Mm-hmm. So I kept so I kept moving. That kept moving. So I kept it moving. Like I was like, <laughs> and they're like, well, why did she keep it moving? Why didn't she wait? Mm-hmm. Man, the man got enough money for a hundred generations in his lineage. Oh. What do you so mean? Why did you wait? Like what? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Wait, like, like, why didn't did you go back to the why, why, why come didn't you participate with the phone call? Why did Why didn't you participate with the, with the Zoom phone call with all the celebrities? He's like, because I didn't feel like it was gonna be productive. Like, why would I? Like, he, he was like, bro, like they they already Just like this conversation. Yeah, ex- yeah, exactly. He was like, man, like uh, all you cats, I got like a million to me and whatever that worked. Like, I don't know what the hell y'all talking about. Y'all did that to everybody still. Right. And that's because no, that's he, everybody still exactly, and that's because he knows that phone conversation would would have would have been like what we hear all the time, especially on these on these social media platforms. People go with the popular view, and he told you what it was. He was like, yeah. "Look, man, I was making, I made the move behind closed doors. You feel me? I wasn't. Tra- mm-hmm. There's certain comments. He's like, I wasn't trying to have. I went in public. Obviously, you know what I'm saying." He and he's like, they wanted me to, ha- they wanted me to have a public hair. conversation. It, 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 it was like, hey, man, it was it was a song and dance kind of thing. He's like, I didn't want to do no rally call. He called it out for what it was. I didn't want to mm-hmm. do no rally call. Right? It wasn't about no, it. This is a complete reform on the nation. And that's why this is a problem. We're going to call this what this is now. Mm-hmm. If you go through this, this is a me- Like, bro, 
like you said, Elder, I knew it was out here, but I didn't, I haven't dug into it. I'm looking at this right now, bro, like this. And you and the best part about it, and it's gonna sound messed up, but it's not just, oh, you black, so here's your handout. No, there are some there are some responsibilities that we have in here as well. Mm-hmm. There's a whole section called Black Americans Responsibility. Mm-hmm. Like, bro, I'm sick that they that this is even happening. That you're gonna you're gonna go out of your way to turn this into a gender fight in our community. Are you asking why somebody would? Why wouldn't you wait? Well, why wouldn't we expect that though? If we already saw that happen in the '60s, etc. It's right. two weeks before the election, and ain't nobody helped the brother do this. What you mean? Why wouldn't we wait? Now, no, biggest... but no, no, no. Here's the problem: a bunch of people helped him do it, and it wasn't none of them them. And when he asked them to help, they were like, "No." Right. 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 Yeah. Right. No, that's that's the issue. He was like, he was like, "No, I went to a whole bunch of black people. I went to our PhDs. I went to our activists. I went, you know what I'm saying?" Mm-hmm. He was like, "No, no." He's like, "No." Hence, hence, it looks clean. Mm-hmm. You feel what I'm saying? He was, he was like, "Why wouldn't it be clean?" You know what I'm saying? And why don't you want to help? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like that was that should be an eye opener for everybody watching. You know what I'm saying? Like there's certain people allowed to help and certain people not allowed to help. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm, man, man, if, if yeah, I was there, I would say, "Nah, man, I'm not coming over bro, back on this." My, my pops is always, <laughs> my, my pops is always me, my pops is always telling me you got to pay the cost to be the boss, right? And, and, yeah, and again, Q was the only one on that panel that's free. Mm-hmm. Yep, right. Then Everyone know. else is still on the plantation in some way, shape, or form. Listen, he's been free. He's been free since he, since he left NWA. Bro, uh-huh. I talked, so I got a friend. I got a couple friends. One of them is out there in, in the state of Washington, right? Millionaire about 20 times over, right? Uh-huh. So we have a conversation. And, you know, this is, this is about five years ago. And I'm asking just different questions because, you know, I'm making sure we get to this money, right? And he's explaining to me, he's like, bro, you know, I, I got some money in the bank. He said, but I'm one bad investment or one bad mistake away from losing everything, having two or three million in the bank. He said, and if you understand that, two, three million, like more just said, now you in debt to everybody. Right? The hundred mark, the hundred million mark, 150 million mark, hundred, that's when you really. That's why he's making this move now unapologetically, no right. fear. Right. You see what I'm saying? Off you support this. You jump behind this, bro. You think what you we need to take these weeds out. I need to stop sagging my pants. I, what, what else I need to do? I I you know what I'm saying? No, nah, but you got a bunch of house niggas talking about nah man, you can't burn down our house, our house, you know what I'm saying? That's our house, you know what I'm saying? No, no, we sick, boss. Oh, we man. sick, but like, come on now, like. Come you on. just gonna let him come in the big house, Calvin? Yeah, for real. Like, come on, bro. This thing is amazing, bro. We should be applauding this brother because of because we know what this means for him. If he didn't have the ability to do other stuff on his own at this point, this would be his his entertainment career death warrant. Right, this would kill his career if he didn't, if he wasn't in a position where he knew how to continue to provide for himself. Yeah, he'd be two seconds from being Nick Cannon, fam. Yeah, where you got to do the where you got to do the the I, I ain't gonna say to people yeah. name I don't want, but you got to <laughs> do that apology. You got to do that apology tour. You know what I'm saying? You got to do the Bojangles. Yeah, you got to do the step and fetch it now. <laughs> you know what I want to call, but hey, <laughs> hey. Hey, this is this is wild, man. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. This is wild, and I haven't watched it. I'm, I can't. Everybody keeps telling me to go watch it because they like you of all people are gonna lose your mind. I'm trying my best not to watch these type of things. I'm so deeply in, engulfed in building something for us. So, but it's, this is ah, this is ah. I didn't know we was this bad as a people. I, I and I'm being surprised weekly, daily almost now. Uh, how bad this is! Uh, good show, Clay. Good job. Yeah, yeah. 
This the Commander General Yashar show. Oh, fuck then. Good job, Yashar. You did post the link. I don't know what I was thinking. Excellent job. All right. Mm. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna spend some time on this. This is this will be my weekend reading. Mm hmm. I don't know. Yeah, bro. Mm -hmm. Like my level of excitement that this somebody of his stature, and then I'm seeing what Killer Mike has mm -hmm. out there. Mm -hmm. I, We're taking I, a lot of load off of our um, plate for real. And uh, but I, I'll be encouraging that community to link up with the, you know, you said reach out to you. You said you need help, so I'm gonna reach out to you professionally with my secretary. I reached out to you already. You know what I'm saying? Why you respond? I know. I guess you're getting millions of, of emails. I suppose I don't know, but you said you need some help. I guess you always say only rich people should help you, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay. That's fine. Yeah. Yeah. This is crazy, bro. This is yeah. crazy. And so this is what I mean about, you know, you know, always taking it you know, always taking the narratives of 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 of, of uh, that are just floating out here in the air. You know. And folks grab things out the media, they grab things out the news cycle. See this internet and this social media, you know, it is part of of they call the uh, Tributes to what they call the dumbing down of America, mm -hmm. right? And is is is, and it becomes more and more evident because people tend to believe them. They they tend to believe a mean that has no basis in truth and understanding, you know. Mm -hmm. But they pull, you know, they pull talking points, and listen. The thing of it is, is that that is so it's so it's so evident that instead of instead of them presenting his information, and I'm not bashing these women at all, right? But the fact that that even the people who are responsible for, put, for putting the show on, I don't know who's the producer or the executive producer on this show, but if you're going to be dealing with these topics, you should have someone who's, who's, who's even researching, right? You should have someone who's even research. It was clear they had no understanding about what his plan was about. It just, it, it makes absolutely no sense. And that doesn't do anything but take away from any progress, even if just as, even if it's just to move the conversation along. Mm -hmm. Yo, this is crazy, bro. And so now they create this whole fake uh, uh, um, fringe, you know, um, understanding, and then the narrative that you're here, you're like, yeah, we went in on cue. Girl, we called him out on women's rights. But uh, what are you talking about? This has to do with rights of, of all African American people in this country that focus on the black family. Any agenda that sincerely seeks to promote the best interests of the African-American community must strive to restore the black family unit of man, woman, and child. There it is. That, that he just spoke, he, he just included you. In every point, you were just included in that statement right there in that statement alone. You were just included. 
he talks about equal pay for all for 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 all for both black men and black women for all for the whole family so where are you included from that he talks about reparations where are you disclude where are you where are you excluded from that excluded from that sorry talks about police brutality where are you excluded from that call he talks about bridging the wealth gap. Where are you excluded from that conversation? He's talking about better policing. Where are you excluded from that conversation? He talks about black the, the responsibility or the honors that the black community has to police themselves, to create businesses and support their own businesses. Black mm -hmm. businesses. Where, where are you excluded from that? Lending reform, data and credit. Like when you get to the case for neo reconstruction, right? And then he goes to the two key areas to address. First is economics. He talks about the economic impact. I'm not going to go into this because this is amazing. This is actually what I was going to go into when it came time to beat up Blue when he wanted to bring up the GI Bill and the, and the banks and the, right? Because he doesn't understand what he's looking at. But anyway. I'm just going to give you this, this quick excerpt. It says, according to the real estate app Redfin, African-American families has lost out on at least 212000 in personal wealth over the last 40 years because their homes were redlined. The results right. of these policies leave African-American families with 10% of the net wealth of white families. So if you understand what the average white family, the median white family income is versus the median black income like it's crazy right it really is so, about 10 times so we're going to keep reminding the people that they are, are designing it that way to 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 facts. to land like that facts facts and what he's proposing is a complete <clears throat> shift Right now, but in the, in the underlying proposal that I have to this is even if they don't shift it, the fact that he has put this out here, I can take this now and take this to our people and show how we can shift it. Mm -hmm. if, the, if the government refuses to shift it for us or with us, then we go do it on our own. And the way we do it on our own is we hire uh, black appraisers. We hire uh, black realtors. We hire uh, black um uh home what is it what am i trying to say y'all when they when they come and they do the home inspectors home inspectors okay right all of these things because it because what happens is if you refuse to help us now we have to do everything unapologetically black right whereas in his when you look at his proposal he's even making it clear like okay we're not just saying we're gonna just put you in a permanent underclass. So if you do the economic reform and give us the type of money you need to give us, do it over 10 years, give us tax breaks, do things like that. Uh, the responsibility for black Americans, if you go and look, if you have a large company, you need to hire um, some non-blacks as well, right? So he's not just saying unapologetically, we just all black, 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 right? Now, but what's gonna happen is if they don't adopt this, if they don't look at this, then we do. Then we immediately shift to Black, 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 black. Yes, that's even you, black woman. Yes, yes. We're just not leaving out nobody. Like, to me, that's weird that this turns into a gender. Once again, that this would turn into a gender conversation. This is, this is Willie Lynch at his best, right? So if you, if I, I, I beg y'all, take the time to read this. You'll get educated just on how bad it is for us and what they've used if you don't know it. And I'm talking to people who come back and watch this over the next week, week and a half. And even y'all, as y'all tell people, Read this entire thing, fam. Read this entire thing because you're gonna learn not only what the issue is, but where we can make up ground, even if they don't do what they're supposed to do. And I think it's amazing that he put this out here because this is a 100% call to action for us, regardless of what they say, regardless of anybody that wants to accuse him of being gender bias which i gotta go watch this thing so i don't i don't speak ignorant on this but if there was if there if there's any 
attack on his brother about him not caring about the sisters. Like his whole thing is talking about building up the black family. Who is that going to benefit the most? Let's just be honest. The black family. It's specifically though, our sisters. And here's why I say that. Here's why I say that. Our sisters, especially the sisters who are going to school, they get educated, they get the degrees, and then for whatever reason they deal with a with a with a brother who has some type of psychological issue or emotional issue what makes him not want to take care of his family. Right. So now these sisters are on the hood financially, they gotta take care of all of this stuff. I, I hear you I hear the sisters like this is one of their complaints. Well, if you look at this. If, if if a lot of the, the suggestions and a lot of the demands that he's making in here are met, these sisters would be compensated for some of these loss. They would be put in a position where they would be able to properly take care of their children, as well as different programs would be reinstituted, like these summer school programs, these after school programs that that should have that should have never been taken out of a lot of our communities. Right. They would be there. They would be there to help them as they are still climbing up the ladder of, of building their wealth, right? And then there's also the education part that comes into this. Will they be educated on how to properly uh, run businesses, how to properly uh, move up in, in your career if that's what you're trying to do? Like, I, it's, it's insanity to me that this would even be a conversation. Bro. Like, I, I hope them checks was worth it. I really hope them checks was worth it, man. Yeah. Yeah, I mean it's probably gonna be the same reaction that uh, that that girl got with uh, R. Kelly. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. So far. <laughs> she got she got prom, prom, uh, promoted or uh, like she had got like an eighty million dollar bonus or something or some shit like that. Eight um, million dollars. What bonus girl? check? I missed that one. Girl that interviewed R. Kelly and oh, made him go crazy. Gail, come on, Gail, come on, Gail. 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 I didn't know that. I didn't know that. So the, I, and I guess the hope was to make Cube lose it, even when they shot that comment at the end. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. You know, exactly. it's funny when we, because we've been dealing with this now, and we've been talking about this how a certain platform kind of was like our training ground, right? Um, just for the bigger picture, and you could tell this brother was ready for it. Because this, uh, to me, this sounds and looks like uh, the absent-minded professor, the one that calls himself the DMT, and the type of tactics used by by these people to try to force you to snap and to force you to go off. Right. That, that yeah, to try to make you look discredit you. Right. Uh, discredit you. That's right. Yeah. So when you you know what I'm saying when you're not in control of your emotion, it, it, it tells them see. So all they gotta do, you gotta, these guys are crazy. See, even though you just called me a whole hole, I was supposed to stay calm. <laughs> right. <laughs> I was, uh, okay, I did. I will stay calm. But I'm, I'm glad how he handled Cuomo. You know what I mean? He got a little agitated and and displayed it. But that's how you had to handle Cuomo. He was on uh, he was on Chris on Chris Cuomo show. Yeah, yeah because yeah. Cuomo Cuomo gets uh, apologetic whenever. Matter of fact, pull that up, Clay, because it's a it's an important it's uh-huh. something that Cuomo says to him in there, and I'm like, hmm? do we need to give the the disclaimer? Or can we play it? Um, so, Parsons. Yeah, oh, no, just, no, just a federal disclaimer. How anything we oh, use in is for educational yeah. purposes. Mm-hmm. Um, you want the full thing? I didn't know he was on Cuomo show. See, man, I've been in the lab, y'all. Yeah, yeah I need been to. In the lab, fam. Yeah, I've really been in the lab. Okay, you want to play the whole thing? Um, you said it's something. Our next guest said. is Ice. I think this one, yeah, we could do that one. We could do that one because the other one, I think the other snippets have commentary on it, but we don't need that. He's, uh, he said, I'm not playing on games. This is where he started getting po- apologetic. Yeah, what, what, which part you want to right where you at, Clay? Okay. 
you have the economics. Uh, all of it extends uh, from poverty, which is an extension of opportunity, uh, which is an extension of a system that doesn't give equal opportunity, and you see it everywhere. Hiring, education, finance. Uh, now, what's all the question that he asked? So, acutely, we've been looking at uh, what happens when policing goes wrong in communities. It doesn't give you concern that the president has handled police violence the way he has in terms of his commitment to work on any of the issues that you think are important? We've been dealing with police violence in this country from day one. So <laughs> police violence is just part of our life here. <laughs> exactly. Like, 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 like this is new information. Like, he's surprised. Like, like, violence is all what? since Trump came out. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, he's like, what? Have you, have you really? You what do you saying? mean? You <laughs> and see, this is and this is what I mean about like how we can learn from from Ice Cube, right? Like literally, how not to get caught up yeah. in the emotion of an ignorant question. Yeah, he cut right to it too. He didn't even waste no time. Right. You see what I'm saying? And it's like. Are, are come, on, come, on, come on, the smart community calls the police the patty rollers. Of, right, are you really saying another that? Patty roller. Exactly. Yeah. So, so are you really asking this man, like, what do you think about the police violence since Donald Trump has been in office? It, it, you're talking to a guy who was one of the founders of a rap group called Niggas with Attitude. <laughs> huh. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. Who came out with a song called F the Police. Uh-huh. And you just asked him that. This is what I mean. By, uh, about a complete disdain and a complete ignorance and disrespect to the, to the person who you're talking to. Like, why would you ask him such a question? It's ridiculous, man. <clears throat> So uh, what we know in the smart community is that Obama tripled the police budget and they uh, became more, even more militarized than they were already leaning towards. Mm -hmm. You see? Mm -hmm. That's a fact. Oh, this is crazy, fam. That's a fact. How, we, how is this happening in 2020? How are we even having this conversation? in 2020 when so now you this is how come our celebrities don't do nothing i'm just gonna be honest with you bro like what is the incentive for him to do this when you're gonna take this and make this about gender right right no exactly exactly fam completely non sequitur to what he's been what he's presented and then to say, oh, you got a problem with Trump. What that got to do with what he's trying to do for us? Nothing have at you all look, Have you looked at Biden's Lift Every Voice plan? Why are you having that, that nonsense? Bruh. Bruh. Why are you talking that nonsense? Have you even studied the Lift Every Voice plan? Because you're going to look at this if you got any type of sense and say, man. Yeah. Come on. Come, hey, come on, buddy. Yep. Yeah. Exactly. Hey, Clay, do me a favor, because I want to show you the contrast for, for what, and I'm going to show you how politics really works in a narrative, because I heard somebody uh, on the, on the, uh, on the, on the other, on the other station earlier trying to go in on Q, Ice Cube, not really understanding themselves, oh. right? Who's supposed to be the apolitical marker <laughs> in that, over there in that territory? but completely doesn't understand what I'm saying. So understand what we're talking about here. Now you see what Q's done, doing here, the interviews he's doing, what he's actually saying. Google um, Dave Chappelle and, uh, on politics that might be able to bring it up. Scroll down because I, I want to see if there's a there's a there's an article. Uh, actually, he talks about not um, 
thinking that his belief is that, and he's entitled to his belief, that celebrities of his caliber, right, and like Ice Cube, shouldn't be involved in the political movement. Right? Yes, they should. Yeah, they should put their funding behind the political movement. <laughs> or, or come up with their own plan like Cube did. Yeah, I'm trying to I'm trying to say um and put his uh platform and his money behind his own plan. Yeah. Um let me, let me see if I can find if I can remember the title of the See, that's what we got to get our eyes open though, right? Like, so you, these cats are not these these women are not on TV because they're trying to do anything radical or political, or whatever. They're right. on Fox, you know what I'm saying? Because they're paid to keep the status quo. Exactly. Like so, for like, so in 2020, if we're looking if we're looking at TV in America, right? Like, it's not based upon the same thing Hugh was talking about. He was like, "Look, man, we've been dealing with this aspect of life since day one." In this country, right? Mm-hmm. Why would the media be any different? Right. Why are we exactly. looking at the Why are we looking at the media if it's doing if it's supposed to do anything but keep the status quo? Like, there should be no surprise that 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 so called black people on TV, you know, what I'm saying, are 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 mad at somebody who's trying to who's trying to shake up the status quo. You know what I'm saying? Like that, their job is to keep the status quo. And there shouldn't there shouldn't be any question about that. There shouldn't be any like shock about that. There shouldn't be any awe about that. It should be, okay, yeah, that's what, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? And and the only reason there should be any shock about that is if is if you actually have people in power to run the system, and then you see stuff like that happen. That's when it's like, well, why is it why, why does it look like that? Well, it, you know what I'm saying? Like right right now, it looks like what it does because we don't run nothing. So when you got people who look like us in power to do anything, it's it's again like so. It's not like they're Joseph. It's not like they're they're Daniel, right? These people, mm-hmm. these these women on the show ain't, ain't governors of the country. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, so so if they're not if they're not underneath one of our our people in governorship and such or whatnot, we should only expect them to be speaking the words of the status quo. Mm-hmm. Right, right. It, it wouldn't and, make and hold them make accountable. That's just as we have this, in this show. To get them to change their narrative, I'm not even. I'm not even. T- I'm not even talking. Like to me, to me, that's a way. That that's a waste of breath. Because there's like what, what they're going to change. They're going to change their topic. They're they're going to not keep the status quo. Not at all. I don't think. No. So. Yeah, I'm with you. Like so, 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 so. The question is like, so how do we support our people who are doing something? You know what I'm saying? Right. With, with, right. Without without giving uh, these people keeping the status quo like air to breathe. Right. Uh, try Dave Chappelle in, in, in social justice. Man, all I can tell y'all is read Biden's plan. Yeah, we should look at it. You know, I mean, uh, because it's, I mean, you, because we're gonna have to go into each each joint. There's toilet paper. But boy, like, bro, even even in the areas where he's talking about dealing with it, it's talking about doing a mandate uh review of how it's happened. We don't need no review of how it's happening. We know what's happening. We'll we'll. We'll dedicate a certain amount of funds to getting you small business, the African American small businesses up to par. And, oh, oh, they would have been so, up so, to so par. Uh, the, the question would be: So, what would be the expectation What would be the come? expectation of somebody who gave us the crime bill? Facts, bro. Like when you look at this, it's just fluff. It's all fluff, bro. Like <laughs> <laughs> it's useless <laughs> for real. There it go, Clint. Let's set this thing over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Click on that one. Look, drive additional capital into low income communities to spur development of low income housing. Listen, monies could be easily usurped. So, do you know what? Real real quick, real quick. Let's slow that down, real quick. So, what he just said is he wants to use private money. To invest in our communities to make permanent exactly low say. permanent hoods. Low income right. housing means hood. Right. It means right. that you can only make a certain amount and live there. You can't make yep. above a certain amount and live. There. Yep. Look, and if well, you they, so what they want to do is take private funds. Right. 
<laughs> no, finish, because I'm, I'm going to support exactly what you're saying. No, 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 go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. So if you want to hear it, if you want to hear it, here's, here's the last sentence of this, of the explanation of that, of that bullet point. Biden will expand the program to provide $5 billion in support every year and will make the program permanent so communities can take the credit into account in their long-term planning. Your man said, I'm about to make permanent hoods. I want to give you permanent hoods. Yeah, that's exactly what he's saying. And the reason, and listen, this is what I said earlier about they, they, they creating these, these permanent classes. This is class yep. warfare now. Yep. They want yep. to create a permanent second yep. class, third class. And that's when they want to regulate us too. Yeah. Hold on, real, real quick. I don't even have to look, right? I can tell you that Biden also wants. I, I haven't even checked this out, but just just off a of hunch, he also wants to increase ho federal housing loans and whatnot, right? And and decrease <laughs> the standards for such, right? So what? Is, so watch this, right? So even if you get, so even if you get out the hood, right? You get out the hood by getting the loan that you can never pay back. That, that ends you getting that ends you up ends up with you back in the hood after you lose your house. Back in the hood. After you lose your house. Crazy. It's crazy. <laughs> and that's really what we talked about here, right? Like, like, like in the world. They're saying, like, let them eat cake. You feel me? Exactly. They're going to throw Marie Antoinette on them. Yep. <laughs> there it is, bro. And it's like, it's, man, it's, it's so diabolical, man, on a level beyond like uh, what we, like what we hear. And I tell people, like, when you talk about this is the whole argument that they're trying to that they're trying to do now and you and I'm hearing it because I've been like I've been doing a lot of studying, a lot of reading on politics and these, you know, in, in, in the evangelical evangelical church and racism and, and, and dealing with Calvinism and a lot man, a lot of stuff with their espousing, man, these <laughs> these these people meet up on Sunday morning. Right. These evangelicals. They meet up on why. Sunday morning. This is why Q's plan is so dope because it's talking about a complete reform of the system because the problem mm -hmm. is how the federal mandates come down. Mm -hmm. This is why Moore is talking about, oh boy, want to play the, oh, we're going we gonna to give you the federal money. First off, I want to see you get that through. First off, why are you talking about you finna get all this money? I want to know where it's going to come from. Because if you don't do any type of reform on the- You know they're going to print the money, all right? Bro, so then what? So, so now we got hyperinflation, and it still do the same problem. Like, nah, bro. All right, they and and they got it baked in the cake that way, bro. Like, so again, right. this this is what I'm saying. This is a Marie Antoinette situation to where, like, the, the 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 even on the Democratic side, right? You see, like, again, Biden at the end of the day is an old school segregationist, right? So at the end of the day, he's trying to keep that line there to like, okay, like, like we we got to keep what we have. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's his job is to make sure that those have. That's what keep. his plan. If you read his plan, his plan completely says that. We're going to give you a little bit, but you got to let us keep what we got. And then we're going to take what you got later. And then we're going to take yours back later. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy, fam. Man. Like they were disrespectful with it. Like they didn't even come at you. Like you know what? We're gonna give you a temporary UBI until until uh until COVID's over. They're like, nah, we're just gonna <laughs> we're gonna hit you with the same stuff that got you messed up before. You know what I'm saying? And not give you nothing better. Yep, that's it. It's it's it's, it's, it's ridiculous, man. And like Cube said, he was like, "Look, man, I try, I try to holler at your people. You know what I'm saying? They they would they didn't take like they didn't take me like I was. They didn't take it like a serious conversation. They didn't talk to us like our vote counted." They talk to us right. like our vote was automatic. Yep. And he's exactly right about that. And they do this. Yeah, because as long as they got New York and California, that, that's pretty much the rest of the Democratic country. Yeah. That's the rest of the blue states. Like, look, uh, and, and, and see, they already, and see, this is the, with, the, with that game plan is, is that they don't, I mean, they never do it anyway, but they really can ignore us. They really can ignore us during this election cycle because they because the 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 least path least path of resistance that they have to garner enough votes in the electoral college they don't have to acquiesce to any of our demands now watch what they're doing bro like so check this out so so this this last show like we're watching with cube is, is a perfect example right because like so what's happening with trump is the same thing that happened with the with bush jr right in the sense that like he got 
a decent amount of the, of the of the black male vote, and then it increased the second time around, right? So that's about to happen with Trump and whatnot, right now. So he's about to get even more. He's proje- he's projected to get more of the black vote than with than with a uh, uh, Bush did the, the, in his second term, which broke a record for Republicans in the modern time or whatever, right? So he's projected to get like almost around like seventeen percent, like 17 percent of the black, vote, which would be nuts. Like that's that's like a landslide for him. That means he wins in a cold landslide. Understand that because Democrats need. Um, because they're tired in uh, Iowa, and Iowa always picks the president. So this like ninety five percent of the time, Iowa picks the president. Yeah, like so. So literally, literally, they need they need uh, eighteen out of out of twenty voters to vote Democrat for them to win. If seventeen out of twenty vote Democrat, they lose. This is this is well known. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's understand. That's they need ninety percent plus. Anything below ninety percent, they're done. Yep. So when and, Trump's and, projected, and we think that they're getting twelve percent. Yeah, that's Trump's 80. projected it ended from twelve to seventeen. Like so, so that's a bad, like that's a bad day for them already, right? So what they're trying to do is, is they're trying they're trying to ostracize any black per, like it's, it's any black man who votes for Trump is 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 he's now the enemy. You know what I'm saying? Even even if right. even even if your your uh, your 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 unemployment rate went down or if you were able to do business better in your city or etc before covid happened you know what i'm saying no nah, you, you you can't vote for trump in any way shape or form so just like with black lives matter you know what i'm saying you can be a trans female but you cannot be a black man you know what i'm saying like be like it like it's about being a black dude is about to be a cold thing after this election you know what i'm saying like man it's about to be like it's about to it's about to be a, a bad day for any black man who's trying to get money and build something you're about to become like a four-letter word, fam. Huh. That's terrible. <laughs> so, why it's important. A, a new byword, huh? Yeah. That's why it's important to have some of this stuff in place. And now that's why Ice Cube is trying to set it up now. And that's why, and look how they're already hitting like, oh, man, how dare you? Blah, 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 blah. You know what I'm saying? Like, man. Like, again, like, so... When the, when the big homies coming through with a bigger wad than you trying to spit game, you're like, nah, you don't know what you're talking about. Like, how, like who does that? Yep. Who who does that? You know what I'm saying? We're we're in a bad way. Like, <laughs> but again, we should we should expect this bad way. This bad way is baked into the cake. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm-mm. Yeah, man, sad, man. So I, I, I guess we gotta laugh to keep from crying. But uh, man, ain't hey, man, ain't that was just a, that roll, was up just the, a, roll up the sleeves, get the hands dirty, get to work. You know? Yeah, we don't laugh. We yeah. work. We grow our beard, put on our beanie, and go on CNN with a hoodie on. <laughs> you feel me? Mm-hmm. Like, and I'm, when the like, VP I'm candidate don't want to turn the phone call, you keep it moving. You know what I'm saying? You, you keep, keep it. Moving, it you keep it moving. You keep it moving. Like there's no. Oh my goodness! Crossbred animals. Y'all don't even want to see this. Hold on for a second. <laughs> Wife is stepping. Um. Hey, listen, bro. You can sit here and act like, like this is going to be business as usual. This is the one. This is the one where, and both of them, it's going to roll out stuff you ain't never seen before. Mm-hmm. Right? You, you, you about to see their goal to create the wealth gap. Right? And if you're not careful, you're going to get swept up in it. You have to get educated. You got to get active. And you gotta learn how to work with people. That's the only way we win now, is work with people. Work, you got a business idea, let's work with it. Now, I think the brother James Cassell has said something real interesting and I agree with him. We was on a source uh, last week, I think. And he was talking about how everybody gotta understand where like if, so he's saying for him, like he's worked his butt off to build his company. So he can't give you equity in his company. He can't give you a percentage of his company. He can partner with you. 
can help you get your company off the ground, right? Or you can partner with you and help you get some things going. And you got to make sure that you pay him back. So that way he can then take them funds and use it to help somebody else. Yeah. Right? That's our responsibility as a people. Have enough integrity now moving forward to when those that are trying to put you in a position to do better, you pay them back. You don't just run off on the plug. You pay them back. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Because by you doing that, by you not paying them back, you're hindering the next person getting out of their poverty situation. And the person who could, uh, and the person who contributed, yeah. right, yeah. right, because he's right. gonna have a bad taste and, and stop giving. I mean, stop, stop loaning, right, right, mm -hmm. right, right. So yeah, like to everybody, right. he's gonna say, "Oh, he spoiled it for everybody." Right. Yeah, I, I agree with that, and, and that that takes me to there's a section, I guess, in in Ice Cube's contract. Where he talks about black responsibility. Yep, I spoke let's, about let's it earlier. Look at yep. that. Let's, let's look, look at, at it. One hundred percent. Yep. Yep. And that's why I'm saying, like, when you go look at anybody else's plans, like this is he's head and shoulders above anything else. I want to write these young ladies a very stern letter. <laughs> hey, we, we, gotta, we gotta get to the point we gotta get to the point this is what we can expect them right we gotta get to the points where we don't give them a second thought mm -hmm. because every second every, yeah. every second that you're writing them a letter they, first of all they're not going to change their opinion all right but every second that you spend on energy like that right you're not spending helping people like you build you feel me right and we gotta we, 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 we gotta we gotta get better at not wasting our energy you know what i'm saying right. that's exa that's exactly why we are where we are is because we, we are masters masters at failing and mm -hmm. wasting our energy you know what i'm saying uh -huh. and being reactionary instead of, instead, of, instead of being proactive you know what i'm saying i agree with that but i do think that somebody on fox's production team need to have something happen you know what you do you just not watch it that that, right. that yeah. I mean, the, ratings, the ratings drop. There's something needs to happen because this was yeah. this was bad, fam. Like you this stop was... watching the ratings drop and 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 poof. Well, the problem was like, stopping watching won't, won't, won't stop won't drop the ratings though. Hmm? <laughs> the five if the uh, the five of us don't watch it anyway, so there is there will be no ratings drop. Now that's we the gotta, point. Uh, oh, hence, hence the question on that story. Up. What hence the question on that story is what will, will, will this work? Rupert, Wur Rupert Murdoch tries to do whatever, blah, blah, blah. Will it work? No, it ain't going to work, fam. Right. It's, it, that only helped uh, Q, in my opinion. Facts. Because he, he came out looking like a champion. Hey, when you're done looking at this, I want to check out that lending and the, the lending reform. I, I bet you part two will be extremely more apologetic. And they'll be willing to, to be on his side. Yeah, when you're done with this part, uh, not to catch it, but when you're done with this part, I want to touch. I want to see what's up with the lending and the federal uh, funding uh, concept because uh, I want to touch on something concerning the wealth gap before I jump off. The lending reform. Yeah, but you, you're going to read this. Uh, the black responsibility stuff first. Chronic poverty creates an atmosphere full of negativity, frustration, hopelessness, depression, alcoholism, drug abuse, crime, and violence. These are some of the of conditions that plague the black community, which is dealing with extreme generational poverty. As we begin to gain social and economic equality, it is our duty to clean up ourselves and our community. This contract is a two way street. As we gain social and economic equality, we must begin to dissolve any bitterness in our hearts for past wrongs. We must become better citizens who are more productive on all levels of American society. We really must set up, step up after we pass the contract with Black America with no more excuses left in the kitty. Our entertainers should be persuaded to deliver more positive content that leads our youth to make better choices in life. A new pride must develop with these new opportunities and we must fight against negativity, frustration, hopelessness, depression, alcoholism, drug abuse, crime, and violence. Phew, that's a mouthful of truth. What do you want to talk about here? 
Yeah, no, I just wanted to bring bring out that he's absolutely correct. And I think that even having even even having this in his contract, making a statement that says, hey, look, this is a two way street. Not saying, hey, we leaving everything to. You know, to 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 the to politics, to the politicians, we're not leaving everything to folks to try to you know, completely fix our wrongs that we're not looking at. This is not asking for a handout, right? And it goes back into what Anonymous was talking about and how we deal with each other in business. Yeah, you know? self-accountability is is strong in the smart community. Yeah. But we also understand that a lot of our self-accountability is hindered by systemic oppression. Correct. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um you know, and so a lot of this we see, you know, and, and a lot of this stuff we see, man. Um, you know, uh, I'm not one that I don't I don't believe in a narrative of, of of black on black crime. I believe crime is just like among every races has to do with uh, uh, proximity and opportunity. Um, you know, the you know, how close, you know, how close people live, you know, to each other, you know, or, or occupy the same space. Um you know, you know, majority of white folks live around majority of white folks. Majority of black folks live around majority of black folks. So your your assailant, your your assailants, or for those who commit crimes, are more like uh, against, you know, against you. Is more likely someone of your same race, or you know, or, or or color, or you know, or your neighbor. It's a lot of policy mm-hmm. involved too, though. When you got people who are trying to make permanent hoods or whatnot, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> exactly. So, 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 check, so check this out. They're, they're not saying that, like there's there's no middle class hoods. You feel me? Like they don't make like permanent middle class hoods. So, like people like so when Joe Biden the other day is going somewhere talking about like yeah, you know, like if if someone in a fine neighborhood like this talk, he was talking about the dis- the the, the, disparity, yep. the disparity between crack and cocaine, right? And he was Man, like, yeah. did you see that, bro? That and he crazy. he was like, yeah, if somebody in a fine neighborhood like this were happening to sniff a line of uh, cocaine, it's not the same as if someone were to do crack. Bro. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, like he he's saying stuff like that because he's mm-hmm. making permanent. Yeah, he, said, he, said, else. he said, forty seven years ago was else, a mistake. Right? He said the the crime bill was a mistake. What a mistake! Yeah. Oh, we got to yeah. pay for our mistakes. Right. But check this out to Yara's point, right? Like, so, so again, like, so, so if, if you go to the poor, like the, the, the poor white areas of the low income neighborhoods, right. And, and, and compare their crime to, 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 to black on black crime, whatever, right. The numbers are, are way more comparable to, to, to when, uh, if, if, if you compare anybody's numbers from a, from a low income neighborhood in, uh, in any suburb or whatnot. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. And then another thing he said, and that's just and then we can get to where uh, more wanted to talk about in regards to the lending. But another thing Biden really struck me in, in in that debate was that he was simply saying, you know, we 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 made this massive push, you know, that we don't believe, uh, you know, we made a mistake in the '80s by sending, you know, uh, uh, drug dealers and users, uh, not just drug dealers but users, you know, to prison serve still serving uh, more, still African-Americans serving more time for uh, drug, of, you know, small, small drug offenses and trafficking and using than a white counterpart. Didn't talk about that. But still, the fact that, you know, he said he made him, a, they made a mistake. You know, they made a mistake uh, by sending low-level, you know, uh, drug offenders to jail, mostly users, sending them to jail, doing time, destroying their families, but now all of a sudden, you know, we made a mistake. So now this is a big change for us to, you know, we have, they need rehab. They need rehab. Well, we know that has absolutely nothing to do with the black community. Why are you opposing that narrative? The issue is now that you have this big swing and this big change for having uh, a, a rehab, you know, a rehabilitation drug rehab for those who are, who are, are, are drug offenders, because now, white communities are face, still faced with the opioid crisis. And so now that opioids is, is, is illegal and you have these white folks, these nice white suburban, you know, moms and pops and these folks, and, you know, the sons and daughters are strung out on opioids, right? Now, instead of sitting in the jail, now you want to rehab. You know, they need help. They're sick. It's a disease. You see what I'm saying? Uh-huh. And so... It's these types of narratives, like we have to, 
like our people aren't educated enough to hear. You know what I'm saying? And so Biden made, you know, he made a quip about something um, Trump had said about, you know, you have a, you know, you have a dog whistle as big as a horn. Well, bro, like, like, you the dog whistle you, right? The dog whistle you blowing like we, like sometimes our people don't, we don't hear it. We don't, you know what I'm saying? We don't hear mm-hmm. it because what they believe and Democrats simply believe is all we have to do is is throw them a treat. Throw them a Scooby snack and they'll shut up. You know, give them fifty more. Give them and, 50 more. And, and, and we feel like they have our best interests at heart, so we don't have to watch uh, C-SPAN. We don't have to get involved Man. with politics at all. Man. So now the problem is for me. Need the party. I s- actually witnessed an atomic bomb land on my neighborhood, where mm-hmm. hundred and fifty, two hundred people was arrested. And within the same week, yeah. and they all disappeared uh, based on these minor crimes, minor uh, drug offenses. Mm-hmm. And then uh, where is everybody at? And then, you know, there was the ones looking out for everybody. You understand? Mm-hmm. There was the ones uh, putting the money where it needed to be in the neighborhood. You see? But you took all of them away but context is king. Right. Who the fuck put the drugs there in the first place? <laughs> right. Right. For people to beat your uh, your attempt to make us all addicts and, and kill each other and die, which which is which was partially successful, but you tried to genocide us, <laughs> and you failed miserably. So. Whenever I see this happen, all it does is anger me and I uh, want to fight against you. However, there's a, a protocol that is uh, laid out by the scriptures that tells us how to fight and reserve vengeance for God. Allow him to kill these people and bring death justice to these people. So it's not our duty to do that. And we fight diplomatically and within the system that the Most High put in place that you guys have hijacked. Yeah, it's it's definitely systematic. Definitely systematic. Um, racism that we see, and so, um, you know, I just wanted us to touch on that a little bit. Uh, and if, if more wants still wants to get into that landing, I definitely want to hear that. You already on it. Hey, so yeah, go ahead. Just quick question. I just got a quick question. What is the critique of the ladies on this show? Because I'm watching it right now, so I want to make sure. Because I'm about ten minutes into it. Okay, they 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 have two critiques. The word woman is not in your plan. Women are not in your plan, which I just clearly showed. And you, you are sure. endorsing Trump. <laughs> yeah. and, and so cause from the looks of things, it's only going to be two people that's really going to be saying that. It looked like it's going to be Claudia Jordan and Vivica. It looked like those are two people who <laughs> seem to have the most static. Now, and I ain't even, I'm, I'm only 10 minutes in. <laughs> And I can tell already who gonna have the biggest stack. And don't yeah. get me started on Claudia Jordan. So that's yeah. a whole topic. Um, yeah. Cause you know, uh, I got a black wife who know all of this thing, and I know about these women. So, um, <laughs> oh, oh, she watches Queen uh, cocktails. No, nah, not the Queen. She which just, ain't nothing you know, but a stolen, stolen remix of sip it, a sip, sister sit down. No, nah, not the show. I just know these women from reality TV. You know what I'm saying? Like me and my wife yeah. went back and forth about reality TV for the last six yeah, years. Yeah, I saw that she was the reality, the reality TV chick from uh, like right. The, the and so Atlanta. Whatever. Which right. one was she on? She was on one of them Housewives shows. Yeah, yeah, okay. one of them. Right? Oh no, and and then since been divorced. No, nah, she wasn't even the, married on the show at the time. Like this a whole. She's Why a friend of you like, on the house. Because oh. you know, bro, that's how the, that's how it works. Oh, so, oh the friend of of a housewife. Yeah, like they doing all of this. So, but 
If, when I'm and looking trying at to undermine her friend's marriage, the whole show. It, it's a whole lot that go into that. I'm not gonna put that on her. <laughs> okay, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. It's a go lot. Ahead. It's a lot. So, but what I'm saying is, obviously, it's gonna be these two. So as I watch, then I'm a, I'm gonna hear them because Claudia Jordan opening up already. Her and Vivica talking about it. it's not fair to say that we had seven thousand people and they ain't done nothing. He said I didn't say that. Right I said they ain't the closed the wealth gap. You just shut That's Lisa Ray down and she stayed quiet. No, Lisa Ray time. was with him though. Lisa Ray was with him off rip. She said I didn't know. She said I'm I'm glad that you came on here to educate me because I didn't know. Right. And then Selena Johnson, I'm just now getting to her. She's saying ain't nobody canceling Ice Cube. That's stupid, right? But in between that, you got. Yeah, you got Claudia Jordan and Vivica Fox primping, primping her little blazer, feeling some type of way already, talking about, I disagree with the 7,000 people, but his point is correct. We've had all these elected officials since the 60s, and ain't nobody closed the wealth gap. Nobody. Claude Anderson uh, even was talking about how he wasn't able to do it because he couldn't get people on board. He said he was the only person right, and my in point position. during the conversation is that they don't want it closed. They don't want it closed because they had to do particular things that that bring their self esteem very low, right? They had to do certain things to get to their level and they had to work hard of course, but then they had to compromise themselves multiple times to get to a particular level. You understand? So right. I'm gonna uh, keep watching uh, while we they don't want up. they don't want regular people to get get there easily. They don't want right. the doors to be opened. And, and then the, here's the last thing I want to point out. Notice now, when he's doing this, he goes from being a philanthropist, he's a director, he's an actor. Now he's just a rapper slash activist. Mm -hmm. That's what they got his title ass on here. Yeah. See? See? We're talking about Q, fam. We're talking about he's an entrepreneur. He's an entrepreneur. He's a philanthropist. He's an actor. He's a director. And a all you give him is a movie right. creator, a, sex, a successful, I believe he wrote a couple of scripts too. Right. Uh, 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 he's been in the uh, conscious community his entire life, uh, banging he's against rapper slash activist. That's it. Popular. That's all you give him. You this. need to call him a uh, freedom of. Uh, uh, a freedom success. Oh, you can leader. you can at least give him give him every you can at least give him director actor. Right, his actor, actual accolades. Yeah. Right. Yeah. At least just give him that. So I'm gonna keep watching. If we get off before then, you know what I'm saying, I'll do a round two of this. I'm I'm a little heated. So I'm, but I wanna see because I can tell already who's gonna be doing it. So y'all keep going. Go ahead, uh more. Yeah, so in terms of this wealth cap, right, um, we need to understand that we've just lived through the biggest wealth transfer in the history of the world, right, in the sense to where the the haves are making moves against the have-nots in a sense, in a sense to where they understand that they, they themselves have a, have a monetary projection for the year 2050 about money changing hands in the sense to where the, the 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 monetary powers are, are in the Western world right now, and by 2050 they understand that, and this is from their projections from their from their World Banks and IMFs and all that type of stuff, that the money is going to change hands to the to the what they call the developing nations, i.e. the brown countries. Um, and so, it, during events like COVID, where there's a 0.5% kill kill rate on on on, on this joint, i.e. like the flu technically still takes out more people than COVID. Um, and they're shutting stuff down to the point that they're doing it. Um, the first thing I started looking at was like, okay, what's going on with the Fed? What's going on with legislation? What, what's going on? What's going on with money right now? Right. And so I noticed that in the last 13 months alone, um, nine trillion dollars has been printed and injected into the into the economy. And the Fed expanded its balance sheet to seven trillion dollars. What does that mean? Who got the money, right? So the money is able to get loaned out to certain people who have a, a direct line to the Fed. Who is that? Not you and not me, right? Only if very few people got this, this direct line to the Fed, right? So during this crisis, 
while 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 the Congress signed off on all this money going out to to, to be loaned out to certain people, we're talking at like damn near no interest. We're talking like free money, basically, right? To the people who are getting it, right? At this juncture, um, you're you're seeing. Like just like there was a housing crisis in in 2008, there's there's a, there's a com- there's going to be a commercial real estate crisis like you have never seen. I'm talking about like all the commercial spots around you shutting down. Like we we saw we saw uh, manufacturing leave this company. We're about the country. We're about to see service jobs, service jobs shut down in this country. To the points where like it's over, and to the points where like again, like I said, uh, there, there's going to be a commercial housing crisis. So when that hits, um, the people uh, who got all this money from the Fed, they get to come in and they get to buy all this this commercial real estate now. You know what I'm saying? And so what that does is that consolidates the wealth. So the wealth gap just got way bigger already. It's baked into the cake. You know what I'm saying? So the question is what, so in understanding and understanding what's about to happen, right? So there's about to be a, a run on, on commercial on commercial real estate. There's about to be um, a very high amount of of, of 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 unemployment for a long time. There's about to be, um, like I said, lo- there's no manufacturing in this country. And so now there's going to be even less service jobs and whatnot, right? So that means that Detroit and Chicago are coming to a city near you. That means your cities are going to start looking like Detroit and Chicago real soon. Real soon. And there's going to be there's going to be uh, uh, no money to help the cities and the states out like that. You feel what I'm saying? All that money has been printed and used up to to to, to give out to people who already got money, so they can go out and buy all the stuff that we're losing right now. All the stuff that we can't afford right now. All the stuff people are 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 are, are, are losing right now. The rich people are are buying up left, right, and center. The ones who want the ones who got direct access to, to this to this Fed money, to this 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 uh. Again, nine trillion dire- dire- directly injected into the into the into the uh, the economy, and then and then the balance sheet extended to seven trillion. That's crazy. Again, once that money gets spent, that creates the hyperinflation that 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 uh, anonymous was talking about, right? So so again, they 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 what what they've done is they've definitely like people like the Joe Bidens and them all that type of stuff. It don't matter who wins on either side, right? But the people like the Joe Bidens are definitely trying to solidify the distance in that gap and also um, strengthening the divide in the gap. Strengthening the divide. So they're going to hit you with debt from all sides and they're going to get paid from all the debt on all sides. So so literally, like this is what I try to tell people, the only thing that can combat what's going to happen is people trying to is, is people sticking to them scrolls. You know what I'm saying? Like them Joseph type type demonstrations, them, them Daniel type demonstrations to where, to where we build and we insulate and we do certain things to where we prep for them for them seven years of famine and whatnot, because they are definitely about to come. Definitely about to come. It might not be on some like food store. I don't know what it's gonna look like, right? But I can tell you, I can tell you this, it's about to get real crazy. And 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 the banking industry is about to get real nuts. Money's about to get real crazy. And just to remind everybody, this is all by design. Okay. You know they got people real, real quick, not, not to cut you. You know they got people talking about we need to redo the Brenton Woods agreement that just started coming out. Do you wow. know what that, that that means the the the, the, lo- the dollar losing its reserve currency status, right? Like they just had people talking about the bankers talking about this. We need to redo the Brenton Woods agreement. I was like, oh snap. <laughs> like this is what we topple countries for when they talk when they talk about like oh uh, we want to price oil in something other than dollar like okay yeah we could we come and send the troops in you know what i'm saying but now we got the western countries saying nah the dollar's not so good anymore we got nato allies saying that do you man and at the end of the day like like so all the economists will tell you, like, so when Rome became the primary buyer of its own debt, that's when it was it was guaranteed to fall. And we started doing that underneath Obama. Yeah. We became the primary buyers of our own long-term debt underneath Obama. Nobody buys our long-term bonds anymore. Nobody buys our long. Like, they all buy the short term. So, 
<laughs> and fact. at this juncture, we're buying the long and the short. <laughs> That's a fact. Yep. And not to sound like a Trump supporter, but that's one of the things that he he, he campaigned on. He was like, it, that's, it's, it's just bad economic business for this country. Right. Like, you know, people don't understand. And it was, oh, he's, he's uh, his, uh, his, uh, uh, um, uh, his, his economic policies is bad in regards to uh, foreign relations. It's horrible. You know, he, he wants to shut off China and he wants to, he, he wants to do, because he understood, like, why would you continue to do business that way? Yeah. Like, but here, here's, here's real quick. I, I, I want to say this before I, before I forget. And I'll, I'll let you go on. Go ahead. Go ahead. The last, last point I wanted to make is in the midst of all this stuff, right? That's about to pop off. Like we don't have the luxury to argue over the nonsense we're arguing over. That's mm-hmm. what I'm talking about. Like, like I don't, I don't really care about what these four ladies are saying on TV, right? They're supposed, mm-hmm. they're supposed to be saying status quo, status quo, status quo. Mm-hmm. Like we're. We're supposed to be hearing all that and, and recognize, okay, we we have to keep our head down and prep for this, prep for this, <laughs> the, the, these years of famine, these years of famine, these years of like, and and not only that, recognize our job is to practice loving each other right now and like and like bearing the hatchet on any small differences we got because they really don't matter. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, do do you do you believe in the Old Testament? Do you believe in the New Testament? Do you believe that there's a hell? Do you believe there's a rapture? Do you believe there's not like, hey, check this out. You know what? Like. We don't got time what for what you want. Yeah, believe all whatever. We you don't got time about, okay, for all that, fam. Yeah, yeah. Because they literally, they, they the the dom the dominoes are already dropping behind the scenes. When when they've already they, when they've already injected that money in into the into the economy, okay, the dominoes are falling. Yeah. When that money gets spent, the inflation hits. Period. Period. What they what they're spending it on is are is already baked into the cake. You know what I'm saying? They're buying everything we can't. They're 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 uh, consolidating all their wealth that they can't. So we can't touch it. You know what I'm saying? So we can't touch it. So we don't we don't got time for these 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 little oh. minute arguments over over nonsense. If people want if people want to be knuckleheads, you know what I'm saying, and burn Bibles and do whatever. I say, hey, you know what? More power to you. Let the dead bury the, the dead. dead. We ain't got time for that. You feel me? Uh-huh. Oh, I'm 19 minutes in. These chicks got to go. Y'all hold it up for a minute. <laughs> Y'all, where, where you want me to land at right quick while I go uh, handle something? Ooh. Right quick. Uh, <laughs> where, can I, where can I land at? <laughs> I don't, I, uh, <laughs> Where we at, Phil? No, matter of fact, if y'all need to share your screen, somebody else can share it. Yeah, no, it is time to let the dead bury the dead, boy. You're right. Uh, whoever gave them the text for this, uh, they wicked. And they wicked for taking these texts. It's clear that this was an agenda, right? First, you coming on there trying to make him defend Trump. This dude is not on there defending nobody. He clearly showing you. I'm I'm talking to both sides. I want to know who's gonna do the best thing for black people. I don't care who it is. That's what he's telling you. I don't care less who it is. Who is gonna do the best thing for black people? That's what he's having a conversation conversation about. Right. And understand he's having a conversation on a network that he airs his three on three basketball joint on. Facts. Facts. <laughs> So then he comes out. So, so then he said, "I ain't here. I ain't on here to say whether he's a good white man or a bad white man. To me, they all the same." No, no, I disagree with that. Hey, old girl with the Italian mom jumped in hella quick. She's like, "Wait a minute, hold on." You know what I'm saying? I hold like, on, I disagree with that. And, wait, and so then he got to come back and clear it up and say, "Well, hold on." And he, what he's really saying is, in terms of white men who've been in power, they all do the same thing to us. Yeah. And if they don't, then you kill them. Then they kill them. You know, they smack JMK. So, so like, at what point do we say they they paid him, bro? Because the first thing out of this woman's you mouth is- the moment I, you turn on the TV. I, I, looked, I looked at this plan and I don't say anything for black women. And the first thing out of his mouth is, so black families don't include black women. No, that's like, and this is the silliest statement. 
to say that that's like saying minority, that's comparing minorities and then all black people. No, what are you talking about? We're talking about black families specifically. That's not the same as including homosexuals and everybody else in minority. We're talking about black family. Mm-hmm. Yo, that's why Lisa Ray was making this thing face the whole interview, bro. Like, what is y'all doing? Right. The whole interview, bro. I can't watch it. I can't watch the last 11 minutes. I'm going to yell at Claudia Jordan. I'm going to go, yo, 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 this is, yo. Listen, fam. <laughs> Yeah, man. Hey, that's wild, bro. That's all I'm saying. That's that's extremely wild. This is just hey, this, we talking about just why, major disrespect at this point. Hey, that's why I said I rock with the Haiti strategy. You understand what I'm saying to you? Like, I like I. It it is what it is, bro. It is what it is. The line is there. Like you know, what I'm saying. Like we're, this is what I'm saying. We shouldn't expect anything else if we don't own the station, right? If we don't own the satellites, we don't. Own, okay, it's it's all a propaganda game. Cool. And it's all a propaganda game to keep to keep the people who have the, uh, uh, with their stuff and the, and to keep the people without stuff without having anything. You know what I'm saying? So, because I'll be honest, like I was listening, hoping to be able to come back and be like, "Man, y'all went too hard on the sisters." Nah, you these and I'm and I still got 11 minutes left, and I got enough to go in. Oh wait, it gets worse, bro. No, it gets I know. Worse. I ain't even. I can't. I can't. Hey, I, I figured that. I see Claudia Jordan piping up, and when I see that, I know what it is. Um. Hey fam, this is wicked. When you look at what he is, when you look at what he is proposing, to put four black women of influence up there against him like that, when you look at what he's promote, promoting, you wicked. You got him on there trying to defend dealing with Trump. Well, no, why you ain't up? Who, what else he supposed to do? What else he supposed to do, bro? Mm-hmm. He's sitting here saying, look, I put this thing together and said I was hoping that the Democrats was going to jump all over it because originally his whole purpose is to say, let's do this through the private sector, which I agree with. I agree that we should be looking at doing this through the private sector because these people are not going to do what we need to do. We need to, we need to unify um, nonprofit organizations with for-profit organizations and get out here and fix our community because ain't nobody else gonna do it for us. But of course, you would like to have the government help. So that's why he said he was hoping that the Democrats would jump all over it. And then they trying to take this and make this about him supporting his boy Trump when he ain't even cool with Trump. Right. I can't, I gotta take a quick walk. But this is why I say we gotta expect this, right? Like, so for instance, like, so let's say, okay, you, you let's say you watch uh, you watch Fox News, you watch MSNBC, you watch CNN, whatever, right? Okay, every anchor you see on that show, on those shows, all are under the same talent agency. Hmm. All of them. All of them. So, so people who get on shows like this, right? They're 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 part of, they're parts of certain certain uh, agencies that like so like so uh, that that fox channel will only hire from certain agencies you know what i'm saying they won't just they won't just take from anybody like no 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 they they take certain agencies only right so in order in order in order for them girls to get to get uh and any black girl whatever you see on on that on that show is going to come from a certain agency right you know what i'm saying so like if if uh 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 for instance right like i swear like if y'all, if y'all want to find, if you wonder why it's funny, like, okay, why is it like every show, like on CNN and MSNBC, like all the black dudes are gay now, right? They, they all, again, all that's coming from an agency. You know and I'm saying like, there's certain, there's certain, certain things that get you to the top of these agencies that they're looking for certain things, right? They're, they're trying to market certain things to, to the people, to the people on TV. They, they know what these people on TV want. You know what I'm saying? So like, they're not going to get anybody coming through that farm system that's going to co-sign anything Ice Cube's gonna say because Cube didn't come up through that farm system. He's making deals with their bosses. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, so like I said, unless we own all this stuff from 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 top to bottom, which we don't, we, like you know what I'm saying, we shouldn't be surprised. You know what I'm saying? We should we should expect this every time we turn on the TV. It's prop like we should expect it. Like okay, this is all propaganda against us. 
having our 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 share of what's of, of right. what's we have. You know what I'm saying? I hear you, but I wasn't ready. I wasn't I wasn't ready for for uh, especially these women. Like, yeah, I guess uh, I get it. I get it, but hey, that's wild to me. Yo, who laid down Malcolm, fam? Yeah, I know, bro. <laughs> it was people looking just like him talking about get your hands out of my pockets, you feel me? And even deal with that, then the government come back and pay his family because they knew they did him wrong. That's a whole other conversation. Yeah, look, yeah, but you also got people like the NY who were who were like like if if we took him out, so what if we took him out? You know what I'm saying? Blah right. blah, blah 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 like man. Right. Oh, I was talking about Martin they, they gave the money to. So yeah, you're right. Who is Blood of King? guys doing man you guys all right you alert all right is that alert, man. who is this huh? no i'm david no i'm i'm always on here with claim man yeah hey so i'm just curious uh so do you guys do you guys think that blacks should have uh their own party Yo, who is Blood of King? Yo, I, I'm David, man. Somebody claims on me. Can y'all hear me? Yeah, Anyone? I can hear you. Yeah, I'm, 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 yeah, I'm cool, man. Yeah, he, he's on here before. I heard him on here before with Claim. Oh. I don't know what Claim is right now, but I've heard him on here before with Claim. Yeah, it's, it's fucking cool, man. I'm not a spy. I don't work for the government or nothing. Yeah. I just want to, <laughs> I just want a fucking dialogue, man. Yeah, so for me, I, I'm I'm of the position like like party doesn't even matter. Like like you should uh, if there's levers of power, you should you should try to put your hands on all of them. You know what I'm saying? So, so, so you said that. So you think that blacks have access to uh to power? So I'm saying like so if you're going to operate politically, trying to operate in one political party doesn't make political sense. So if there if there's if there's multiple levers of power. You should try to put your hands on as many levers as possible. So, for instance, um, uh, I, I'm of, I'm of the position like so. If you're going to participate politically, like a, you, sh you should be like a political independent and make people earn your votes or whatnot, right? Um, and, and and or uh, bring in people who who have your agenda in mind. You know what I'm saying? But in terms of like like erecting just one party, like you can all you can always counteract one party. You know what I'm saying? And people who like how people, so. Hold on, real quick. Let me say this real quick. Like, so people who uh, who have like smaller numbers than than so-called black people who operate in multiple parties, like for instance, like the Jews or whatnot, right? They don't operate in just like the Democratic Party, just the Re Republican Party. They operate in both to the point to where like um, they can sway an election whenever they want to. So I I imagine. Well, you're a wild boy, blood of kings. You you a wild imagine, boy. <laughs> hold, on, hold, on, hold, on, hold on, hey Clay, hi man, how's it going? Hey, I imagine that. Uh, that uh, hey, who the people, this, the people that live inside of uh, that lived in uh, uh, Black Wall Street, I, oh, I imagine oh, that they had. Quick, hold on, real quick, not not to cut you real quick. Like, so if if uh, if, if, if if claim goes to the you real quick, anonymous is gonna have a <laughs> is, is gonna have. A, <laughs> well, well, claim let me in here, dude. Claim is the one that let me back here. What are you talking about? I'm, I'm with it. I'm just, I'm just trying to. I just, did, I just didn't I'm pop not on talking the panel. to you. I'm asking Claim, who are you? You can relax or I can go off. Of you. I was, yeah, I was trying to keep this. Well, you guys could have let me finish seconds. stating before you clarified who I was. Hey, I mean, I'm here. I was on the panel. Yeah. I'm, I'm already boy. partying, and it's like, this is yeah. the music. Hey, blood, say, this who is this guy? Blood, this will take 10 seconds, real quick. Like, I'm not trying to cut you Yeah, he's cool. He's cool. All right. All right. Proceed, brother, man. Fuck it now, man. I don't even remember. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what you were going to do, you, you were going to respond to what I was saying about participating in multiple uh, multiple situations versus just one. No, I wasn't. I'm okay. done, man. I don't even fucking, I said, don't interrupt. Don't interrupt, man. That's rude, man. Go ahead, man. I'll, 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 I'll jump on when you guys find something else, man. But I had it. I had He's it. Soft. Here, yeah, you got you to gotta, you gotta help him. He's soft. He's a little soft. Hey, look, bro. There's nothing personal, right? Um, there, There's a lot going on, especially towards me. So I'm making sure I know what's going on. I asked Claim a question. I wasn't trying to be disrespectful to you. I apologize if you feel disrespectful. 
claim say you cool you cool i would love for you to continue the dialogue uh continue to stay on and and conversate so that's my apology to you. I hope that's good enough. If not, I don't know. No, what it's to tell it's you, cool, man. Anon. I, I I I fucking I I fucking get it, but I just don't remember now. It's all it's all fucked up now. It's all it's nothing against you. I'm just saying, like everyone doesn't have the capacity to to remember a whole fucking paragraph in one. <laughs> that's true, brother. That is I very already, true. I already like it. <laughs> it's very true. Well, how the hell do you know a unity's uh, real name, brother? I'm a fan of Solar Vision. You there you gave you me your there fucking you, you you put your thing up and I join every since. It's been like five months, man. Come on, dude. It's cool, bro. It's cool. Your voice sounds never mind. It's cool, bro. Hey. Hold on, wait a minute. My voice sounds what, man? Like now you're gonna assault me? No, I mean assault you. Your voice sounds like you're angry, you're agitated, and I'm yeah, trying to tell you what's cool, the bro. conversation. <laughs> Let's do it like this. Hey, look, hey, hey, look, I am I'm the Orthodox hey, Mormon. Hey, 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 pleasure to meet you, brother, man. How you doing? Good, good to meet you, man. Uh, it, it's good. Now, Give me a little background about who you are, brother, other than you've been hanging out with me. Dude, I've been... Uh, I, I, well, yeah, I've been hanging out with you guys, and I, I, I everything... Some, some, every time some debate come up, I go inside and I look at your references and I see that you guys are actually doing some fucking studying. Um, you know, my girl comes over and I put it on, it's a bunch of black guys on TV. She's like, what the fuck, right? Cause she's black, but she's not black, right? <laughs> and she's like trying to get it in and I'm trying to learn and fuck and it's like not, it doesn't go hand in hand, trust me. But uh, other than that, man, I got like over oh. 500 books. <laughs> Um, and I inherited a whole library from uh, That's what's any, from 1800s, uh, 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 well, wow. uh, 1700s, a whole library. Um, I have a, actually, I have a U. Don't this sound like that goofy dude, Lance, man, trying to disguise his voice? Hey, now, Lance is cool, dude, but that's not me. That guy see, right there is the see, smartest that, guy see, in see, fucking see, solar see, division. That is see, Lance. See, I see. knew it was somebody. That's Lance. <laughs> I knew it was. I knew it. That's yeah. the coolest guy. That's the coolest guy. Now he's just killing himself, right? <laughs> this is the reason. And I heard him when he came on. I just wanted him to stay on here. Because I know when the clown being a clown, but you know, that's understand, man. Like, oh, you're, man. You're, you're a boy among men. I mean, you yeah. struck him alone for a long time. You should have just uh, kept it going, bro. Long, just, no, we just wanted to hear. Shoot I've been yourself. in the lab, fam. So I don't, you know what I'm saying? Like, you I don't know. Kept that. You should have stayed undercover the whole rest of the show. Yeah. He wouldn't have nah, been able to get for it. Was good, it was yeah, when he came on out. the first time, I was like, oh, who is this? Is this the infamous lane? The one I've heard so much about? This is the infamous lane? Hey, yeah. you know what? I, I ain't gonna this lie. I want to start a slap box. I want to yeah. start a slap box with you and Lance right now, but I'm not like, ooh, I want to get into the McGrevy. Into oh, I want to get. You're the stale topic, man. unless unless yeah, y'all want to start a new a new show. No, no, I, I actually no, was no, listening, no, y'all. I fell asleep, woke up, and came back, man. Like the shit is dope today. I like the show. Uh, Clint did a good job. You guys had good dialogue, and he wasn't just talking. Um, but I, I do got a question. Uh. Who did that? Y'all sure he hate when I can when I'm white, I can fucking say what the fuck I want to, talk as long as I want. But now I'm black and it's an issue. <laughs> what the fuck? Clank is a psycho. You see how they treat their people, bro? You see how they you see how they treat their people, DJ? The whole time, nigga, they laid the carpet out for me. Let me they was peaceful with me. They found out his lands and now it's like I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. I was gonna roast you because I thought you was a white boy. I'm being honest with you. I was gonna roast you because I, I was waiting on I was waiting on you, bro. Yeah. I was waiting yeah, on I you. Was gonna, I was gonna roast you. But you see how that 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 old motherfucking mulatto ass y'all sharp y'all rough man. You see how he did? How he just switched up and shit. Uh, <laughs> you know, so why are more people's got the smoke for you, Lance? Like, well, why is it that, like you know what I'm saying? Like, say stuff like what he said just now. Because motherfuckers don't like the smart guy. When you've you been walking the earth thinking you the smart guy, and then a motherfucker fly up on your ass, and you've been in a fucking chariot. And this nigga just fly up on you, and you no longer the smart guy. That's fucked up. He's head. He's light years ahead of you. See, the uh, fact that he thinks he's a smart guy is the problem. 
<laughs> I actually, I know I, I didn't know I was a smart guy until I came and fucking with y'all. I thought no, no, y'all no, knew no, everything no. that See I knew. You know what I'm saying? You, you still think you're the smart guy. Slap it up. Oh. Slap it up. It's about to oh. go down. So, you know. Oh, man. Oh, so what, that what, what, what party? What party are you okay, we can we can change the topic. I think we went in thoroughly on the ladies and gave a thorough, honest, uh, very soft critique. And uh, we could we could change the topic to whatever y'all want to talk oh, about. Hold on, yeah, hey, I, real, real. I wanted to ask y'all right quick: who was which which was the uh, which lady was on Ice Cube side? Basically, Ray, Ray. Ray. Selena, uh, what's Selena, Selena, last Kina, name? Selena yeah, Johnson, yeah. Selena, Selena yeah. kind of was, yeah. yeah, she was, you could tell she was torn, but really the only person that was really winning was Lisa Ray. Um, all three of them, uh, Vivica, uh, what's Claudia and Selena all went at him about the word woman not being in there. And to me, that was just the, the most dumbest shit. Now nah, you see, I did see Lisa Ray face now. Nah. She yeah. was looking disgusted, like yeah. what they facing the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> like what the fuck? Yeah, and look, yeah. she tried to lead the discussion and set the tone for the discussion. Oh, right, right, right. Right, right. Yeah, right. Hell no, we're not supporting I'm a, this Yeah, nigga. I'm gonna tell you what was funny about that. You could tell that they had this conversation in private, and Lisa Ray was on Cube's side, right? Oh, and right. I'm gonna tell you how you could tell because as soon as she opened up. Vivica Fox start popping that ugly ass blazer, having a problem with what she was saying, and I'm sitting there looking like, oh. "Yo, we are." Oh. I, I knew Vivica was gonna be against it. I knew Claudia was gonna stir the pot. The wild card for me was was Selena. Mm-hmm. Bro, it's gonna take a regular nigga. It's gonna take. Hey, I said the same nigga, shit, man. It ain't gonna take yep. nobody in politics. I said I said the same shit when it popped when it started up. That you can you can tell they had a previous conversation like yep. in the back chat or something. Yeah, you know what yep. I'm saying because they was already they already had a preconceived notion about what yep. he didn't say. You know what I'm saying? All so right. and then the girl Lisa Ray even said that's why you got to do your homework. No, nah, that's why you shouldn't right. say what y'all was just talking about. You know what I'm but saying? But Lisa Ray was saying she didn't know. I'm gonna give her a pass because she was saying I didn't know. She was saying yeah, yeah. I'm being educated. after the, after yeah. the fact, but she put she posed yeah. it first like it was a, like it was a truth. That you conclusion. From, You're right. Yeah, You're right. Like you just jump into the conclusion. You ain't even really listen to it. So all of them have. But see, you know what I do notice about them? Did they too? even read his proposal? No, those chick, not, no. no those chick, you can uh, tell those they did. <laughs> They're kind of looking for a good They didn't life. mention one point in his proposal. Nah, the whole night. one, bro. Right. Them are looking for a good man, chicken. When they see one right in front of them, they toot, they they turn their nose up and not lit, not hear them out. Hey, don't you know don't fucking women fall up under black people like bro, didn't, he didn't he didn't exactly specify like that, what Cube bro. Said. That's exactly what Cube said. And all and the only person that didn't push back on that was Lisa Ray. The three of them like no, no. That's like saying minority. No, it's not. Bro. Nah, no, hell, it ain't not. like saying no damn oh, minority when you say yeah, black. That's women. the stupidest shit. But do y'all think the Messiah gonna be a nigga that that? Well, I'm I, my position on the Messiah is not a, a, a glorious Jesus coming out of the sky. I'm sorry, fellas. My How position is that he come from Messiah? amongst us. The position because he he's hitting amongst us. That's what they killing niggas for like that. I think the Messiah is amongst us, and he's going I to think emerge. You'd be surprised to find out that the majority of the panel might kind of agree with you. So you know. You, Oh, my bad, my bad. I thought niggas <laughs> about the Messiah coming out the sky. Yeah, you just went from one stream to the next. Yeah, you, you, no, no, it's not. Get, it's it's the same, because I mean, by saying the, the the Messiah would be a regular nigga, he's not going to be no political power that he's going to establish a political power, but I think he's going to be down with the ground on the ground level with the people to get to so we can start loving him again. And that's what Yeshua was. Yeshua, when you deal with Yeshua, when he comes, he's a regular... If you really understand, that's why they call him Yeshua Hot Natsuri, right? Yeshua the Nazarite. He's just a regular dude that came and was trying to get people back to a certain belief system. Not mm-hmm. not this not what we've been fed. Not you know, not the stuff that we've been fed. So I mean, we don't necessarily disagree with that. I wanna know, so are you saying that Ice Cube is a form of a messiah? No, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying now. that we can't just discredit the regular guy that's standing up for us because it might be the Messiah one day that mm. does the exact same thing, a regular nigga that just come out with some great ideas and, and have all of the fucking answers out of the blue. He, how do the fuck he got all of the answers? He's going to be heard. He's going to. Man, a lot of that shit boiled down to a motherfucker mad they didn't come over. 
That whole no, conversation. Why we ain't know about yeah. it? Because y'all don't follow Ice Cube. Yeah. If y'all follow Ice yeah. Cube before before the uh, before all the shit hit the yeah. fan where he in the media yeah. and the shit, then you probably yeah. would have been known that he been had the shit. Well, that's the problem. Since they June don't night. want. They want to put their hands on it because if it gets, if it gains some they momentum, they got to stop it. Right. They want to be they able to have. They want to be close to it. See, but mm-hmm. but when you look at that, that they're mad that this was happening up under their noses. That he actually oh they didn't even want to touch it. He was like, hey man, help me write it. They were like, no. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, 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 and he got and, the best and of the that's best. How you say. know they on a, they got some bullshit. They got Amongst some, us. some weakness about. Them. They got but some weakness why, about. Them. I this mean, why I can relate to him. I've been in the lab going through what he went through. You feel me? Mm-hmm. And I'm I'm letting you know, like it's a it's a cold game out here, bro. Like the, these people ain't really about helping nobody and fixing this. Too many people eating off of it. Damn, that's that's what that's how we bless nations. The nation that own us is the richest nation. The most powerful nation is the one that holds the uh, children of Israel. That's why I, I think that's why motherfucking Hitler said what he said. Oh, about the jewelry and what's gonna cause World War Three? Yeah, I think that that's the. I think that's the, even if they like people saying that's fake. I did read it from his own. If they're if actually if they're saying that that's a lie that he that's that he didn't write that then that would be the issue. But as far as, as far as he so break it down, record what, what as far say? as his relationship with blacks is not what like he called us Jews. He actually loved <laughs> our jazz and he had us in our in his militaries. He actually I'm not saying that he was for us either. Don't get me wrong. Like I said, I think that niggas that be powerful they don't really have no interest in the Negro other than to have their workforce have their man, military so, oh and made that motherfucker shit in pants man keep that shit 100 that nigga didn't want them fucking niggas over there no 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 that's not true bro that was just hey, when, the, he, that's, that's hey, when he hit that dirt when he hit that dirt that nigga face that nigga hey y'all gotta watch the clip the nigga face just look goddamn real Fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't talk all that shit. <laughs> yeah, he talked all that shit. He talked all that shit. Yeah. Was powerful and all that old shit. That nigga went Thank up in there now. <laughs> leg got the kicking. <laughs> shit, man. You already. I, hey, when all them niggas stood up there with them medals and shit, like, oh, man. He hey, hey, let me ask y'all this, bro. <laughs> Hold on. Let me let me answer more question real quick. Oh, go ahead. So basically, more, there's, there's information that's come out basically saying that Hitler said what will be the cause of World War III is when the world finds out that America stole God's jewelry. And then he oh, said yeah, that. Oh, yeah, excerpt. Yeah, and he said well, no, that. in the actual the, book. Where the book yeah, at? That, uh, and then he says, he says that, um, that the, the blacks of America are the Jews. Now, I'm gonna be honest mm. with you, I've never been able to find the book that it's in, I'm not gonna say it don't exist. If somebody can point me towards the book, I'll go. Yeah, read, yeah, but, yeah, I've, yeah. but I've never been able to find the actual book that it's in, so I've never used it as a credible source. Well, yeah, I, then he say, then they got another part to say, how did you leave Aryan, right. How did you leave Aryan and come back Jewish? So let's. No, that's, let's, so let's he's saying that's up. that's that's another guy. That's uh that's the that's the real Nassar. Yeah, that's Nassar. Hmm. And once it. I, I still ain't been able to find that one. Once again, that was on I'm television. Saying, that was he said that on live TV. I've never been able to find it, so I'm not saying he did or did not say it. Right? I'm just saying I've never been able to find it, so I've never used it. Yeah, but it definitely was a, a place marker because it, this, be, even if it didn't, even if he didn't say that, I actually found information that that helped me uh, solidify that we were the Jews. Like based off of following that shit that was state, even following that, that yeah, song. following, following the yeah, following the bread bread crumbs for, yeah, following the bread crumbs, right? So even if that's not true or not, but I, I know that one is because I seen the book, um, and it tells What's you the that. Book then, man? Look, I, I, I can't remember what it's called, but I'm gonna describe the book to you, um, because I know you've seen it before or do. Yeah, was, I seen the uh, book. It got pictures like the whole. It got the I pictures in it and everything. Yeah, yeah, Hitler was. Hitler was in the movie theater. About to share. Yeah, he's sitting there in the movie theater with it, with like his top guards, like exactly telling them about, about what's going plan. on. Yeah, exactly. telling them about they plan and all of this. Like I, I, I'm familiar with the whole joint. I just can't find the book. Yes, yeah. I can't. Can find I see it. my screen? Yeah, go ahead. You see, that's it? crazy though. Yeah, yeah. So the book sold a lot. 
And is that it? The mind, the, the mind come for whatever. Yeah. Uh huh. The mind come. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, he said that in mind come. Yeah. Yeah. It's so fifty. Wait a minute. Is that no what, way. five million? Uh, I made yeah, two hundred thousand yeah, yeah. since uh nineteen thirty nine, and I bet you the book is around about what thirty bucks. A, what is it? How much is that book? No, round to the finest. Um, yeah. right you now. know a lot, a lot of what Hitler, a lot of what Hitler based a lot of his ideology on came through uh, uh, Martin Luther and Calvin. Uh, he was a Calvinist. That's Jew. That's a that's what the Jews pick in order to hide their real uh religion. They uh pick Calvinism because it was so close. Yeah, I agree. Um, but yeah, they um yeah, he uh he, he based a lot of what he a lot of what he understood. Um and it was the reason why he thought they should be eradicated. Is that and it's a good ass fucking reason, because look. <laughs> shit what? what is this 40 years 50 years later bro look they is in control everything he said bro but that's what put, that's not, what put him in control hold on we're not we're not advocating for killings uh, so fuck we are we just no, like no, just like god no no we're not no we're not bro no, okay we're not we're, we're not, not advocating not. killing we're not okay but that's what put him in control that's what got the whole world to be Empathetic towards them, and then uh, the world powers uh, placed reparations in their hands, which uh, amplified their local efforts of taking over everything. And you know what, bro? That's what I said to Domo yesterday, bro. This motherfucker couldn't fucking comprehend what I was saying. If, if, like I, my, like my idea is that that uh, was the president. The president is like. Cyrus and like Nebuchadnezzar, you know what I'm saying? They seeming like an enemy, but the most high put them there, they his anointed. I'm not trying to give him that much credit, but I'm saying we have to look at it, look at the broader perspective. If they talking about reparations, and then you looking at I asked Domo, what is it that Trump actually did to us that no other president has that we can actually give to him in history? Say this motherfucker did this to us. Like we can't point out with uh, so many other presidents. I said, What has he done? Mm-hmm. Right. And then he was he named something about taxes. What I'm like, well, if you actually pay attention to the trend, I have that gift. If he raised taxes, that's fucking us up right now. If we get reparations in two years, then that's going to actually make us be back the head again. Uh-huh. You feel what I'm saying? I said, you got to look at what the most the most high is in. So if people don't have that relationship with the most high, bro, they can't see him working. They can't see. So it might look like it's bad, but if you if you open your ears and listen and see the trend, you can see that if we fall out of this into something better, which it look like we are, it we're falling to that tax bracket, brother. So what has he done for real? What has he done? I just think he likes Cyrus and motherfucking Nebuchadnezzar because he always been amongst black people. He don't never expressly say he hate black people, although you know the job situation shit that he did, but. That's motherfucker that don't get. I don't give a fuck about black people. I don't. I don't hate them and I don't like them. And that's how Cyrus and Nebuchadnezzar was. Motherfuckers had businesses. That's how Lyndon they, B. Johnson was. To yeah, be yeah, more, yeah. Well, more somewhere. Current, because uh, he was only Lyndon supposed B. to be Johnson and, uh, and for and, a second, uh, Abraham Lincoln <laughs> were well, devout you know, racist. Well, if I'm not mistaken, first of all, I think you. I think you. You mean. Uh, Darius, uh, you, you keep saying Cyrus, right? Yeah, King yeah. Cyrus. Seeing King Darius. That's for Daniel. Yeah. King Darius, not King Cyrus, or that's his son? If I'm not mistaken, I believe you you, you, you refer, you, you refer <coughs> to Darius. Yeah, I think they the same people, bro. Mm, no, but I got you. And to your point about Domo, you, you got to forgive people like him because uh, he prays to the, to the universe by the name of Jesus. And believes that God only exists in his mind. So, how do you know he prays? That's what he says. But yeah. real so, far, just so real in other quick, words, so you, he he walks contrary on the carousel. Yeah. But, mm-hmm. you, but you need to understand this, though. Uh, I get results Lance, in the name of Jesus. 
as it as it pertains to no, no, Cyrus, no, 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 Cyrus no, no, no. may no, no. have been called Darius or the Darius because that's another name that they right. use for their right. rule. Uh, title. Yeah, right. it's just another that's title. Correct. But you mm-hmm. did have actual Darius as a right. ruler as well. So right. okay, be okay. careful so, not to make that mistake. <clears throat> yeah, so Clay, real quick, Domo says that he prays to Jesus, but when he prays to Jesus, he says that that uh he means the universe. <laughs> That's hilarious. He did he say that. that multiple, <laughs> You're absolutely right. Too. He said that multiple it times. It could be. It could, we could be living in his body. It's a possibility. We don't know. And that's not for us to even probably oh, wrong. But uh, then he went on to be perfecting <laughs> our uh, obedience and but behavior. Then, but then he went on to make the ontological argument for God, bro. Like he said, like, <laughs> Man, how can somebody ignorant of God in all his ways? Make an argument right. on, behalf, on behalf of how God. No, that's no, it would, yeah. And if Cube was on point, he would have smashed Domo because Domo, Domo put his head on the chopping block and just threw his hands behind his back. He <laughs> pulled his hair back from his neck. Cube, <laughs> yeah, Cube said, <laughs> oh, yeah. Cube said, How, Cube said, how do you experience God? He's like, oh, You know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, I see God, I hear God, you know what I'm saying? He's like, Oh, like, oh through your senses? Cool, got you. Like, then he, he was supposed to ask him, like, so what does God look like? What does God smell like? What does God taste like? What does God feel? All those type of things, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. He didn't ask him not one of them questions. I'm like, bro, you, <laughs> you try to lose that debate. Yeah, it's crazy. Goodness, that but crazy. but that's just that's just what he I'm saying. Y'all, can y'all see that? Yeah, all day. Nah, I can see stuff like that all day. Like, yeah. that, that's, that's what I was saying about about political parties when you, when you came through sounding like a, a Canadian one night, right? In, in the sense to where, like, so when uh, when Joseph and Daniel was doing the thing, uh-uh. they, they, <laughs> they didn't, they didn't, they didn't, they weren't part of some political party. They got they got appointed to their position uh, of governorship uh, by by the head of state ba- based upon uh, their stewardship of how they of how they do how they deal with things. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So do y'all agree? I mean, let me tell y'all what I found out. I found out. Let me present this. I, I I believe that the term Israelite is a political term, right? That the writer of that time was able to recognize the people of that ancient day as people of the present Israelites. And I believe that it's a political term, like I said, like Huguenots and Jacobites that we just secretly unify up under to say we are law keepers, but we still exist outside of that paradigm as, as regular citizens that's not in a political yeah. arena you feel what I'm saying? That don't know that they that we are not Frenchmen and not Germans and not we don't know that. You feel what I'm saying? We just been here all our life and and we just live in this way of, way of living. Mm-hmm. I don't think that Israelites is a race, brother. I don't think that that's a race. I think that the race is. Well, I think that that's that, that we are a race. Yeah, but the word Israelite is not how you're going to find us in history. We're going to be amongst the races. Yeah, we we refer to as Saracens. We already know how we're uh, described in history, but you don't have to use historical terms. Is it? All you have to do is describe describe our uh, describe our condition and our history. And so these people right here are the special people. So you got to remember, we was the head first. We hadn't always been the tail. So how do you account for us in history when we were the head? Israelite. Nah, that's what I'm trying to tell you. You ain't going to see. You ain't going to find an Israelite. No, uh, d- brother, during the time that we were the head, <laughs> that's 1,000 B.C. to to 800 B.C. No. What, 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 no, what no, written no, no. records are you going to find at no, that time? That's what I'm trying to tell you. That's not true. We were the head in the 1800s. Oh, my God. Okay, so where? Hold so, on. Okay, so yeah, he's saying that well, Israelite like ruled slow, Europe. Hold on, slow, slow, slow down, Craig. Hold on, real quick, because because I have not dealt with lands before, so I'm trying to say this paradigm. Mm-hmm. So, so, I'm muting out. So we were we were the head in France. We were the head in Scotland. We were the head in England. We were the head in Germany. We were the head in Russia. In the 1800s, and uh, I mean, I'm telling them up to the 1800s. Up to uh, okay, so what time period before that? Like, what are you talking about? Give, give me, give me like a, a rough beginning point. Where, 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 I mean, what, what was the point of the rise in, the, in those areas? I mean, I, I see after I see that we had became before Israel ever left, um, 
ever went into the diaspora, they had already di diaspora in a sense on their own um, cognizant and became kings and of cities and, and built and established places and conquered people. Virtually everywhere. Yes, that's what I'm saying. So when you read about the Moors and you read about these knights and all of this, all of that shit is, is the same. Just take the costumes off and put us in them. You know what I'm saying? That's all it is, bro. All all the European history is us. So all so you're saying that all the Moors are Israelites. All of the Moors are Israel. Now, see, Israelite is a, a political term. All of the Moors are Jews. Yahudi. So okay, so if if Israelite is a political term, what are you meaning when you say Jews and Yahudi? That's that's the that's the name that. I mean, it might be also, it might also be a political term because, like I said, we don't exist as Jews in France. They're not called Jews. They're called, they're known as somebody else. In in England, they're not called Jews. You don't only, you only able record. to tell that they're Jews in hindsight, in history. Okay. I want y'all, I want y'all to they're hiding that. themselves. I make it clear. I just want to make it clear that that quote is nowhere in mind Kampf. I just word I didn't think, I didn't PDF. think it was, bro. I yeah, I just word checked the whole oh. PDF. So no, no we, we we know it's in that book that got the um I know that word mind come. It's in that book that got the um the Negro in it and all of that, and it's telling you who he is. It's in a little excerpt at the in a in a in a red in red in that book. I just gotta find that book. I don't know what the book is, but yeah, y'all keep going. I don't want y'all to mess this up. I'm sorry. I just wanted to put that out there because I don't want to put out no misinformation. No worries. Hey, so Lance, do, do me a favor. Like, so so what in 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 Europe? What are the like the three biggest um you're saying Jewish or Yehudi or slash Israelite, you know what I'm saying, uh, civilizations, even though they might not be known by those names. I just named all five of them. All them countries that I named were established by Israelites, by Jews. Whoa, okay. So France was? Yes. There are no indigenous white men to France. So don't, okay, so I, when I hear, when I hear, okay. You see the idea so, that I tried. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, real, 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 real quick, real, real quick. I'm trying to understand something real quick. Like so, you unmuted so. to do a wicked lie. Yes, because it's about to get good. <laughs> <laughs> it's about to get good. <laughs> <laughs> the conversation, bro. You know how long I've been waiting to hear this conversation, bro. Yeah, I'm yeah. This time, I've been waiting for hear this. Oh man, I'm... Yeah, let's hear this interaction, this slap box section. Between oh, uh, Lance and there's no sticky slap boxing, bro. I think you better understand my position. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. So that's what we call it. We call it slap boxing. No, Nigga, you know what slap, slap boxing look like. Yeah, this ain't you know what slap boxing. We call like. it slap boxing. <laughs> no, this is what Lord, we do in the in the. Or is that slap boxing oh, okay. lifestyle on me? I'm trying to understand Lance because I've, I've never heard Lance say this before. So I'm trying. I'm, 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 I'm trying to understand where he's coming from. So, um, so okay, is Spain? Uh, uh, Israelite nation to you? Um, hmm. So, and I'm asking. I don't think that it was established by Israelites, but I think at some point they had established a rulership in Spain. I, I do believe they did. So, when you say a rulership in Spain, are you talking about like the uh, financial um, top top of the? You know what I'm saying? They they had. See, let me say this, bro. When the Israelites left, they were equipped with tools and knowledge that only they could know. Only certain of them amongst them. That's why I proposed the question, which is more important, the mason, the carpenter, or the blacksmith. Neither one of them can perform or operate without the blacksmith. However, the mason, he has the blueprint. He said, he, he, you feel what I'm saying? And, but the carpenter have to frame it so that the mason can move, so they all need each other. You feel what I'm saying? And that's kind of like, that's the paradigm that we that we kind of are, are facing in all areas, all realms. That's that way we, that's the way we move. Okay, so so in, in, the, in, that, in that paradigm, so when we entered Europe, what was our primary sources of, of like, so, so are, are you saying that we were the Masons going in, that we were the, that we were the, the We the ones that front built the, built the, built, we was the ones that carried over from the old world, the old age into the new age. And that's the knowledge. That's the gift of carrying over into the old age, into the new age. You can make weapons or you can make, see, the same the same knowledge that it take to make those castles and homes and the same tools used is the same ones it take to make weapons. 
So they kept them shit secret, bro. Yeah, so so g- give me a time frame here. From the time Dan first left. The tribe of Dan. That nigga went over there and conquered the wild man and his area became the Danish. Okay. Tall, hairy ass kings that had motherfucking braids all in their hair and beard. Okay, so what's up with the with the with the Russian stuff? Because you, you, you said that we uh, we so a king went a king left uh, from because um, when I hear Russian, I'm hearing like the people of Rus. So that's why I was asking: Are you talking about like people who went like inhabited like the Carpathian Basin first, or are you talking about like people who were like actually the Russians? So they all it was always some remnants of some people in these lands that we was conquering. But I'm trying to tell you, this one king he left, and he had some I amount of daughters and priests and went into Russia and established the uh established that land there. They'd have fights. I it, I read it in the uh, one of them annuals. Um Be- had, before or after the Rus people got there. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I just know it was I just know that mm-hmm. uh that the the king of Russia the, the the czar of Russia was a Jew. And that was in the earlier time periods, and and and, and, he, and all of them was Jews up until a certain point. That's old information that I can I can I can go get that for you. But I do know that story well. I mean, you know, well enough to uh, dialogue with it. Because so, even okay, my fault. Go ahead. No, go ahead. No, no, no. You got the full word. No, because you'll see. So people think that the Jews left all at one time, one big mass migration, but that's not true. No, not at all. Right. Yeah, okay. because you had sons that left and established king like Brut. Brutus is the son of Zohar. Zohar is the son of Judah. Brutus, Britain. That's he established Britain. Zach, the Saxons. The Anglo-Saxons are the people that was conquered by the Saxons. They were white people. They call them Anglo because Anglo as in white, meaning as like the angels. Okay. Every time you see Anglo oh, something, oh. that's a white people amongst the actual people. Real quick, so I don't lose what you just said. So, who are you saying are the Saison of the Saxon? Say what? Say that again. So, okay, so I heard you just differentiate the Anglo's and the Saxons. So, who who are you saying are the Saxons? The Jews are the Saxons. Jews are the Saxons. Well, I, got that I got that. I got that. That's right. You got to read the. You got to read the European history um, to so, get so a lot of. You understand? This is where British Israelism gets their claims from, right? But they not us though. They kicked us I'm out of there. Telling you, but I'm telling you that. Oh yeah, for they sure. They yeah, yeah, okay. for sure. But they they kicked us out. We got the history. They kicked the Jacobites out of there and sent them to a, sent them to Africa to be broken. Then sent them to America. Took the motherfucking uh, and, and Northern okay. Kingdom from Anglo America. But, the, but a lot the of those, but they a lot took of those on our British, identity. They, but the original of ide- British, identity things. A lot of them that aren't racist will say that we are the Jews. Oh yeah, for sure. They are. They are the. The descendants of Isaac. Descendants of Isaac. What? They say they'll say they'll say specifically they're the descendants of Isaac. I'm just telling you what a lot of them say, right? And then that and we're the Jews, and we're the Jews. The I can show people? you a guy. Oh, yeah, I show you. I can show you a whole minister. I've got a whole ministry to this. We got a whole ministry based on this, where he's telling he's telling black people like. Y'all need to wake up. Y'all the only people around the world that don't know this. That's what I found it out. It's that's what I said. It's in their history. They're learning it in school. It's in their it's in their king's history, bro. Like so why, why y'all got smoke for Lance, bro? I'm trying to understand. Because niggas been out here because touching lives. Esau is well, the first white off, man. I ain't really and, got no smoke. No, nah, he know. I, nah, he look, know. I don't like. I don't like how Lance come at Yara, and I don't like some. I don't like some of the conclusions he jumped to, because like I told him, a lot of his information be on it. He just he don't got the whole joint for it. He got to right. get the whole. So joint I think I be having. So the what were you saying about the McGrevy thing? And I'm sorry, I already, I already and, said and he can't learn. Learn. He's a he's a, a, a auto teacher. Like you know, what I'm saying he's not an auto talker. He's an auto teacher. Say what you were he, saying he, about he, the McGrevy. He know what he knows. Real strong and, and hate learning, and so he he damn tell us what he know, and that's it. Like that's the only thing he want to talk on. about. Hey, hey Lance, I'll back. tell you right hey, now, bro. I'll be right I, back, bro. I, I don't, I don't, I don't find you offensive at all, at all, brother man. Like, but uh, I appreciate you, Orthodox more, man. But I do understand why, by, like, hey, it's, so it's y'all a, want it's a, it's y'all want to have your own backyard chickens and stuff. This is what you got to do at three in the morning. You got to fight coyotes. I'm, man, I've been. 
Uh oh. <laughs> Leave the, That's uh, why I asked you. Uh, Let's see the gunshot. Why don't you capture one of them and train them? See this? No, nah, he likes to hang them on his on his dick. They scared of the other coyotes. <laughs> Put coyote blood all around the chicken coop. <laughs> so anonymous, you like were saying something weird about the. You were saying something funny about the McGrevy Jews or something like that. Me, I didn't mention yeah. the McGrevy Jews. Okay, no, I didn't mention them. No, and I didn't never come at Yara. Yara always came at me. Yeah, no, I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. No, the first time, the first time we had a conversation, you were saying something about the McGrevy Jews because it was me, you. This what got you and um, you and Melvin that kind of got into it too. I forgot what all you were saying at this point though, because I didn't, it's been so much that's been happening since then. But you were definitely you were saying something about bring it back to me, please. Um, what are, okay? What is your understanding about the McGrevy Jews? How about that? I don't know who they are. Nah, bro. You had said something about them. Just tell me who they are, where they live. No, that's what I'm saying. Like most people don't know who they are. Like when he says it, I, I believe it. Like I, I, I really. Hey, okay, no, okay, no. I'm sorry. Then this is what you were saying. What is your understanding about the Sephardim? That's Sephardim. what we was talking about the Sephardim, and then okay. we told you to research the Maghrebi Jews or Maghreb. No, y'all so, told me to reach research the Mag the Magullans. No, I said Maghreb. I don't, I don't even know. I don't even, I don't even know what the McGullins are, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. I ain't even gonna lie to you, fam. I have no idea about no McGullins. Okay. But what so is your understanding? You right there, the McGullins. <laughs> yeah. To break down, that's, that's break down like, to me. That sounds like a mix between the Geechee and the Melanges. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> break, break, <laughs> break down your understanding of the Sephardines. <laughs> You got you got two different stories that I'm familiar with at the Sephardine. Okay. One, uh, a group got in Spain by way of the uh, King of Tarsus helping out King Nebuchadnezzar subdue the Jews, so he gave them a, 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 a love offering of okay. slaves. And then another one was the Sephardine came um, from Egypt and 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 went there and established uh, and, and did well after the uh, diaspora. Um, did you did you do you feel like all the Sephardine are Jews or Israelites? No, because it's clearly stated that the Sephar, when the Sephardim left and migrated to all these different different countries um, after being um, expelled in 1492, that they influenced many nations, and they also yeah, so they they influenced them to become Sephardim, and they now so it's a real <laughs> Sephardim, and it's the people they influence in these nations. They claim Chef R.D. All right. If that's, if that's your real view, then we good. Yeah, that's my I promise that's, you. But you had that's said my something view different always, the first bro. time. Because you I told you. You something different. You had said I, something different that first night. I promise you. This is what you probably missing. Because I said to Chef R.D. when they went in exile, you had groups that migrated in all over the, all over the place. But I was showing no, that I'm these places, you, you they went to France. This, as, this is the part that we and you talked about. That The group that I'm familiar with went to France. They established uh, their uh, basically a kingdom there, uh, close to the Rhine area, and uh, by the time the Catholics started to uh, conquer, they uh, they went in, murdered them up, so they had to leave out, and then they left and and, and they left and came to South Carolina, went to Germany, went to England. Went to Portugal. They went back to some. Went to uh, North Africa. I mean, uh, West Africa, and some went to South Africa. So yeah, I, I know exactly. What you, if, if this is your stance, I'm not mad at. It. But before it what came across, let, first me, time? let me say that the difference is from what you said the first time. You made it seem as though you said all the Sephardim were Jews or Israelites, and that. Um, yeah, that I did say that, all, but then we had the, right. the conversation and I told you, I showed you how they actually influenced like much of the world. Um, at one point, 93% of the Jews in the world was Shephardim. 
according to so like according I, but you hear what he said so at first he did say that now i don't remember yeah but we went through the I phase and i showed you that they I was didn't, actually you, maybe you had that conversation people. with melvin though like you ain't had that with me like you and like you know like i ain't never really came i told you when you had that conversation you said they all were that's the only time we had a little static hey real, real we, i'm going my fault i thought you paused oh you got it more go ahead no no go ahead finish i, I thought you paused i'm fine go ahead. yeah so that so that's all i'm saying is i you know i'm not saying if that's your if that's your perspective, we good, right? Because yeah. there's a lot of truth in what you put out. So, but when we at first we first had the conversation, maybe I heard wrong. You know, I've got no really, I have no problem saying if I messed up. Yeah, maybe I, speak, I heard. I, wrong. I'm not going to deny that I speak broadly a lot of times without actually considering that everybody don't have that perspective that I have. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? So I'll say some in a in a casual way thinking that you might have that that we know like i would probably assume that you that we know we talking about the real chef ardine the real black people that you couldn't tell if they was portuguese or african so when you say chef ardine and you're, you're saying that at one point they were 93 percent of the, the world's population in jewelry whatnot um are you talking <laughs> you about that part uh, yeah. all day on on uh the journal of human humana Hey, the, I heard uh, I heard the multiple ones at the table. First of all, you know what I'm saying. Uh, <laughs> I, I was about to start counting, but I didn't want to do that. Thing. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to do. It. You told me to stop doing it, so I started you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I can't. There's I'm certain saying. things I can't not do. I'm just anyway. So, so when you're saying that Sephardi and whatnot, we're 93 percent of the world's population Jewry. Are you just at one point? Just at not 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 in totality, but it, it was I, I was going to ask you in what the year so and so yeah. Well, roughly, what time period are you talking about? Uh, I would have to say about the 1800s, brother. Um, because I was reading in, I was reading about in the 1800s. Really? Yeah, I think it's in the American Journal of Human Genetics, January uh, 15th. Okay. 23andMe um, published that article. Okay. Because to me, it would have made sense more like in between like the, the like the the nine hundred to like the thirteen hundred council. Okay, I got you. Um, I mean, don't quote me on that part, but do quote me on that. You can quote me on that they said at at one point ninety three percent of the Jews was uh Chef yeah, Ardine. Yeah, yeah, I can tell you. Yeah, I can tell you. I can tell you one point. I'll go ahead. Go ahead, anonymous. My fault. You just got to understand Lance's historical timeline. Be a little off. No, that's, that's, what, that's, what, that's, that's why he got to the question. Yeah, like, let, let, let me see where it's at. You know what I'm saying? Let me see where it's at. Yeah. <laughs> I've, learned, I've learned to give him grace because, you know, Elder Yard corrected me on a couple things. So, I, you know what I'm saying? You get a brother grace on the timeline. Well, we, we actually have to be uh, actually elastic with that timeline because they, whoa, they're lying. Whoa. They're lying. Whoa. Their timeline is a lie. Whoa. Okay. You can't, you, yeah. I mean, you get, you like, they're always coming out of the blue, uh, re, 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 uh, shifting the timeline. We say they, they. The, the scientists, one time, one, one time or another, they'll come out and say it was this period to this period. Right. Then five years later, they'll come out and say it was from this period to this period. Just, in, I mean, you know, as far as examples is concerned, I don't, I don't really subscribe. Once I read, uh, the nigga Anatoly Fomenko's, uh, writings. Um, the dude that, uh, the, what is it? A Russian scientist or some shit like a Russian, um, mathematician. He was, uh, given the task to re-educate him and a bunch of other educators was given a task to re-educate, uh, Russia after the, uh, collapse of, uh, you know, the communism there at that time. So they actually went out and actually got the real history so that they can re-educate their people because they had been under uh, uh, turmoil for so long of not being able to learn shit. They wouldn't let information come in from outside like they do in China or in Korea, wherever that is. They wouldn't let information come out. So they actually, you know, kept their people dumb. So they was given the task to re-educate the people. He went out and got got the, educa- the uh, information. And uh, he said, basically, most of the, uh, most of the uh, chronology of the earth come from two Frenchmen. So he was like, that's not acceptable. So he went on a task and hired some of his students to actually help him, you know, go through the proper timeline. So as they, they and he set up this timeline of everybody. They existed from this time to this time. And he set up the contemporaries of each nation up underneath. So he started to see that, hold on. 
So from this period to this period, from, you know what I'm saying, something BC to something BC, this motherfucker lived 12 years. He ruled for 12 years. He had three sons. This son did this. This son became that. This son became that. Okay, that's one nation. Okay, he said, cool. So then he go a little bit further down the timeline in the AD, and he see the same pattern that happened in the BC. So he like, hold on. Let me, let me see something. So he said that same exact pattern that led into the BA, the AD time period, somebody took and pasted the BC and pasted it in the AD. And he said that happened like 12 times in history to create an extension, to create a period of years in extension. He said, but what they didn't take into account, he said, he don't know if somebody did it on purpose. He not trying to say that. He said, somebody was either reckless or, 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 or it had to be purposeful. He said, because all you got to do is look at the stars. The stars never changed their lining. If, 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 uh, if at this time period, when you said that this happened between BC and BC, it should line up with the solar, with a solar eclipse or, uh, uh, some type of phenomenon that happened that can't be refuted by all nations is going to be, you know what I'm saying, affected by this. So I can't, I don't got to just study this one nation and, and, and I can look at all of these nations and see that it was some type of atmospheric phenomenon that occurred at this time. And this happened, you saying that this happened during this time of this atmospheric occurrence, but everybody else said that this atmospheric occurrence happened at this time. So, so it's, oh, some, right. it's a, so that's how he Question. did it. So I don't mean to cut you, but just question. How far off is the timeline? Man, he was like at one period from a thousand years, at another period, 300 years, at another period, 1,500 years, bro. He like, look him up, man, Anatoly Fomenko. He, he is like, it's a real study on him. It's a real, like it's ongoing. Like more and more people are, more and more students are joining his team to, uh, it's called uh, New Chronology. He got like several different books are showing factual. He said Jesus Christ time period couldn't have been at a certain time because that supernova that occurred in his day happened at this time period, which was 1100 AD. I mean, uh, 1200 AD. That's a hundred years off of the time period they say he was born. That's actually a thousand years, but yeah. But that's what he said. I mean, that's what, so he proved it though because he showed. Like you can't have certain people existing at the same time in in two different centuries doing the exact in two different uh periods doing the exact same thing having the same name children you know what i'm saying the what the, the women might have different names but that's he said that could be it because you know one nation's uh uh knowledge or nickname or whatever you know what i'm saying he gave examples of that but it's a very interesting read so ever since i read that and it's unrefutable, at least according to my, my my knowledge, and I'm not I'm not a dumb guy. So, do you I, have access to um, that information uh, that we can present tomorrow? Yeah, bring it up. You can do it yourself, bro. It's called it's called the New Chronology by Anatoly Fomenko. Yeah, no, I'm I'm researching them right now. Because <clears throat> when you uh, describe this right at this moment in the in the moment, not without being ignorant of the information that you're talking about me personally you it's it sounds similar to the comparison between uh abraham lincoln and uh who's the who's the other brother who got assassinated in dallas kennedy kennedy so a lot of people uh, do comparisons to those and find a hell of a lot of synchronicities. So, right. um, like a ritualistic approach. Well, we're talking about similar birthdays, similar assassination dates, and similar this, this, that, and the third. Yeah, I know and what you're so, uh, if there's so so many synchronicities, uh, being ignorant of your presentation. It would seem to me that uh, that could be what's going on in your presentation, and then so I want to do a presentation tomorrow if you got time to go through that material. Man, it's a it's a it's a lot of material, but we can introduce it for sure. It's a lot of material, brother. There's you know, no there's no cliff notes. I mean, 
it would it would be pseudo if you do it like that because you would have to go through his whole line and uh, you got to go through the whole uh way he right he like i'm his. looking at how he do it like you not you got to really do a whole you got to study and you got to actually become a teacher a student yeah. like for real but like now i'm gonna be honest with you because on the surface i would chop this up right on the surface i'm reading i would destroy all of this right now but i would have to go into it to see because he use, he's using math and he's using a lot of various different types of sciences. Cosmology, come, everything. Right, right. To he said the to stars never change their course. So if the Sirius said that this phenomenon. star happened, I'm sorry, go ahead, brother. But, the, but that's, okay. but see, but those, those are the things, that's where I was starting to eat it up, right? Because in, inevitably, whenever you start to get to these type of conversations, it's based on one situation. So when you deal with the Assyrian chronology, even when you start to get into the Thebian chronology and all of these things, it's dependent upon where it was viewed from, who viewed it, and who recorded it. Absolutely. And so we would, so yeah, so we would have to go <laughs> into those different, into those different timings, into those different periods to see where he's getting his information, what he's basing it upon. So I don't want to chop up the information until I want no, to. Yeah, don't do no, it. Bro. Go, no, what you got to understand about the star argument is that the stars are cyclical. They do every, they do everything on schedule all the time exactly the same way all the time that's non-stop. why he used that that's why he used that Brother, he, no, I'm, I'm saying that you can't use that you can all. because in history it's like all societies have calendars and things that they mark shit days that things that occur you got astrologers that he had access to all of that information by the king of his nation to in to actually te- teach their people. So they had like resources were unlimited. The only thing that they was limited in is man, is people to help him um, bring all of this information together. So you have one person studying these people in this area, one person studying these people in this area, and then you bring up all the, uh, you categorize it, astrology, uh, religion, uh, famine, uh, you know, apocalypses, uh, blah, blah, blah. And then you you find that most dates will match, all of the other nations will match, except the United States and Britain and Canada and uh, China. It's like certain areas not going to match. and But they will match up to a certain period. That lets you know who, when they start. What you have uh, uh, successfully done is piqued my interest. And so I don't want you to... Where what I'm saying is, it's hard to start find some people... Stuff, right? No, so, I, <laughs> what, what, what we're gonna do is give you a, a full platform tomorrow. These brothers ain't gonna be available, so I'm gonna come. I'm gonna come on here with you, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna start a live t- today. It, it, it's already tomorrow, today, and you're gonna present that uh, schedule, that timeline, and. I'm going to single-handedly destroy the timeline because it's just too, it's just too ridiculous. Man, not even about. no scientists today can fuck with him or his team. So you ain't, you don't do I'm, that. I'm not going to say that. Look it up I'm, first, I'm, bro. I'm reading this stuff. I'm reading this stuff well, right now. Here's my question. Knows anything. Here's, my, here's my question though, Lance. Like, so you saying like, we talking about massive cover-ups, right? We talking about massive. Right. So if this is this the case you're talking about really like, whole entire massive cover up. So my question then That's is, why he said the new chronology. So but my question is how do we prove the massive cover up? Because he's showing you. He's showing exactly he's showing you what we already know for but instance, is he it, showing you is he showing you who did the cover ups? No he not gonna they say he's not saying no new who's or why is he even made this he said it seems as he seems it seems that this could not be uh what he say it seems that this couldn't be a ignorance uh, on a scholastic level, such as this, and it, uh, it, I, like I'm, I'm led to assume that it was purposeful, but he can't, like, I, but I digress. You know, I'm not going to say that it's purposeful, and um, I would lead towards the latter. See so, you know what I'm saying? So he, he was trying to keep himself able to. It wasn't meant for the world to see. It was meant to just teach his society, his people in Russia. Look, bro. like I said, I got to do a little. I got to do a lot more reading on it because um, I'm curious. Right, but I, I will I will readily admit on the surface I would tear this apart. On the on the surface, I would tear it apart. But right, you're gonna I tear won't. it apart using modern understanding. No, it wouldn't even it wouldn't even be that. It would just I would I would 
I would really want to get into his linchpin of where he's beginning his dating. Man, bro, you got to get in it. it it's well, a first, video first on it. All, it's uh, a video on it. Um, um, play. Let me respond to. So let me respond to the cover up question because that's the <laughs> of, of FAQ that we get in the flat Earth reality. So everybody doesn't have to be covering up anything. They can just be ignorant of a cover up. Right. So they publish the material in the mass material publications that gets out to everybody and they're taught these things over many years. And so they, they learn it and then understand it that way their whole life from young. So, oh, so they don't know I, anything, I don't other, uh, anything different. Yeah. yeah, I don't disagree with that stance claim. But what I'm saying is, and Lance know what I'm saying, for what Flamenco is saying, this is massive cover up because now we're talking about. So, so for instance, if we're saying that the Jesus uh, figure walked in 1200 AD, now we go all the way back to these various ecumenical councils, and then they would have had to happen after he walked the earth. So then that means they're happening. They're happening 15, 13, 14, 15, 17, and we have no. I have no proof of that. We, yes, we I mean, do. Yes, we do. That's what I was trying to tell you. That's what I said. Look so at we the have English. proof. We have Look proof at, that, like the Council of Nicaea, the Council of Trent, all of these various councils, these ecumenical councils, happen a thousand years after when they say they happen. What we what we do what we do have is a remnant of what happened, right? When you look at Catholics and you look at the Protestant wars you can actually see immediately when did, when did the Protestantism occur? When did, when did Calvinism uh, pop up? When did, you feel what I'm saying? So you will see that it happened like right after this. You will see that like, why is it coincidence that 1492, the Jews is kicked out? But coincidentally, 1492, um, Columbus finds America. Yeah, see, this is where Colum I started to top it, it up. This is where I started to top it up because then now we have, now we have all of these wars between the Muslims and the Christians coming with the uh, arguing against these things. The Catholics was with the Muslim. The uh, the Catholics was with the Arabs. All right, but we have these people completely arguing sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth century. Like we uh, uh, clearly uh, see. Uh, 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 real, 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 real quick, let me, yeah, let me let me ask. These the Catholics are with the Arabs. Give me a time real quick. <laughs> right. No, I'm trying to figure out like we 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 live in six hundred. I wasn't even finna go there. I wasn't even I wasn't even finna go there. I'm, I'm gonna jump right back. I, I, I just have to well, just put it in the rough time. Because <laughs> let's be throwing out this shit and get you all like what year not do you think that. it is right now, brother? <laughs> I'm falling back. I'm falling back. Here's you, Yo, you got it, fam. Bye, you bro. got it. I just asked you a question. I didn't hear you. Is you deaf? Um, I'm listening no, to like, a lot of people talking, talking Man, people I know how powerful my mic is and it overrides you niggas. I'm not overriding none of us, nigga. You just a lot of noise when you do that. So niggas now, go to what they can understand. To the question, brother. What year do you think this is? Man. I think... I would say we 500, hit, 500 years really ahead, but they keeping us 500 years back. So we're in 2500 AD. Yep. Oh, Lord. We got yeah. flying cars. Jesus. We got, going, we got, we got phones. We got, listen, brother, we got flying cars. <laughs> we have phones. That you, we got busy phones. We have. Hey, see, this, oh. hey more, more. This is when you find out where people start to want to get at land. It is usually, it's usually at three thirty and it's two thirty to three thirty in the morning. In the morning, so, yeah. Right. I mean, I'm just I'm you asked me a question. Where do I think? I'm not gonna say two thousand when I already just. I ain't got no beef with Lance. From what you said, see, oh, ask about that. Ask about on. that. Yeah, let me tell you how your mean. logic is already faulty. You said that they re got repeating histories that should actually be the exact same history okay so these should be uh contemporaries these repeating histories 
should be contemporary, side-by-side -side timing. So that should shorten our time to 500 A.D., not lifting your time to 2500 A.D. You, boy, you don't even got no logic. First of all, well, you, you got a lot of information I in think. your mind. And, Hold on. And we you said, what do I think? That was my position. And then yeah. second, second, I said, I believe we are in 2500 A.D., However, they got us back 500 years. That's why the society. I responded exactly how I responded. But then I also went into saying, well, we have visa phones and flying cars. So why wouldn't you, like, they giving us the, you, of course, they already had this technology, Hold brother. On. I mean, how long let, did let they me, have let me, let me make it simple. Let me, let me make it simple for you, brother. Let's say you, you, uh, you got one, two, and three. And you got four, five, and six, then you got five, six, and seven. And those three sets of time, one, two, and three is the first set of time, six, seven, eight is the second set of time, nine, 10, 11 is the third set of time. I think I feel like I skipped some numbers, but check this out. Those are the three sets of time one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, those are the Three sets of time. You said that the one, two, and three is a re repetition of two, uh, uh, four, five, and six, which is a repetition of seven, eight, and nine. And so they should actually be during the exact same time frame. So instead of nine years, you're left with three years. It's always Shortens your time with your argument. Never lengthens it. And you officially piss claim off? I don't know what about? the fuck he's talking about. I had to smoke. Holy when you start shit. talking numbers, I got to smoke. See, that's Hold the on. problem. Okay, now, but, like, that's why I admire the, the, the knowledge, the raw knowledge that you have in your brain, because I can easily build on it. You know what I'm saying? When, when you talk about Israelites ruling Europe, and Africa and every single location everywhere in the world, we know that to be a fact. So it's easy to build on your, your knowledge. But when it comes to the math, you're going to have to leave that up to people who understand how to add. Not add you, you, nigga. Lead, lead <laughs> you ain't even make sense what you said, brother. I'm being lead, honest with you. Uh, lead the math up to me. <laughs> that shit oh, didn't make no I sense. I know, bro. that's the problem. You take That's four, the five, and six. With your math stuff. And, 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 and six and seven, that motherfucker was called getting hit by two. So, 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 I'm like, hold on, bro. I'm not even. Is that what you, what you literally about? heard? I just Listen. told you that one, two, and three is the first set of time. That's the first three years. Nah, I don't use those. You can't use time in numbers like that, bro. Like, don't. We, Listen, all I'm saying is this. This is not even my position. However, I said I, wow. I, I it's a sticky pad. I don't I don't knock with what my man said because he ain't said nothing that I my spirit disagree with. With the with with of what I've learned and, 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 and even though it's not in depth of what I've learned, he's touched things that made me say, okay, it's possible because what he just said is the explanation for what I asked about this or what I was wondering about that. So I don't knock the motherfucker. Plus, he don't have no interest in in giving bad information when he's he's actually paid to go and find the best information to retrain a people. Mm. Did you say okay. a Russian? Wait, did you say a Russian don't have no interest in bringing false information? Absolutely. He said he don't have no interest in 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 de in fraud and defrauding his 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 people who hired him to go find the information. <laughs> But you understand where we're talking about, though, right? Yeah, man. What's the problem with Russia? Oh, wow. Oh, I'm done. Okay. What's your problem yeah, with that's Russia? Yeah, that's where I found... Uh, that's where your Russian icons are that they ain't even fucking destroyed. Yeah. They're still up. That you can go take a picture with your phone on and shit. Right. Theodore the 13th is a, is a Russian icon. So Theodore the 13th is uh, who is I'm related to him. He's a czar of Russia. His name is Theodore the Thirteenth. Oh, okay, I got you. I got you. And you saying he's not related to me? Because we stopped ruling after a while. I told you, when you read about Dan, bro, Dan, 
conquered. So no, I'm saying I'm in the direct descendancy of Theodore the Thirteenth. Okay, that's what you said. I got you. <coughs> I got you. I got you. And when I <coughs> I did the European, I pulled out a list of Europeans' uh, kings' DNA, and I told you I found out that Frederick and them was related to the uh, the two reg people that we looked up that day, Clay. They called mm -hmm. the two reg. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the Tuareg. Yeah. Tuareg, yeah. They really he related to them. So a lot of the king, a lot of the European bloods and the kings have this where you find Africans today. Oh, he was a blood. And look, he had on no, nah, he, he was a he was a crip. He had on he was a crip because they called the blue people. So when you go and look up, <laughs> when you go and look up his picture, he got a blue <laughs> a blue cape around his. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> no, no, blues used to wear blue back in the 1400s, nigga. Not that. <laughs> Wait a minute. Not that shit, bro. He was a blue. Wow. That's, wow. that's why he got that blue in his king. You wild as hell. <laughs> nigga, he didn't know that the bloods wore blue back in the 1400s. Nah, you should look him up, man. It's dope. But look, check this out. Here's, a, here's, a tri here's what's tripped out about this, right? So when you see, hey, wasn't Stalin, wasn't Joseph Stalin the president or the the the, the czar, the ruler during Russia, Ana yeah. during Anatoly Fomenko's time? I believe he was the one who paid him. No, I think his his the collapse of his empire is what brought forth the people to um find a new knowledge. Okay, all right. Yeah, but I think when he collapsed, that was when they was like, okay, now we can learn. They was kept from society, man. Like he, t they tell you the whole story. I, if I was y'all, I would, I would look at the videos that they got on YouTube first before you actually open this book. Um, because he got the PDF book. He got many, many books, bro. It's, it can't be all the shit that he got can't be contained. Like he, like he placed the Romans. Now I'm looking in in the annuals of of uh, of uh, yeah, Europe, right? Because he's born, he's born. Yeah, okay. You're right about that. You're right about that. I'm looking at his age right now. All right. Yeah. Yeah. So, 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 you know what I think the difficulty a lot of people is, bro, is that they got to go all the way back to the beginning to even debate me on a lot of the shit. They had to catch up. So I it ain't even. No, I ain't. That ain't no difficulty for me. So. But but that's what, what I'm gonna fucking debate. Like I said, some shit that nigga supposed to be fucking dragging me with horses by nigga nigga. They didn't get you out of Africa. They got you out of Europe. What the fuck? You've been teaching wait. your whole tribe. Wait, 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 wait. Come back, come back, come back, come back, come back, come back, come back. Say that part again. They didn't get us out of Africa. They got us out of Europe. The Americans, now look, the American Negro was taken out of America, South Carolina, and taken into the Caribbeans and into Europe as their captives as their slaves. So why do you have niggas that came from Europe and brought to America look just like the niggas that's in the Caribbeans? I mean, because they did take some from Europe to the Caribbean too, but we all look the same. We was the same anyway. So I, so even though it's a theory, it's, it still can be, it still can be followed. It can be, you know, traced that but they- based on your, But based on your understanding, this would have had to happen in like the year 1900 or in the year like 2000. Nah. King James was assassinated in 16, um, 29, 24. Not according to Anatoly Fomenko. When did he say he was assassinated? No, you telling me that we 500 years behind. No, I'm, I'm not telling you. I'm, he asked me, what do I think? So you don't have to project off of my my personal. Oh, so that's not that's not Fomenko's. Okay. No, no, no. So then back to, so then how does he, so he's basically saying some things are off but then other things are in their correct time period. Because it catch up to where you can't lie about this. Right, so then he's saying like, so then he'll say Jesus is contemporary with people in the 12th century. Right, and he approved Rather it. than being contemporary with the first century. That person. motherfucker, gotcha. right, absolutely. Gotcha, gotcha. all right. He, he'll say something like, it's impossible for this motherfucker to write a letter to this nigga at this time. When this motherfucker existed way back here in the... At the, in the, you said the Jesus time. So I seen shit like that. And then I would go and look up the information. And then I have books like, uh, you know, um, 
the Flavian family, the writers of the New Testament. And then I'll read this Jewish uh, perspective. And, and I even looked up some of his references and shit. I'm like, damn, that, that's what it's saying. So then now years later, I, I, I see the Anatoly uh, Fomenko video and I get off into his shit, download his shit. And I'm reading this shit. And then I'm seeing debates like nobody's fucking with him, his team in debates. Like they're kids, bro. Like they're in their twenties debating his information. Like nobody fucking with him. So I, 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 I people will say pseudo, but I, I know how pseudo. I know it got to be pseudo before it's science, because somebody gonna always have an opposition in um in, in position when you bring something to the table. That's it, whether it's true or not. So. I'm 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 still studying his shit. It's a lot of information, bro. But I'm gonna lean towards that shit. I I'm good. Like I I don't gotta uh I'm not saying that I'm gonna um solidify that, but my spirit feel good about his information. So I'm good with it. I'm good with keeping keeping furthering my studies in that information that they bring it forth. Cause it's ongoing. It's ongoing. And then like, what was going on in the first century Jerusalem? Uh First century Jerusalem. And so that means then that's that the Herod Hasmonean in, period. Right. So no. you're saying in the Herod. That's the end of the uh, Yeah, that's what he's that's what he that's what he's saying. So he's saying there's no proof that Herod and these people would have been ruling and in power. And so if if we deal with like um, Caranius, I Caranius, um, all these no. Um, so like there, there's a guy, <laughs> yeah, bro. I don't know if you want to do this. So there's a guy in the Bible, um, uh, named Caranius or Caranius, who is who is basically the general or the leader of these areas twice, right? Right. Um, he orders, he he has decrees for the census for i mean this is on record like he has decrees for these things in these time periods is he a son or a grandson because they carry the same names a lot of time from what we see um he he he's he's contemporaneous with caesar becomes contemporaneous with the herod figure of the first century so i'm trying to understand i'm trying to understand um how this Herod figure is contemporaneous with 1200 AD as opposed to 100 AD in that time period. Right. Yeah, I wouldn't know. We have to get into that. But that's the whole okay. thing. It's something that we right. can do get as into a team. It. Right. You know what I'm saying? Uh, actually get off into it. Because um, you'll find a lot of the dates that we use in the bases, that's how we, that's how we spread. We just autonomously spreading false information. We don't we don't do our own research no more. We that's what I said. We 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 never been in space and we'll die telling the motherfucker what we learned about space. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We'll put that shit on what I never been in space. I can't tell you. I can tell you what my, my mind observed, my body, my eyes observed. My eyes have observed the clouds behind the sun and behind the moon. You know what I'm saying? My eyes have. My eyes have observed a whole fucking star move across the sky and didn't stop. Made me go in the house and get my motherfucking uh, Canon 90D. Nigga, and put that motherfucking telephoto lens on there and look up there and see what it is. That shit was just looking like a motherfucking bright-ass light with some blue and red shit jumping around on the inside. Wait a minute. So then, just so I'm clear, then, the, the Greek and the Roman period then is, is pushed to 1200? It's it's in the, it's it stays the same or is it's it the same. The it's the same period, bro. They the Greeks and the Romans did they just created that period. It wasn't no. It's the same people on on see on um on uh Alexander's deathbed. He gave his kingdom to his four best friends that he read that he read came up from a right. Youth with. But that but that's in that's in that's around three hundred BCE somewhere like that. You saying that that really happened in one hundred or two hundred AD? I don't. I, I can't even tell you that, bro. Because right now I'm to the point to where we have to actually. That's why I gave you the name of that book, to where he shows that Flavius Josephus and the Flavian family had had inserted themselves in the doctrine 
So, like, I didn't want to bring that to the table, but like, it, it's a lot of reasons why I actually may agree um, with some of, or majority of the stuff that I've read so far about this guy's material. Because I hear you, but when I'm asking you, you giving me a bunch of I don't know. No, but yeah, that's what I said. That's why I gave you the material so you can know. <laughs> I'm not interested in what you asking. So I didn't look that shit up. Well, how I looked can you up not be with, interested I was, with the actual historical record? Because I was looking for period. something specifically that I had inquired about that uh, I needed a uh, reference at the time that piqued my interest about him. Wouldn't it be important, though, to have references or, or to deal with the actual historical references of that time period? <laughs> yeah, you can go and look it up and see what they say. And then you might have some insight... Like I felt like I did on some other shit, and I was like, "Okay, I'm gonna lean with uh, Anatoly." It's a it's an ongoing study. It ain't nothing that you can put on a shelf and and say I got it. You can't. Nothing, bro. Being a fucking Christian should have taught you that, or 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 a Muslim or Israelite or whatever it is that you. <clears throat> I've been through to get you to where you is now. You might stop somewhere right now. You might not have to. I'm 46. I've been through a couple of different phases. Um, and I went through them. Uh, what should I should say? Like, uh, I didn't just dabble. Like, I immersed myself in it to understand them. Different things, different mindsets. Like, when I believed that it was aliens. I was seeing shit in the fucking sky. I wasn't making shit up. I was pictures, videos. What the fuck is it? It's before drones. I had a whole idea about how, how okay, the, the, this universe goes through a phase. Um, each planet has its time, and we leave each planet like Noah and he takes like Noah, right? And, and go into a new age where we go to a new planet and then we go there, we emerge in there, we grow, we spend our time there and then the humans leave there and go to the next planet, blah, 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 right? So I had this whole little, cause we had to, well, they got shit on, on Mars. Oh shit, they got shit on, they found shit on. So that, the moon. That, that was your thoughts. Uh... Before I realized that they actually taking pictures of other parts of the earth that is uninhabited that once was. Okay. They're not going to fucking Mars or the moon. They're just taking poor pictures of fucking Different parts of Antarctica and shit. Yeah. That's what they doing, bro. I see the earth as a plane that's that's continu that's got to continue. It continues. You can't go past a certain point until you uh, have expounded um, you know, until you Exhaust the resources? Not exhaust the resources until you graduate. They not you can't go into a like all like a baby. You can't get out the crib to you. Uh -huh. Then now you get uh -huh. in the crib, now they put you in a playpen. Uh -huh. Put you in a play. Now you in a motherfucking living room where you can't go down the stairs. Right. You know what I'm saying? Put you in front of the house, put you on the porch, put you in front of the house. Now you can't go down the it's like that in real for all of us as humanity. That's what I feel like. But I, I I've been long shedded the idea about planets. And 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 more see of them as as a plane, planes. What if you look at a a planet, right? And it's the actual reflection of the plane beneath it. You know what I'm saying? And that's a portion of the Earth plane. So you can go many different directions. Your mind, you know what I'm saying? We can we can take them all type of places, brother. But you don't got to eliminate them. Just put them on a sticky pad and let let the most high, let the Holy Spirit, the spirit reveal things to you. But uh -huh. don't close your mind to nothing. You got to become, a, you got to be prepared to become a new wine skin. Uh -huh. You get new wine, get a new wine skin. You got to rebirth yourself. I'm no longer that what I used to believe. And you won't never grow. No, it was so hard for me to share Jesus, bro. I promise you, man, like, I, I kept saying in the, in the name of your son, Jesus Christ, even when I, even long afterward for saying that shit for so long, bro, and felt like I was actually committing blasphemy if I, if I don't say or go directly to the most high. 
when you're thinking in Jeremiah, when he's like, nigga, all you got to do is repent and cry out to me, and I'll give you your land back, well intact, the earth. He ain't say nothing about no Jesus, and you don't never see Jesus. <laughs> you don't hear nothing about Jesus till the New Testament, bro. You be like, hold on, wait a minute. So God <laughs> gave when Jesus. he was born, he's crazy. Man, hold on, right, yeah, hold on. Let's, you got to use like, logical arguments when you're speaking, bro. Let me tell you why. Be because he said it wasn't nobody praying in the name of Jesus in the Old Testament. Right, <laughs> right. I know that, but I'm but saying he took that's God. not a strong argument because Jesus wasn't born. No, the problem is, is that he didn't ever do this before in the Old Testament. <laughs> it was thousands of years before the New Testament. Yeah. Now you got only uh, a couple yeah. of hundred years, not even a hundred years. You only got a fucking hey, thirty years. To illogical people, man. I, I just it just sounds illogical no, because not you're strong, not considering. No, I just I am considering everything it's, you're saying, it's, and it's I just hurting told you it's hurting. It's not hurting, hurting at all. Y'all What's hurting is, is you sounding stupid. I just said that. <laughs> <laughs> I just said that uh, Jesus wasn't in the Old Testament, so you can't use the argument that people wasn't praying to Jesus in the Old Testament. Wait, wait, wait. That's not what I was saying, brother. Wait, wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on, real, real quick. That's somebody what you just trans- said. Somebody yeah, translate. Hold, for hold me. on, hold on, hold on, hold on. In the in the New oh, Testament, shit. doesn't Jesus talk about like like Moses? Saw it, saw the day of his coming, etc., or whatnot, or, or Abraham, etc. One of the two. Mm-hmm. So, 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 so the consciousness of him is in the Old Testament, correct? It says they saw the day of his coming. So he wasn't there yet. That's obvious from, from what he just said. <laughs> but they, but, but they knew about it. They knew about him. Is what is, is what is, is what he said. Right. So what? What's that have to do with anything? Jesus don't become the God until we get conquered. No, I'm tr- brother, I, I, why you cut the man off? I'm trying to understand why, <laughs> why it's important for him. Fuck to that. Say, I'm slapping. I'm punching at you. You trying to fight another nigga. Me and you fight. You trying to go <laughs> fight another nigga. He brought himself into, in between. But we still so, fighting. So, okay, I'll beat both of you up at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> I done missed that 150 million times in my life. That's why my nose broke and crooked now. Yeah, so I'm telling why, you. Why I got to get beat up? You know what I'm saying? What's going on? We can't well, that's what Larry's trying to c- c- equate it to. I'm trying to say. <laughs> I'm, just I'm, trying to out, <laughs> I'm trying to figure out why why you think it's smart to say that they wasn't praying to Jesus in the Old Testament when Jesus was not born. <laughs> you Did Jesus guy? say, I come in my father's name? Yeah. Was God named Jesus? Yeah. You lying. Yeah. You're lying. You just, no, you forming the doctrine to fit your fucking psyche. Logical Not at all. Let me explain since you confused, guy. Okay. So we know for a fact that he gave his son, his firstborn son, Israel, his name. We know that, right? Hey, that's us. Follow my logic. If my people who are called by my name. Which is right Israel, you right? You okay, so that's why we're surnamed Israel. Now, uh, the uh, it also says that he is our salvation, right, Lance? God, I am the Lord, your Savior, and there is no other. And I am your salvation, right? Because Savior and salvation are two different words, brother. Holy moly, now you're going to make me unsheath my sword. <laughs> uh, 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 since, you say, since you sound confused, let me offer some clarity to you. You don't have to, bro. Uh, I, I'm, oh, yeah, I'm, amazed, I'm, I'm just, so I'm just I amazed that you want to make an argument. This I, don't, I, don't, I, I just don't you, you understand don't why. You don't care about the Bible. Okay, I got you. No, I it's not you, that. Bro. I'm just saying oh, I don't understand why okay. you want to make an argument about something I'm not. Psalms 35 and 3. Draw out also the spear. Oh, see, I got my sword on she Now I got to pull my spear because it told me to do so. <laughs> and stop the way against them that persecute me. Say unto my soul, I am your salvation. So the word salvation is strong age. Hold on. Let me, let me share my screen so you can hear 
Exactly what's being said, yeah. Let me share my screen. This sounds awfully similar to similar to a debate you have. <laughs> Let me share my screen here. Okay. I am your salvation. You see the you see the phrase, right? Psalm thirty five and three. Now listen carefully to the word salvation, brother. Strong's H thirty four forty four. Yeshua. Yeshua. Did you hear that? I did hear that. What's your point? So holy shit. Uh, 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 that's not a pronoun, bro. That's not a pronoun. Stop playing. I started off. I started off telling you that you have a weak argument saying that Jesus doesn't exist because the Old Testament never prayed to Jesus. This is his name, salvation. So the Most High's name is salvation. You challenged me and said, is the Most High's name salvation? I said, yeah. So if it is. That's my name. It's like Hold father, on, like are son. We talking about. Are we talking about Jesus' name being mentioned? Or are we talking about praying to Jesus? And we are weren't we talking about praying to Jesus. We was talking about yeah, well, supposed to pray to Jesus. No, I would already destroyed him on that on that topic. Uh, he said that they wasn't praying to Jesus. I said that's because Jesus wasn't born. I the understand they testament. wasn't praying in Jesus' name, is what. He uh, said. Yeah, exactly. And I was saying no. I was saying that I. And then felt, he said, uh, felt it took bad for not time. praying yeah. in Jesus' name. Right. You know what I'm saying? Said, and straight going time straight to the most high. Drink Jesus, right? That's a fact. And he's yeah. making a strong argument saying that you can go straight to the Father. But uh, Messianics realize that you need a mediator. No, you don't. You just need to clean yourself. I said Messianics. Are you Messianic? Uh, I do believe in the Messiah, but I don't believe Jesus is the Messiah. He can't be the Messiah even genetically. Hmm. He can't. He can't. He can't be the King of Israel when he come from Jokaniah, whose children is neighbor, ever neighbor, uh, never able to rule in in Israel. You're talking about Jokaniah, who would have been born. You're talking about Jokaniah, who would have been born in 1200 AD, right? <laughs> Let me stop. <laughs> Jokaniah. Yeah. Okay. So you you want a pronoun? You want a a proper? Salvation, proper noun salvation, right? So here's one for you, brother. I just this the Maliwap land uh tray on this topic, brother. So why are you even challenging Strong's H thirty four forty four? But I do want to make it clear Yeshua. Oh, okay. Yeshua. That's the word that means salvation, brother. Right, and that's the name of Jesus. Now I wanna you just show the salvation is at the gates and then try to say that that's God. Wait a minute, brother. No, I said that that's Jesus. And who is also God. So y'all trick yourself into believing that that's, that word salvation is God. That is Christian interpolation that who, fucked you with you. dealing with claim. You, you dealing yeah. with claim. You, that's you what I'm talking stop. about. And don't be and don't be talking to him like that neither. I don't like. Hey nah, like hey nah, hey nah, no, no, no. I walk around with, with size, brother. You walk around with what? I, I got I, hell yeah. I'm ready. Like, what you mean? You big? No. Here we like, go. Like I got. You say, do you I say got you two weapons. With size. I got two weapons. What's those? Oh, weapons? side side arms is what he meant to say. Oh, you mean like this? Oh, uh, sound what like a BB about? gun. Oh, so don't, so don't. That shit so sound don't. like a BB. I shoot every weekend, brother. That shit sound like a BB gun. That sound like no. that sound like no clip and no bullet in the chamber. Sound like no clip, and I'm just playing. Yeah, I, mean, I, I could I could rack it, did it sound for like you. Yeah, you didn't hear. Yeah, I could ratchet it for you if you want, son. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop listening though, because I'm not supposed to listen. Yeah, nah, you supposed to be on. You supposed to be on here more. But you see how what I got to deal with, bro. I be re, I be really 
It's like Hold you got to. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What you mean what you got to deal with? First of all, I don't know what it means, let's, brother. Let's, let's, like, let's, look here, look here, look here, look here. Now, first off, I'm going to you. Yeah, you get off the bench. I'm playing one-on-one with this nigga. You get off the bench to block my shots. I was on your side. And that ain't, hey, look, and that ain't going to work for me because I just come up to the train station and start slapping people. It don't matter with me. Oh, yeah. So, 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 understand. Oh, you need a hug, man. You know what I mean? So understand you dealing with claims. Be but careful. you see what I'm dealing with, bro? Yeah, no, yeah, yeah I, I see, brother. I yeah, see, brother. I'm here for you. Lance, I'm here for you, brother. I, I, I see what you mean, brother. I, I feel for you, brother. I rock with Lance. I told him that. Like, I'm, I even yeah, apologize. Yeah, I, 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 I rock with you, brother. Yeah, you did, ain't I? I, 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 I'm, I'm I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I rock with you. But no, we're gonna have like a problem once I get into this <laughs> totally Fumiko nonsense. So that's number one. Number two, I think you're gonna uh, be uh, really nah, impressed with his nah, fucking team. Nah, I'm already when you get when book. you get charged by the king reading, to teach a nation. The book. I'm already reading the book right now. This is the I book. Feel, I, I feel like there's it. a future debate on this on this topic that, I, that I'm, I'm gonna be. What's this reading. book? This book is history, fiction, or science? That's that's this 626 page work. This is the first one I'm gonna get into. So I'm, I'm gonna get into this. And we're What's that one called that you about to get into? This is a uh, and I'll brush up with it. It's called history, fiction or science. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's the first. That yeah. So this is the first joint. So I'm starting at the beginning, right? Um, so we're gonna get into this. You are gonna and, love, and it. we'll see, we'll see. But you my know. thing is, I want to get back to this. Uh, I want because I want y'all to clarify are you saying praying in the name of Jesus or praying to Jesus, and then I want to understand your concept of what it means to pray in the name of Jesus. Are either applicable? <sighs> you talking uh, about uh, yeah. Clank? I don't, I don't, I'm done with that. I mean, I'm if we talk about just if we just talk about strictly saying in, in Jesus' name, amen, then that's that's a fallacy, right? But if you understand authority and when they talk about name. And and we really started to get into that, you know. I I, I can run you through the book. Who is his uh, son? You might need. Who, to, who's son? We might have to have that conversation with. Who is God's son? According to the scripture. According, according to. Scripture. Yeah, who, according to Israel, and who and who is the most perfect son of Israel? Hold on, wait a minute. He gonna tell you the same answer. Of <laughs> all the nations of the earth, who has he known? Holy Israel. Shit. I only know Israel, brother, right? Hold on. You, you the on. only new Israelite we ever met, brother. We don't, oh, we smart, we already smart Israelites, bro. Right, so let me walk, walk with me and stop. Every time I bring out information, it's just like you get. Yeah, um, because you asked us a question that a goddamn infant Israelite that the first day here, it, it learned, they just found out their nationality yesterday knows the answer to Now, see, this is what I'm talking about, bro. So when I do mention something, assuming that you should fucking know it, you see what I'm saying? So now I'm walking you. I'm walking you now. That's right. Okay. All right. Okay, talk. Okay, talk. I'm going to stop. Now, you got, you got, you go, you go straight to the most high for everything in the Old Testament. You don't gotta. No, you don't. Yes, you do. What are you talking about? Listen, you got the priest. A, 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 Listen, you got the priest. You got the priest, of course, right? But course. you can that's, personally that's keeping the law can go straight to the Most High. How? How do you got that? Jeremiah tells you. Right. I don't All you got to do. So Christ even tells you to say he starts off the disciples' prayer saying, "Our Father, which art in heaven." So I'm trying to understand what your point is. I want to. I want to really understand. My point is, is that. Jesus is not the Messiah of the Hebrews. Hold and on. how do we how do we get there from hold on? That's a big jump. Right. You see what I'm saying? That's yeah. This I, is it's not a big jump. It's the it, same. Man. I'm on the same. I'm you still talking about the same. Thing. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let, 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 let me finish this. Conflating. Yes, he's a conflating. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I told him he was a professional hold on, real, real quick. I feel Instead like of a like, professional listen, debater. He's a listen, hold on, real look quick, what real, I did. Real, I started. Real, I said real, real quick. I think I feel like Lance likes to likes to draw big circles, and if and, 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 uh, if he gets interrupted, he might not get to finish the circle. You know what I'm saying? So okay, let, let, let me hear you finish the circle right quick, bro. Okay. What I stated, brother, in the beginning is that I don't believe Jesus even fits in the kingship of got you Heard right that. so i mentioned jaconiah right? right that nobody can refute that he they right so then yes, i said can. I, you can't yes i can i say that he's not 
a descendant of Jack and Ike. Correct him. But you don't. Okay, I want to, but come on, brother. You can't just lay out your statement without without insults. Try that. I didn't insult. That's what it says. It says that no, you Jesus said in the book of Matthew that he is a descendant of Jeconiah and that he does not fit. He's not fit to be a king. That's what you said. No, I said no one can. He's not that. fit to be a king because he's a descendant of Jeconiah. Hey, my, my G, can you? Um, is quoting that, you yeah. word for word. You're, you're getting emotional. Can, can, can you pay yeah, because you were acting like Shaka XL. I'm quoting you word I'm for really word. Calm. I'm very calm. <laughs> Brother, I'm quoting you word for word. Uh, Ashaka XL is super calm, but I'm quoting you word for word. You're saying that Jesus can't be the king because he's a descendant of Jeconiah. According and to then you're saying, I'm not saying that. I said according to scripture. Okay, no shit. So right. what I'm saying is- Is that in the scripture? Let, do me a favor. Do me a favor. Just lay out your- I can't. You're point. going to keep interruption. You're Just going to keep interrupting. Your... <laughs> but don't say, don't say nobody can refute my information. Well, I, 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 had to, I had to give you my premise, which I stated. It's going to trigger me. Then it's I was going, going to go off to into triggered. why. But it's late. It's fucking four o'clock in the fucking morning, dude. Right. So how am I supposed to know when you're going to be triggered or not? Is that my <laughs> Because I, I, I'm telling you, I just told you. I said, don't say that nobody can refute your information, nigga. So, you, hold on, claim. Hold on. That's all you gotta say. Hold that's on, all on, you gotta claim. do. That's easy. Hold on. How, how about this? Get that part out of your explanation. How about you cuss him out on mute? Oh, <laughs> 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 oh God. The thing is, I had to just do a video, bro, because when you no, bring you this information Lance, out, it's you emotional. Got, you got the floor. Just go ahead. It's not emotional. Just bring out the. Just, I want to hear what you're saying, bro. But I need you to stop. Drawing big circles and deal specifically with the task at hand. So go ahead, brother. What's my premise, fellas? I'm waiting to hear that, fam. Like it's been a lot that's happened. So I'm, I'm, I, I'm pretty sure I stated. What's my premise? Once again, I'm waiting to hear that, brother. So, I'm, so okay, right off the top, from what I can recall, that that you don't believe that Jesus qualifies as a Messiah based upon lineage. That was one point, absolutely. Okay. And I was going into other points, but I was being and then so, the other point. So, was, so just just for me, can you let the brother finish the circle and then and then and then you know what I'm saying? Right, and right, right. like how big that joint is. <laughs> right. As I stated, uh Jesus, Eosus, Jesus cannot be the Messiah according to my understanding based off of the fact that he fits into the bloodline of Jeconiah, one instance. Okay. Instance two, the Most High says all throughout the Old Testament, I am your savior, and even questions, have I sent another? Okay. Three, um, the, the Jews were kicked out of, out of Israel. And any royalty, of course, would have been left harm's way. Royalty. They're not going to be just lingering around. This is fucking... The, uh, we already know how to... Right? <laughs> <laughs> not going to yeah, be lingering yeah. around. Hey, that, man, that, you that. did fantastic, bro. I just want yeah, you... Yeah, I can't... Like, and I can't did, blame Claim at this point. This is Claim, you did a fantastic, yeah. bro. Go ahead, go ahead, brother, man. Go ahead. Go ahead, Lance. No, I'm going to stop, man. I'm Y'all ain't ready for what I had to bring up. What are you talking okay, no, about? No, 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 I'm going to stop. You're I'm going to stop. You're going to stop acting like we haven't heard all of these arguments before. Please continue, sir. No, I'm, man, I'm not interested in even having a conversation. Yeah, I'm, oh, I'm at, oh. Let me tell you why. Let me I'm tell you at, why. Because somebody told me when you want somebody to get something, don't give it to them. Just leave Lick. it. <laughs> Always leaving one of you, See, bro. We was doing so well, bro. We was I'm serious, man. Oh so well, man. When you want oh somebody to get something, don't give it to them. Okay. Well, I'm not gonna give you the answers to those BS to be BS ass, and not told. I got you. Those BS ass uh, rejections that you have. We've dealt with them for several, almost a decade now. Like this is. 
the fact that you think that you bring in groundbreaking information frustrates me. I will, I, I will honestly admit that. But I'm content to. That let wasn't you my finish. position of brown. I didn't present this as groundbreaking information. I didn't bring this out like well, I just you, you stated said, my. You said that it's something new that they can't handle, and they. That's, I mean, that's what those are your words. So I'm saying like. It's not that Clayton can't handle it. He's frustrated because you're kind of all over the place, bro. That's all. No, I'm kind of around the same spot. Yeah. If you but listen, a lot of times, this is what I learned, bro. A lot of times, like oh, this, I, I, never told you, I, <laughs> I, I draw, right? So I, I can I can draw a, a, a tree because Boy, I, I, I look at trees a lot. Rob Rack to me. Look, if you I, I draw. Not so stop doing so when Rob you do when you putting a puzzle together, if you not used to looking at shit like trees or buildings, it's gonna be hard for you to put the puzzle together. But if you actually insert yourself in actually understanding a tree and a building and actually looking at it, you can actually start <laughs> seeing trees and buildings in other shapes and shit in other art forms. So you're able to put the puzzle together better. What'd you say more? I said I ain't heard a Rob Rack analogy in a long time. That's what's yeah, up. Yeah, this is a this is a rackster. So I'm gonna tell you this, Lent, since we just jumping all over the place, just waxing poetic. I know you're gonna say you don't care, but you will probably find a lot less um pushback if you would pick one subject. In, in the middle of the conversation and deal with that subject and then come back or, you know, draw a small circle first and then draw a larger circle outside of that and then draw your biggest circle on the outside of that. But instead... Well, I, I, yeah, because if, when you draw a big circle, you get to see where everyone is. Right. But if you're really trying to actually build, you have to start with the micro, then move to the macro. That's all I'm telling you. It's just basic human conversation right, right. i mean also, that's just i mean i think i do pretty well with people who is privy to the subjects that i speak on i think that it goes pretty smoothly i don't have no issue with the with the exception of the anatoly flamenco and even as it pertains to what he's saying his theory is not new i mean you have several different scientists who say that the timeline is off by four or five hundred years right now that's not, I, I have no no qualms with that. I want to know what his information is so I can speak to it intelligently, but it, it's really not a difficult situation to address. Um, that's why client claim is telling you stop being insulting because it's also insulting to assume that people who read as much as the people that you talk to haven't heard the information that you're bringing out or that they're just too silly and mere mortals and not at the level to be able to grasp it when maybe, just maybe. It's a complete contradiction. Hold on. Just maybe there's a flaw with how you present the information. Like, for instance, you're telling me I need to really take a look at Flamingo's work, and I am, right? But then when I'm asking you simple questions, as in, i.e., how then do we equate the contemporaneous people that we have in these time periods with actual primary resources, and then say that these things should be moved 1,000 years in the future. How do we deal with a timeline that shows other people clearly dealing with these positions that were taken about Christ 500, 600 years before when you're saying that things, these things happen? Yeah, I think so. You that. have no answer for that. Even I don't even remember you asking me some shit like that. What are you talking about, bro? Yeah, I think you made that up. Heard stuff. Yeah, uh, no, I don't be thinking about that nerd shit, bro. I be trying to get the solid basis to build my you shit. You do right. be thinking about that nerd shit. You yeah, see what I'm saying, more? Nerds, like, man. come on, bro. Like, look, bro. <laughs> like, look, and I get it. And this is what happens when I deal with a lot of people. So I'm I, now I'm gonna get in my little bag, right? Um, when I start chopping away at these things, then it's nerd stuff, or it's no, I'm just you're like, right. No, you're the, this, moment, the, the moment I heard a six hundred page book come out, I was like, hell no. No, <laughs> no, no, no. I refuse to put any thought or energy into that shit. But I will. I'm that one. So hey, I'm hey, you you so I'm, 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 but the but the point that I'm making is using me. Hey yo, leave no stone unturned, brother. But the point that I'm making to, to hey, you I'll turn it over. I'm just, I'm just I'm just saying I won't open it up. You have got to do better in presenting your information, bro. 
there's a reason you get this type of pushback is because of the way that you it's, it's it's almost like a shotgun approach right and and it doesn't need to be that way because you have to be precise with presenting this information and with you i notice a lot a broad scope a huge paintbrush but then when it's time to dot the i's cross the t's we don't have that and that's where the anger comes from especially for a brother like clay or for a person like melvin when you just getting into it with him right nigga, so imagine a nigga like me who read all these fucking books and i can't talk to nobody about them because niggas don't fucking read you that but you assume that we don't that's why you found the community. You just showed me an example that you don't. Because I did co it. Tell me, tell me, what's stop, stop. Because I haven't read the works of Anatoly Fomenko. That means that I don't read. No, not Anatoly Fomenko. Just the history, just the whole hookup with everything I brought no, to the wait, table, wait, even stop, perspective. Stop, stop, stop. Then I need for you to qualify this now because just weeks ago you were just saying, how, oh my God, you read, you do so much scholarship. And now you're telling me I don't read because I haven't read. We're not talking person. about, I'm not even talking about you. You making yourself the subject of this. Hold on, now you switch, you're talking to me. You just No, I'm me. saying no. I'm talking about people. You just, you're far, you're you just, just in a rat in a line of people who you're, you're not you're, even you're, against me. You said you rock with me. But you're telling me that I don't read. So I want you to qualify that statement or say I'm not talking about you. I did. I said I'm not talking about. I that, said right, I, so I, I, that, I didn't say so, no one's name. So now back to the point. So That's why I was trying to interject right quick, bro. So, so what I'm saying is, ahead. you don't found you don't found a whole community of, of, of geek squads and, and, and think that th this community that you're in now don't read just because we haven't read what you're discussing right now. Is you crazy? I think that. People spend a lot of years in the same paradigm and haven't grown no further, and and it's and it, it's a paradigm outside of the which you, not you particularly, people, what they've learned, and it's hard to dialogue with new information comes on the table. Man, if, if Melvin is trying is trying to start a library. You know how many books it takes to start a library? Yep, one, one book. Okay then. So that's a book outside of his paradigm that he has read. So I'm trying to tell you. Who? Melvin. Uh, he ain't yeah. even here. How I'm saying you that Melvin was brought up because uh, you got into it with Melvin and you have the same talking points every time somebody engages you on an opposite end or challenges your information. You say that we don't read. How? We read plenty of things. Sometimes we haven't read things that you have read about the timeline and about the European history. That's how I know that your European history and your Russian history is factual because I've already read that stuff. Right. So this is what I'm saying. That's why, that's why I said what I said. Because with me being an Israelite and going from a Christian to an Israelite and chasing that, chasing that, um, that holy grail and you have to I, I don't see how i you can i don't see how people can chase the holy grail and don't have and not had it ran into the information that i have over these past years that's why i just talk openly and just mention the, things because i assume does, that's that people have already word. read it man come on how can the world why in the world would the most high give everybody the exact same thing If we're not on one accord and stuff like this, what, what it, it, you need is it, this. He knows what you need over here. You see what I'm saying? Like he says that we take care of us. Isn't it uh, a fact that I take care of the birds? What, 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 how much more would I take care of you? So he gives us whatever we need at the time. So you came around and told us information that some people haven't read. So you're the information that they need at the time. You're not open to new information from other people because you only trust the most high. So you can't even learn from us at all. So you are at a disadvantage in your process of learning. I can. I can learn from y'all. I, I learn. I learn. 
um DNA from somebody from a few of y'all, and, and I got off in the DNA and studying shit. Found a lot of shit that I've studied it has a, a DNA backing. So um that's not true. But some shit I already went through and I already had those thoughts and I already then took them off. They no longer on the sticky pad. I've I have concluded. So when new when you might think that you're teaching me something, I'm 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 I may be a little uh mm -hmm. dismissive because I've already had that that process of uh, and you already came came to your conclusion. Right. But but what if your conclusion was a faulty conclusion though on some things? Not everything, but some things. What's the, what, like, let me tell you an example why my conclusion example is like it's, it's only it's only the most high the most high power right so like there's I no said, other there is no said, other right there's no other god that's i conclude you know what that uh, right see that's that's, example. That's another example that's a, another example right. that's exactly my point you have concluded that based on the fabian the 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 recent uh revelation of a 2014-2016 uh, forgery <laughs> talking about they invented Jesus. They talk about that family invented Jesus. And so it took you a long time to shed Jesus out of your mind and nah. out of your mouth. No, 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 wasn't even gonna go there, claim. No, that was just there. Listen, that was just some listen, just to hear that paradigm from uh from a Jewish man who don't who don't have favor with Christianity. I wanted to hear their perspective because I only hear good things about Christianity. So yes. So then I went into understanding and actually looking up the shit that he was saying, which this motherfucker put his integrity online. I want to see why he risked it. And I went and looked that what, shit up. What? Hold on. And then I seen that that shit though it is man. what he said. He calls himself an Israelite, dude. What integrity does he have? He, he's an identity thief. Nigga don't have your best interest at heart. Did you bro. look up his references? Okay, let me put it to you like this, bro. Let me put it to you like this. Yes, I did. Yeah. Me, I'm going to catch y'all tomorrow, man. I got some, I got some yeah. important stuff to handle in the morning. So shalom, y'all. Shalom. Shalom, black. Thank you, uh, thank you for sticking you. around this long. Oh, fam. Yeah. Appreciate you pop up, pulling up on us. Now listen, brother, let me put it to you like this. You won't fool me. I know my history. That's my s slogan. I like saying that. But people don't even understand how deep that goes. You won't fool me. I know my history. I, I call that. history, I call my history Mystery with an I, M I S T O R Y. Mystery, my story, history. Do you know how much time that we have in history? Thousands and thousands of years. And do you understand the accuracy that's needed to establish that history and the proof that needs to be established? And I have the majority of it semi, almost semi mastered. So that one phrase, you won't fool me, I know my history, <clears throat> from a, 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 a geek that's akin to, I like to uh, uh, compare myself to data, right? From Star Trek, the next generation. <clears throat> when he thinks about things for, 0 0.03 nanoseconds, that's equivalent to a human thinking for 30 years. So that's I how I think. You, I want to know where you got them numbers from. How do you, I want to know. That's what he said one day. He, he was like, he was like, <laughs> it took me, it took me, that's it took me 0 0.03 uh, seconds to uh, even ponder that. That, 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 was a bit, that was an excellent question you asked me. <laughs> That's from episode 217, you know what I'm saying? Oh, exactly. you goddamn weirdos. This is the more the, the, the answer to his question. I'm saying we a bunch of damn nerds, I can be saying. Yeah. We're pure geeks, nigga. Yeah. So you talking <laughs> to... weirdo. He said brother, this shit you talking to people who understand a lot of information, brother. He said this shit is It's impossible for any one of us to know every goddamn thing. So, of course, some of the stuff you say we're going to be slightly under, unfamiliar with. 
You see what I'm saying? We're not going to be masters of it. Hey, did right. y'all ever associate the Borgship with oh. the New Jerusalem? Hold on. No, right. before you. Hey, did we ever do what? Wait, 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 wait. What did uh, yeah, do? Yeah, what yeah, yeah. I got it. Yeah, I, I did that same thing. Hold on a second. Before we even get into the board conversation, mm. you know, what we're talking about here is the Most High only. Now, I put it to you that way as a preface to what I'm about to tell you. I said, "You won't fool me. I know my history. <laughs> that is thousands." <laughs> Don't scream, brother. That's thousands of dollars <laughs> of study. Literally thousands of hours of study to us. We're geeks, bro. So you're talking to other geniuses. So now, now I'm prefacing this so that I could tell you something that you won't even possibly believe. It's, it's impossible for you to believe this. I have to tell you at this moment right now anyway. Because you 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 you're making my head you <laughs> you're doing something to me. I'm telling like you. Name kind of straight is on right now. The note to see. You I'm trying to give you. You're doing something to me. I'm trying to give you accurate as much ac accurate information as I can. So I had to go through this learning process of presenting and debating in order to pull out as much evidence as I can about particular topics. So now I have saved a ton of evidence on Jesus Christ. And that forgery is not one of them because, yes, I checked it, the references, and they don't add up. So they've, it's already been deemed a forgery in the scientific community. So now all I'm expressing to you is that I have seen that man that you're talking about face to face. Don't scream. I saw him. He was standing not six, seven feet from me. I saw him with my eyeballs. I saw him in a human form, and I saw him in his son form. And then it made me realize why. Well, I want, I want y'all to debate. I just want y'all to debate. I don't care what. I want to see that. I think it's a cheater. Did you call claim a cheater? I just, I just, I he's just molly with him. Honorable. We've already debated. I, uh, I just right. molly with him. Hold yeah, on, yeah, hey, yeah, nah, I don't know why you, you. You did beat him up. I'm sorry. Go ahead. He did I'm not sorry. beat me Go up. Ahead. He beat you. Seen it. Interrupted my bill. I said, I'm sorry, fam. I'm sorry. But this is highly important because I, I got to get, I got to get the inf the correct information to him, so that he can blatantly deny it, so that the blood will be off my hand. You see what I'm saying? Okay, come on. <laughs> I told you, <clears throat> I told you clearly two seconds ago that I have seen the man with my own two eyeballs face to face in his human form and in his son form, S U N. You seen so, God? I saw Jesus. Okay. All right. Okay. And he asked me, uh, who do you say that I am? I said, you, Jesus Christ. Everybody knows you. He, responded to me and said you have answered well i said well i'm 13 years old let, let me talk. tell this well me hold on let me talk hold on let, 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 him, let, let him go let him go because let me talk, I, I thought man. that motherfucker said if a nigga say you see jesus in the field don't believe him if you see a motherfucker i, I just thought that's what the bible say if you see it if a nigga say he's seen jesus that nigga's a damn lie that's what i read no, that's not what it says. It says if if they say that Jesus is in this location, don't believe him. Or if you say you've seen him. <laughs> I didn't say right. he's what? here right now what? in this location. What is happening? <laughs> oh, he, don't, he don't listen good. He don't listen good. But go ahead. Uh, it, it, you know, you know. Man, I forgot what I was going to say when he just said that. Keep going. Yeah. So... Uh, so I had to I had to say that right then because you, 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 extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence. So the historicity of Jesus Christ is very well established in the historicity community in the smart community. There's no smart people that will say he never existed, and then they will debate over his divinity. 
You see, that's a different topic. And did he have all these powers? Did he do all these miracles? Uh, you know, did he ascend into heaven? Is he God? And things of this nature. All that stuff is a different conversation other than his, his actual existence. So I'm letting you know, not only does he exist, but he is God himself. Okay. And so he does have a father that he tells us to pray to and, and then have him co-sign it because he's the only perfect son of Israel that can speak to God directly. But you can go ahead and respond to this. Okay. Um, Luke 17, 23. Um, then he said to the disciples, the time is coming when you will long to see one of the days see one of the days of the son of man but you will not see it people will tell you look there he is or look here he is do not go chase after them for just as the lightning flashes and lights up the sky from one end of the earth so will it be with the coming of the son of man yeah 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 next one yeah. you can hold on, hold on. And at one that at time, time oh uh, all right. All right. Okay. One at a time, brother. One at a time. See okay, to now. it that you are not deceived. I, I clearly said one at a time. One point at a time. Now, that point right there does not say what I said. I said I saw him one time in my life. I didn't say he's over here or he's over there. So follow me to him. You not understanding that is where my something happens to me. You see, when you don't understand basic conversation and basic English and comprehending the conversation properly, it does something to me. And the threats that I receive from the opposite end of non messianics or people who are anti-Christ infuriates me and I try to remain calm but you can unmute your mic and go on to the next point that you're trying to mischaracterize me hey, hey, real, real quick before he jumps in claim do you have less than three cigarettes in your box no I already finished the first uh, right. <laughs> and, and and I have three cigarettes left in this box. See that's what I no, see that's what I'm man. See I've been <laughs> keeping count. How do you know that? Because no, the, the the tone in your voice, where like the level of stress you got, I was like man, it's like there's three. The thing, you got less than three cigarettes or three cigarettes, <laughs> <laughs> and, you, and you gotta wait for like an hour. <laughs> 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 no, so it's probably open, but I got seven packs in on my table. All right, there you go. There Holy shamoli. Okay, so yeah, go ahead, uh, Lance. <laughs> my fault. I'm gonna stay out, stay out of y'all's life. No, nah, I mean, I digress with just, I was just gonna answer this, uh, your claim with the scripture, and you, you responded. I think you, I think that was, uh, I accept your response, and, and that's good. That's how you feel. I just think the scripture just totally kicks you in the nuts. Okay, can anybody uh, uh, expound to m help me understand his level of stupidity and and I, I want to um, choose uh, more as my um, counsel. Okay. Yeah. You are more. Yeah, more. It's just about to go get something to eat. You know. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I'll be right back. Hold on. Okay, so I want to understand how he thinks that I'm saying follow me to Jesus because he's in this location over here. I know exactly where he's at. With saying that you saw him in a vision, right? Okay. Yeah. Oh, you said you saw him in a vision. Holy shit, Moses! I thought you said you saw him. He was two two feet away from you, us seven feet away from you, or some shit. What would that be, Lance? What would that be considered, like? What? 
I mean, it it could be considered the nigga seen the nigga physically seven feet away from him. He gave a fucking yeah, that's a fact. Everything. That's a fact. That's what. That's exactly what happened. Yeah, that's exactly what happened. I saw so him a physically. physical person. Yeah, he was a physical person, and I believe I was in the spirit. That's what I think. That's what I right. know because so that, so my family is... witnessed my body standing in the hallway. Right. But so I, if you I, see I, something you know. in the spirit, if you're uh-huh. in the spirit and you in see it, that's a vision. That's, a that's what I'm explaining. To you. That's a vision. That is not physically a person walking up to you, you touching that person, and you knowing that person, and everybody else see him. See what I'm saying? Uh-huh. So yeah, oh, okay. that would be considered a vision. Okay, you had a vision. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. You, you, so you, so if I were to say this biblically, like in the King James or, or some type of die, oh, you know, my I was uh, uh, swept up in the spirit. Into right. into heaven, right, right, right. And, and and I was in a cloud, and and thy son, the, the, something uh, uh, resembling the son of man, was before me, and he asked the question that he asked Peter, and he was. He was pleased with my response and returned me to my body in earth. Did that make more sense? There you go. There you go, Clay. <laughs> yeah. I knew what you were saying off rip. I still want to understand how, well, I, th- I think now that you got clarity, now that you got clarity on what Clay's saying, do you understand why he's saying that Luke 17 would not be an accurate depiction to re- refute what he's saying? Um, I mean, if he said he's seen a vision, I mean, who can argue with a vision? But I, but he even... No, I've said, gotten many arguments. But he just said well, that you he felt like it was physical. He explained, he expressed it to me in the physical. So he just clarified that he didn't mean right. in the physical. No, I, I definitely thousand percent meant in the physical uh but you didn't I understand see, he wasn't there I, 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 I you only understand. seen him in your head what the fuck did you just say you only seen him in your head he wasn't really there you um that was a vision that you had a vision ain't in your fucking head bro what, what do you what, can anyone else see visions that you see listen man I understand your confusion on how I explained it, <clears throat> but I, I had to get that out at that moment because, you know, you you were going down the line of the most high only and all these things. So now I'm telling you that I'm sane, drug free, and that's it. Sane and drug free, and I'm not a liar. I'm trained to tell the truth at all times. So that's what actually happened for real. And so just because I was in the spirit, everything else was very physical. That's what I'm telling you, trying to explain to you. That's why I said it's both. I was in the vision. I had a vision in my spirit, not in my head. This, he took my spirit out of my body, took me into a cloud in the sky where he spoke with me. I looked down at the, through the bottom of the cloud and saw my grandmother's house. I said, what is my grandmother's house doing down there? And why am I out here in a cloud? And how am I standing inside of a cloud? So I had to rationalize all those things to say that the spirit is light enough to do that. And since he has a body and he's the son of man, he has the power and the willpower and the faith to stand as a physical person inside of the cloud without falling because he's, he knows how to manipulate th- that that situation, and so he came into the uh, purview uh, and, and, and right in front of me and asked me that question. And he said that I answered well. That's what was his response to me. Then he returned me back to my body, my human body. My uncle asked me, "What the fuck did you just see?" And I said, "Yep, that's what I saw," because they took a picture of it. And so I went back into the hallway, and that's when I saw his son. Uh, S-U-N form and this and this late in my life 
I S-O-N realize or S-U-N. S-O-N or S-U-N. Right. Be more fucking careful, nigga. I just want to make sure you weren't making a mistake, bro. I said S-U-N. Okay, so you saw a guy in the sun form. Right. This is why Lex listens to my shows and creates debates on my reality that I understand. <laughs> so this is why I know why people worship the sun, because they had clearly seen that uh, as a humanoid. They had saw a humanoid sun and said, oh, so th- you must be the actual S-U-N. So I got to worship the actual S-U-N. But he t- came and told us, don't worship the S-U-N, worship the one who created it, his father. Okay, so that's important to know, and you will forget in 13, at, at point four seconds, because you, you forgot everything I said all night. No, I, I, I'm I'm totally uh, with you, brother. I understand now. So I think I'm gonna have to leave it right there because it's four thirty in the morning. And what we're gonna do today, as soon as I wake up, is 